percent race. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. What's up, everybody? Poke uh, Pokemon Coliseum, first time ever at GDQ. Are you ready for this? Huh? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, my name is Sparkle. Uh, some may affectionately refer to me as uh, Diet Germa. Uh, you know, that's pretty much lays on my personality already. So yeah, I, that's enough for me. How about you, Swift? Hi, I'm Swift Delu. I'm a Pokemon speedrunner. I've uh, done runs at this or at these events before, uh, both Frame and Patels and also SGDQ 2021. Um, I'm here with Coliseum, one of my favorite Pokemon speed games. <laughs> you guys. Good. I'll go next. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I am the only Juan. I also speedrun this game. I do a lot of work routing, and I've also made the task for this game. This is probably the best Pokemon speedrun, objectively. Um, but yeah, it's all for me. And I am Ryzakin. Um, I have done a lot of routing for this game and had some pretty good times in a lot of categories of it as well. I'm looking forward to seeing how this uh, shapes up. <laughs> All right, so we are going to be doing an RNG manipulation here. It is a 1 in 60 frame trick, and I need an audio cue, and uh, Sparkle needs a video visual cue. So we're going to count down with the audience on 3, 2, 1, but we're going to need a moment of silence. So please hold your applause until about like 20 yeah, seconds 10, in. 15, 20 seconds, yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. Right. Um, so we'll go ahead and start yep. um, in 5, 4, 3, 2, two 1. one. Go! Now you can clap. No, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we had different times. It's fine. Okay. All right. We're fine. Okay, so now we're starting off the game here. A big explosion. Uh, you might have seen in the title screen or at the name screen, is Wes okay? You saw that question. <laughs> We're about to see if he is. Are you okay, Wes? Oh, he looks kind of happy. Are you good, man? <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, he's good. He's good. All right, cool. Yeah, so start off the story. Well, this is Wes. Our protagonist will be playing as him. He's just blew up his base and has abandoned Team Snagum there. And he stole a machine, a snag machine that we will be talking about a little later in the run. Yeah, but for now, we're going to see if we hit the RNG manipulation. If we don't, we are going to swap up to backup carts later um, because we're going to need to get a secondary Pokemon for the rest of the run, um, which makes more sense to just swap then. We can live with like a non-minute Espeon for at least the first 20 seconds, but we... 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, not 20 yeah, seconds. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm about uh, to check mine here. I want to see 75 HP on my Espeon. Yeah, so I'm going to check mine. We're checking the HPs of our Umbreon and Espeon to see if we maybe hit it. I'm looking for 89.74. No good. Nope. Okay, <laughs> let's right. see if I hit it. Come on, Swift. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a really hard trick. 75, 71. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One in 60 FPS trick is as hard as it sounds. Yes. It's like... It probably, the best runners we have are probably like 40, 50% at best hit rate. So yeah, it's not really reliable, but it would have been cool if we got it, you know. Right. Yeah, unfortunately it was three frames early. <laughs> I don't even know, I'm not even gonna check where mine was. I'm scared to see that. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that we even have Manip at all is amazing and was quite a process to get going. Yeah, well, I guess we can talk about Manip right now before they get into the first fight. Um, but the way it works is as soon as you hit A, RNG starts moving. And when you press A to confirm um, your name, that's when EV or the Espeon and Umbreon get generated. So we want to press A at a specific time. Um, and yeah, shout outs to Aldalaro. He did a lot of work there, M figuring that all out. It was insane. Yeah. Revived this game completely. Yeah, so Espeon and Umbreon are generated together. We don't really care as much about Umbreon stats because it really doesn't get used for very long in the run. But Espeon is hugely important. What are you doing? The audience is clapping. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> also, one of the best soundtracks yeah. uh, yes. in this game. Yes, unfortunately, it's the only one we hear. Yeah, there are a couple songs we only hear once, and they're absolute bangers, so we're going to point them out when we, uh, when we hear them. This is one of them. Yeah. A lot of people believe this fight is the only one that has this soundtrack, but it's, it's in a couple fights, but only one in any percent. Yeah, just this first one. 
Yeah, so this Zigzagoon with non manip to FCV is a range. Swift actually missed it. Yeah, uh, it's I a timid Espeon with zero special and actually, I should have used Bite on Umbreon, but I used Taunt because that's the, uh, the, the RNG manip. Uh, move and I got lucky, so it works out. I yeah. can tail up too. Yeah. So, so what? Oh yeah, you want to go ahead and explain the animations? Yeah, yeah. So the strat for these couple of first fights are going to be Espeon Confusion and Umbreon either Taunts or Bite. The way Taunt works, if your opponent uses an attacking move, um, the he can't, or if he tries to use a move that's not attacking, it'll just be canceled. And so canceling animations is big in this game, just because we can't turn off animations, unlike all the other Pokemon games. So the less we see, the faster we can go. Yeah. You can already see I'm like kind of a little bit already ahead of Swift, even despite the six seconds I got from the RNG manip timing. That's going to be happening all over the run. We might shift around a lot based on like even one fight going badly because of extra moves we might see from the opponent. So that's going to be like really back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we're going to make our way to Finax City. Uh, beautiful day here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> uh, nice yeah. little fountain. Oh, somebody's in a body bag. Okay, well, there goes that. <laughs> I wonder who that is. I'm sure uh, no one important. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully we don't find out. Truth. Somebody who looks scarily accurate to somebody from the anime, like, that would be really weird. I don't even, that, that, that just sounds kind of, you know. <laughs> like how they just dropped the body bag. Yeah. <laughs> Bud. Uh. Yeah, so these guys are trying to move a body bag, um, and they get called out, and we over, end up overhearing that the body bag is actually speaking. So they just dropped the bag and now want to fight us. I do the same thing, honestly. I can't blame them. Yeah? Yeah. See, kind of similar to the first fight. Normally, a good RNG minute Despion would be able to one-hit both of these itself. Um, but with these failed minutes, uh, we might see some interesting survives. Okay, I think my SP is pretty good because I've been every one shot so far. You love to see it. Another thing about Bite is that uh, it's still possible for it to be faster than Taunt even because that has 30% chance to flinch, which just renders the opponent immovable for the rest of the turn. Let's see if I get it 30%. Nope, don't get it. But oh. if I do get it, it's faster than Taunt, yeah. which is funny. And you also get the chance to crit. Yeah, it's true. even faster. Also true. So what you just saw right there, I switched to Return off of Confusion. This move has a faster animation than Confusion, which you're going to be seeing a lot of throughout the run. So this is a pretty good example to show off for that. A lot of moves have uh, very long animation time, so we want to try and minimize that as much as possible. Yeah, so whenever you can use return, I think it saves somewhere between half a second and a full second over yep. confusion, even with the uh, having to move over to return. Yep. Yeah, so now, now that Sparkle has won, everyone in town kind of is wondering, hey, what's going on? Start coming closer to us, and they run away. Yep. I guess we'll help out this person. Let's see if we can free this zombie from the body bag real quick. It's probably no way to pour it as yeah. it you know? I'm sure she'll be fine. I got Misty! No, it's not Misty. <laughs> Any Misty fans? Yeah. Yeah. Rui but, is better than Misty yeah. anyways. This person's <laughs> official name is Rui, but uh, we're just going to name him A because it's faster. <laughs> hey. 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 So the way text generates in this game, it generates almost frame by frame, so it's faster to have uh, as less text appear as if you can control that. So if we can name um, uh, our characters uh, one character, it's fine. But you notice that we named Wes Wes and not just A, because that actually messes with the, uh, the RNG advancement. So we don't actually do that because it can uh, make things unreliable for the uh, manip. Mm -hmm. And speaking of naming things, we have a while yet before this, but we will be having the nickname incentive for the Espeon, Umbreon, and uh, Quilava, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So that'll be coming up in like an hour or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, we have plenty of time. Oh, over an hour. It's a little more of the story here. We save her, and they recommend that we go up to the mayor and seek for help. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, hi, Sephiroth. What's up, man? <laughs> I think it's Riku, honestly. I'm sure that guy's not important. <laughs> Riku from Kingdom Hearts. I can't believe he made an appearance. Yeah, there are I some, thought that was being run later. There are some very funny character designs in this game, and you'll know them when you see them. They're, they're pretty outlandish. Yeah. So now we're just talking to this sweet old mayor here, who yep. obviously is a very good guy. He wants to help Misty, like everybody's best girl. <laughs> I don't see any sussy behavior here, if you ask me. Yeah, here's, we're just mashing text here, so if you got a donation or two to read that, it'd be a good time for that. I absolutely do. I have $50 from Ocean Bagel. Good luck with Swift and Sparkle. I'm excited to see some Kalo on the GDQ stage. Salsa. Thank you, Bagel. <laughs> also, as an update, we are only $43,000 away from hitting $1 yeah. million raised. 
Let's get that, Matt. Totally hit that today, for sure. Oh, we'll hit that this run. We've got this. Yeah, during we'll this see. run would be amazing. I believe. We got plenty I believe of time. in everyone got here. Of time. Yeah. I might have something later to uh, incentivize that, but I'll hold that for now. <laughs> you have a couple more time. Yeah, uh, yeah. You guys can stall for it if you need to. Oh, my gosh. There's so many. Uh, <laughs> I have a $20 donation from RoboWitch. Sparkle, it is imperative that you have good RNG. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation. Crown of Flames donates $800. Flareon, the fire evolution for the evolution trainer. Thank you so much. I have $30 from Kato Poke Nerd. Poke Nerd. I heard we're doing a salsa train, but I also want to make sure we don't forget Week. Any Week warriors in chat? Good luck, Sparkle Ooh. and Swift. I can't even choose who to root for, so both of you should win instead. Now, let's see that Miracle Bee fight. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donations. All right, so Team Snagum's caught up with us now. They're kind of pissed at us for stealing the snag machine. Uh, they actually, if you can see, they have different colored undershirts, which is really strange because you didn't think they would pay enough attention to detail to the NPCs. I literally pointed that out to you, I think, the other okay, day. Okay, <laughs> well, I want to sound smart, so I'm going to say it, okay? Yeah, I also Lay did off not me. just learn that the other day as well. <laughs> I always think. Sparkle's been running longer than me and he doesn't know. <laughs> You're already my enemy, all right? Yeah, I mean, it's I not a we friendly race anymore. I'm, no. going, I'm going full grease mode, all right? <laughs> I'm taking you down. Oh, here we go, kicking up to 11. <laughs> So if you haven't noticed already, we actually start with Espeon and Umbreon also at a high level, like 25, 26. Not, not what you see in other Pokemon games. Like level 5. Nice. Yeah. I should have used Really speeds up things, things here. Though. I'll get the flinch here easy. Oh. See, so yeah, another fight where we expect Espeon to be able to one-hit things. Yeah, this but they're going for bite really instead, annoying. just in case it doesn't. I'm going for confusion, Dodge. my god. Ooh, this is, this <laughs> so is the very worst. Slow. Yeah. It's a very slow animation. So you, you'll see here the, the fate at which you might uh, succumb to if animations take a long time. And it's even worse with this because uh, Umbreon and Espeon have the ability to synchronize, which takes extra time to display. I think I have to heal this, don't I? I don't get healed. No, fortunately, Ooh. after this fight, you actually do get yeah. auto-healed, oh, okay. so this cool. poison will go away. I love being backseated. Awesome. <laughs> no problem. It's very easy to forget that this fight you actually yeah. get healed. Most of the time you don't take any damage. Yes, yeah, so now you can see Swift's actually pulled ahead of me a bit just from that one uh, that one instance of uh, animation timing. Although it was my mistake. Won't happen again. Yeah, this game fortunately gives you like several free auto heals that it doesn't really make explicit. Like there's no jingle that you normally hear when you heal and yeah. stuff like that. But it does make the routing a lot easier. Hmm. Yeah, so now we've defeated them. They go away. And this is where we actually learned that the machine he stole can actually take Pokemon from other trainers or steal. Um, so now, I'm sorry, we're going to go to the Pokemon art and try to find some Pokeballs. Yeah, first of many uh, very strange uh, plot progression moments of the game where you have to talk to very specific NPCs to advance the story. This happens like a bunch of times throughout the game. And it's if you played this game as a kid, you might have gotten lost because there's like some of these NPCs you have to talk to are not made clear at all. And it's very strange. Yeah, so right here, we're going to sell a couple items and then buy all the X items that we'll need for the run. Yeah, thankfully they sell X, pretty much every X item at the beginning of the game, and you can buy as many as you want because you start with a lot of money. Yep. Wes is kind of kind of packing. So yeah, this guy that they're talking to right here at the table, if they didn't talk to that person, they would not be able to leave Phoenix City, which we have to do next. Yep. They would just be not able to leave. It's, it's kind of hard to find Pokeballs in the ore region because there is actually no wild Pokemon here. We have time for a donation or two. We're just buying Pokeballs now. Absolutely. I have a $10 donation from Gretel's Vixen. Go Swift <laughs> and Sparkle. I'll try to keep my sappy message short. Sean, I'm so excited and proud to see you finally at GDQ. I know four years ago when you were just streaming random games, it was a distant dream that you'd become a Twitch partner, much less a GDQ runner too. But here you are, right where you deserve to be. Best of luck to both of you. Thank you for being incredible friends. Less than three. Thank you so much, Greta. I knew they'd mess up your name, too. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. I thought Elsie. Yeah. Oh, it's Greta Ice. Greta, I'm a yeah, fool. Yeah. I am a fool. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, everybody does it in worse ways. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you saw there we bought one great ball. But interestingly enough, we're going to have to catch more than one thing. We'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we make our way back and we find out a bunch of scary men and enter the mayor's house. So we're going to go try and save the mayor. Yeah. I don't know what to be. 
Have we talked about ranges, by the way? Since I know we mentioned um, uh, the ranges for the the first few Pokemon because we don't have a minute to SP on. Yeah, I guess. I mean, oh, who's this guy? Oh, <laughs> whoa. Salsa. Wait, wait. Hold on. I'm getting like a very strange aura from this guy. I feel like I really want to shout the word salsa right salsa. now. I don't know what I'm fe- why I'm feeling this. Guys, audience, I mean, do you feel this? I mean, I feel like every time we see this guy, we have to just shout the word salsa. Like, I really think we should do salsa. that. Salsa. Yeah? Salsa. If you're down with me, then yeah. I think we should do that. I just, I don't know. Do you guys, you guys feel the same way, right? Salsa, salsa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. What were you saying about ranges? I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> so, ranges uh, are a thing in pretty much every Pokemon game. Basically, there is 16 different damage rolls that your Pokemon can do. Um, and that makes things kind of funny because sometimes that means you can one-shot something, and sometimes that means you can't one-shot something. Um, if, for example, you played a Pokemon game and you knocked your opponent's HP into the yellow bar, and then the next turn it just somehow didn't get the KO, yeah. that's why. It's because it's a range. Um, we have to deal with those a lot in this run, uh, especially from Quilava. But Espeon doesn't really have to worry about it too much. Um, although this early game we do, obviously. Yeah. Did you say there were 16 possible damage rolls? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Um, one other thing that affects our damage is actually the natures. Mm-hmm. Um, the nature for our Espeon is going to either be rash or modest. Mine on the backup is going to be rash. I think Sparkles is modest. Yeah. Um, those are the best natures to use for the run. And um, it'll matter for Quill as well. But you'll we'll get to that later um, because... That's a whole other story. Yeah, no, we'll, like, we'll, get, we'll get to Quill when it happens. Yep. That's a whole... Yeah. Another big thing, thing to say about ranges, all these these regular Pokemon we're seeing have the same exact stats every single time. So we know the range offhand. But whenever we see an opposing Shadow Pokemon, which we will in this next fight coming yeah. up, those Pokemon have random IVs, random natures. So the, t- the definition of range kind of... Yeah, it's Evolves really, a it's little really yeah. stuff. <laughs> it becomes a funny range. Yeah, so I like to call it. Here uh, we're going to fight Shrudley, very realistic name. Uh, he is going to have a Shadow Makuhita in the back after I take out one of his first uh, Pokemon. But you'll see it's going to be the first Shadow Pokemon we see in the game. And Shadow Pokemon are very unique compared to other um, NPCs we see who have uh, regular Pokemon because they're pretty much treated as the wild Pokemon of this game. We can catch them, they have random stats, like, uh, like Rising instead. So, uh, with that, uh, there can be a lot of variance in how you be able, you'll deal with them in the run, because it's not just their defenses that might matter in terms of how much damage you do, but also their speed is completely random, so they can outspeed uh, some Pokemon you may have. I think the lava's a key one. And, um, yeah, that's uh, what the main uh, draw of it is. In a nutshell. So going back to ranges, this Makuhita is actually not guaranteed. It is about 99% range here. That's, that's with him good in the test, to be honest. Extremely, yeah, we, it, there's a realistic chance we don't kill this in one hit. Ooh, Nightshade is not good. Yeah, I'm getting Nightshade, dude. Okay, good. I, got oh, I was watching your screen. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got leered. <laughs> oh, you care about me. Thank you. So since this is the first Shadow Pokemon of this run, if you throw any Pokeball, it's actually guaranteed. Um, but you also have the option to not catch it. Yeah. And we want the experience from this Makuhita, so we're going to be just, uh, sorry, buddy, you're going downtown. Yeah. The world record route um, that just does one kind of strap differently, we'll talk about that later, actually catches the Makuhita here, but we won't be doing that. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a very, very risky route. I think me and Swift talked about it in the interview and how I wanted to do it, but <laughs> there was no I, chance. No. I wasn't going to get it faster. <laughs> you no. were not, because <laughs> the problem with that route is that if you lose any XP on Espeon later, uh, there's not really a backup, and that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, Zeke. <laughs> Zeke Kiki, our goat. So this is, I think, one of the biggest breaking points of this game. Yeah. So from here, you have three options. Yeah. You can go left to get Bayleaf. Yeah, any Bayleaf lovers? I love Bayleaf. I love Bayleaf. 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 Let's go. No, we're not picking Bayleaf. Any, <laughs> any crocodile lovers? Ooh. I don't think I heard any. Nobody likes <laughs> um. Any Kulava lovers? Yeah. yeah. All right. That's what I like to see. Nice. All right. Well, your wish has been granted. We are going to fight Rosso and capture the Shadow Kulava for our very own. Yeah, so you, right off the bat, you can have, you can get any of those three starter Pokemon, or you can not get any and just run Umbreon and Espeon. Yeah. We have a category called No Snags as well, where you can't steal any Pokemon. And so you're just stuck with those two. Yeah. Actually, a fun category. So I'm go. about to do something very interesting here. I'm going to go into the menu. Let's use a uh, Great Ball. I think Great Ball's a good option. Yeah, let's do 
that. Uh, actually, you know what? I want it to be here in my bag. Yeah, that's a better place. I want it to be there. And that's this one. Okay, so what I just did is now when I go into the bag the next time I use it, the great ball I just used that's being used right now will still be there. It will not be used up. We can use Pokeballs or any balls for that matter infinitely in this game. It's one of yeah. the most commonly known bugs. Including the Master Ball. Yes. And I would, it would be so fun to get that. You got it! No! I did. Ooh. What? 40% <laughs> by the way to oh. catch that. Yeah. yeah, it's just so fast to get that first ball. It's very worth going yeah. for. You'll need that time, kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I got a really good cool in the back. Yeah, we haven't talked about their PBs, but these runners are about separated by about a minute and a half. Sparkle has the better PB. Just slightly, though. All right, so since Espeon is not taking much damage here, I'll just keep throwing Great Balls uh, raw at almost full HP. If Espeon was chipped here, I'd be, I'd be more motivated to try and kill this Blink so it doesn't bother us, because it does have Psy Wave, which is variable damage, but it has a maximum damage value of, I think, like 36 or something, because it scales off the level. It's a stupid move. Okay. Nice. Hey. All right, cool. Oh, good. Don't need it. All right, that's a super scary part of the run out of the way already, so we'd love to see that. Yeah, fun fact, uh, this uh, fight can actually crash. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very, very rare. <laughs> uh, both of us have had it happen. I think yeah. all of us here it's have had so it happen. It's so funny when it does. It makes just the, the Wii like, crash on like, like that. It's so funny. Best sound effect. Yeah. We don't exactly know what causes the crash, but Ooh, it's like something to do with the Fenac City like area background. Because this is the only fight we do here, so it's got to be something with that. I don't know. Yeah, it might have to do with setting the flag, because once you catch one of these Shadow Pokemon, you can't actually catch mm -hmm. any of the rest. Yeah. So we're just going to be mashing text here as we get to the next town. We'll You're not going to check your quill? I, I, my SP is bad. What are you talking okay. about? Yeah, sorry. Go ahead, Nicole. Absolutely. I have $200 from Tony Tra, a good 3D Pokemon game with Misty and Sephiroth. Help me on. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation. I have $250 from Vandio. So happy to be watching from the front row. I can't think of two more deserving members <laughs> of the community to show off this amazing game. Shout out to the League Warriors. Yeah, Thank let's so go. Much for your donation. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, oh, you will. You will. <laughs> we are only $38,000 away from hitting $1 million oh, raised. You guys are going crazy. This I is know, sick. right? Uh, yeah, Pyrite Town. So yeah, so this next area is pretty uh, important for the run. So we, we come here, and we get to town, and she's like, oh, hey, this is where I saw Shadow Pokemon originally. Um, so now we want to make our way up to the Colosseum to address the story. The bass in this song goes crazy. Yep. So we're going to be... Um, the backup file we have on hand is going to be uh, used here uh, because we have a good save point for it. Also, you can't save wherever you want in this game. You have to use a PC for it. It's very strange, but I'm sure they had a good reason for it. Yeah, it also acts as a spawn point that you're setting yeah. when you save there. We don't really get to use it for that purpose, but yeah. ideally we shouldn't need to completely use it. So the save point being where it is and where we, where, where we reset is very convenient, actually, because the next fight we're about to do in the next minute is extremely scary. One of the worst in the yeah. entire first half, at yep. least, if not the entire run. And the Pokemon that makes that uh, the case is a Shadow Furret. Any Furret lovers in chat? Audience, sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, this Furret is about, I think, six levels higher than us, and it also has Stab Strength. Which yeah. We haven't talked about Stab. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead with that, if you want. Yeah, so Stab is same type attack boost. And what it makes it do is makes a move power multiplied by 1.5. So strength, I think, is 70. Strength is 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. Yeah. So it gets boosted to 120. And this Furret with high attack can just one-shot any of our Pokemon. Yeah. It's super fast. It's super high level. It's level 33, I believe. So it's way it trumps our, uh, our Kulava and Espeon. Shout out to Tiffy. Uh, she's my best friend, and she loves Furret. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, given the completely random AI of this fight, you could just get Helping Hand every turn, and which does yeah. nothing because his partner never really exploits that very well, so. Yeah, it has Strength, Shadow Rush, and Quick Attack. All kind of hurt. We want to see Helping Hand. Yeah. So the way this fight plays out, uh, hopefully Swift gets a good turn. I got a bad it? move, so oh, it's yeah. either Strength or Shadow Rush. So you outspeed for it, but you're guaranteed a bad move because it didn't use priority. Ooh. Oh, God. Yeah, this could be a reset point if uh, Espeon dies in particular, because the... Cool is fine, yeah. yeah. 
Quilava dying in this fight is completely okay if we can actually, we can win the fight with Espeon getting all the experience, but Espeon dying is is bad news. Yeah, so we just saw on Swiss screen that Quilava entered hyper mode. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Rosie, can you want to explain hyper mode? Sure. So hyper mode is sort of like a status condition. You can think of it like that. Uh, that a Shadow Pokemon can randomly go into every time it tries to use the move Shadow Rush. And it's both a good and bad thing. It's mostly good for the speedrun because it raises the critical hit ratio of Shadow Rush through the roof. And so we actually will be relying on crits um, to get a lot of one-hit KOs. And the other important thing about it is to end Hyper Mode, you can use the Call feature. And when you do that, it'll actually drop that purple Shadow Gauge by a certain amount. And that'll help you get to your important, like, purification levels faster. Yeah, we'll talk about the heart gauge a little more in the next fight. Yes. Yeah. So what I had happened here, I had Ralts use Imprison, which uh, seals the moves that are the same between the user and any of the opponents. So Ralts knows Confusion. So Espeon actually cannot use Confusion until Ralts is out of the field. So what I have to do is use Helping Hand, which multiplies Polava's attack by 1.5 for this move. If I crit, I might just kill it. Oh, okay, almost got it, but really, Kulava really good. Unfortunately, Kulava died. Um, uh, you got, got the quick attack. Though. That's really important. Yeah, I've, every time I've done practice of this, I just always die to fur it. Like, when <laughs> Kulava dies, I'm like, yeah. oh. Yeah, and if anybody's wondering why she I may not have yeah. used a healing item on Kulava, you can't actually do that when it's in hyper mode. So that's kind of the bad thing about hyper mode. I think I'm faster than fur. I actually didn't pay attention to that. Whoopsie. Oh my god, that's bad. Please, on Kulava. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay we're good. We're good. <laughs> that's that's yeah, really good. So Quilava dying here as well, it doesn't matter because you don't even start gaining XP. So Quilava will gain experience after the heart gauge, the little purple bar that you saw, reaches about 60%. About two bars down, that's when it starts to gain XP. We want to start gaining XP at a certain point to make sure when we purify it later on, it'll evolve to a type yeah. of version. If all this sounds super confusing, that's because it is. And you have to play this game for a while to understand that. There is so much yeah. uh, decision making that's going on yeah. in these games. It is very hard to keep track of. It took me a lot of time, multiple months, to just go through this, play this, and then be able to yeah. understand it as much as I do. Yeah, thankfully we don't spend the whole game with Shadow Collab. We eventually purify, so we don't have to worry about Shadow mechanics anymore. But for now, it's a, a huge part of how we're playing the game. I think right now would be a good time for some more donations. Yeah. Absolutely, and also we are only $36,000 away from Man. 1 million. <laughs> I have a $10 donation from Yoshizilla. Hey, Swift and Sparkle. I know that both of you are going to do amazing and put on a great show today. Swift, it's wild to think I met you before you started speedrunning, and now <laughs> here you are, four years later, on the SGDQ stage. I'm so happy and proud of you. Thank you for being an amazing friend of mine. Good luck to both of you during the race, and let's make it to one million before the end. Thank you, Yoshi, I appreciate it. Yoshi's been a very long time friend of mine since 2019. Uh, amazing Paper Mario runner. Salsa! <laughs> yeah, let's go. Salsa. You guys have already got it. I don't need to babysit you anymore. <laughs> Yeah, so you, if you were watching Sparkle, he actually called his Quilava yeah, out yeah. of hyper mode. And what this does is lower the heart gauge by a significant amount. So both runners will have to get back into hyper mode once again. Again, we want yeah. that boost of the critical hit rate. It actually makes Shadow Rush about 91% to crit. So almost guaranteed. Yeah, the thing that differentiates one Quilava from another in a run typically is its nature. Which, again, there's no manip for the Johto starter. It's just we have to check its stats in a program and see what nature it has. The nature is what determines how likely it goes into hyper mode. Salsa! Salsa. <laughs> how likely it goes into hyper mode, how much gets removed from the bar from various methods. Like, it's a whole thing. There's a spreadsheet you look at, and yeah, basically sometimes you have to do calls and sometimes you don't. Sometimes you have to run around in a circle to get an extra step cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think Swift is going to do. Yeah. 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 I don't think we've uh, gone over what natures are Quilava. Oh is. yeah, so you believe I believe our bold nature Quilava. Yeah. yeah, and I am a hard uh, quirky nature. I am I'm a quirky guy. Uh, so what those in, what that entails? Every nature, because of course this couldn't be more confusing already. Every nature that you can possibly get has different uh, heart gauge mechanics associated with them. That that goes for step cycle gener uh, step cycle 
uh, purification, battle purification, and call purification. So what we use is a huge Google spreadsheet to just manage <laughs> all that at once because we, there's no reason memorizing all that. This yeah. is not the SAT. We're not doing that. And the spreadsheet, I think, was originally made by Ryzekin and Exarion, I believe, uh, but touched up significantly by yeah. Juan, and I've made some adjustments myself into it now, by now, such as uh, some missing EVs and some other just nice little things like um, referring to vitamins and stuff like that. So now we're to, uh, the part of the story we have is uh, this character Silva, who is, uh, I, I'd like to call him boy cringe. Uh, he uh, thinks he's some sort of anime protagonist and tries to do everything himself and just ends up getting his, uh, getting into bad situations. <laughs> so uh, this gear quest is a part of that. Another point where a lot of casual players might get stuck. So that's pretty annoying. Uh, yeah. Another thing is, um, these trainer, these people on the side, we don't talk to them because they actually have shadow Pokemon, or they have, uh, they are, they fight they you if you talk you. to them, and they have shadow Pokemon. One in particular, actually has Mistrevis, Shadow Mistrevis. I used that Mistrevis for uh, um, kind of a meme speed run last year during Halloween. That Halloween of which I wore <laughs> none other than Hatsune Miku as my costume, and you know what? I, I'm really feeling Miku right now. I don't know why, but you know what? Let me take a look inside my backpack real quick. I think I might have something that might be uh, relevant to that. Uh, oh, huh. Is this a Hatsune Miku wig in my backpack? Oh, that's interesting. What, would you guys want to see me wear this at some point during the run? Oh, I think I they can, do. I can't just do it for free, though. Not for free. How about, no. how about, what, how about you'd say one million dollars? How does that sound, huh? Yeah. All right, if we can meet one million dollars, Hatsune Miku will become real. You have, you have my word, all right. Until now, fake. <laughs> absolutely real. Yeah, so a little about the story. We come here and we find out this guy, Duking, with the white shirt and red pants. Um, he's actually got his Pokemon stolen, so he's kind of in a tough spot by Mirror B. So we need to enter this Coliseum tournament win to infiltrate the enemy base and try to rescue his Plusle. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I'm going to need to get back into hyper mode here, um, which I think is going to be a 40% chance that chance yes, decreases as me. the heart, ga yeah. heart gauge goes down. Um, Sparkle doesn't, or Sparkle had to do a call. I don't have to do any, but I mean, luckily for me, uh, well. At least you don't have to do a call and you died. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so basically. It works out. We're kind of even on that. We're not that uh, far apart here. No. Yes. So this Coliseum is going to be four fights. Um, the important one is the fourth fight. We want to make sure we're gaining XP by that fourth fight. That is the cutoff. If we don't gain XP there, we won't evolve in time. It's not the end of the world if you don't evolve on time, okay. but it does make Mount Battle a little bit more interesting, but we'll get into that. Mm. So this Andrew is, I think, a range as well. One and eight. The one and eight, yeah. Yeah, not very likely. Don't expect to get it often. But we want to get rid of it first because it has poison sting, as as you saw earlier with Sparkle yeah. when he got poison gas. No good. Uh, very very slow if you get poisoned. And even slower because Sandshrew actually gets poisoned, as we're, whereas Coughing did not because it's immune. Yep. So we don't want that to ever happen. Yeah. Golava right now only really has Smoke Screen and Shadow Rush, so we want Hyper Mode to get that Shadow Rush crit to be able to one shot a lot of these Pokemon. Because as of right now, Golava only does about half HP to all of them. So if you noticed, um, our, our Quilava's Mean Swift um, are actually quite different beyond just natures. Our IVs are completely different as well, like on Hyper Mode So um, you can see that Swift's uh, max HP is 84, mine is 75. Her Quilava has way more HP than me and speed, which is going to matter a lot. I get confused every time. <laughs> um, you, oh, you might have noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, let's oh, go. Nice. Oh my god, the clutch kill. So, um, so I want to explain something really quickly here. Um, I just did a call on Espeon. Now, sometimes you might call your Pokemon uh, because it's faster and you need to stall like Sparkle's doing here. Um, uh, since Espeon can't one-shot yeah. Barboach. Like, way faster yeah. than using a move for yeah. the animation time. Yeah, I did it because I need to stall for a hyper mode. Um, it will just keep lowering the chance as I uh, continue to uh, decrease the heart gauge. So I decided to stall right there. Yeah. Yeah, calling can also wake up your Pokemon if they're asleep. But it does not cure them of confusion. Yeah, that, I don't. I don't know why. I don't, it's strange. 
Mind if I interrupt with a quick donation? Yeah, basically, by the oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. I have $10,000 from the Whoa. Yeti. Oh, my God. Hey, all. Yeti here. We'd like to see the Hatsune Miku with you. <laughs> <laughs> I we told you it worked. We are only $25,000 away from $1 million. No. Well... <laughs> Interesting. We can reach it, can't we, audience? Oh, absolutely, audience. I'm going to be so sweaty by the end of this run. <laughs> I'm going to be disgusting. <laughs> it's all for charity. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I missed a crit. Uh, so yeah. as uh, Ryzekin, I think, was explaining earlier, there's a really high chance to crit while you're in hyper mode. Unfortunately, I missed it. Uh, that kind of sucks. Yeah, it's so troll when it happens because it's... It, take, it takes away so much momentum because I got the crit and I'm already about to win this fight next yeah. turn. So it's a huge deal breaker for runs that you may accept for PB pace or not, which is, uh, this is definitely a point of the run where we kind of just, uh, you know, shoot it and see if we, see what we can get. But if we get unlucky, we just kind of reset. Yeah, so yeah. we've kind of talked about the ins and outs of, like, the goods and bads of hyper mode. Um, basically, once they're done with all their initial calls, we want to stay in hyper mode until we get down low enough on the shadow bar to have flame wheel. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be about when it's four bars down out of five. Yeah. That'll happen later in the next dungeon. Right now, we're just uh, spamming Shadow Rush and trying to get uh, as many crits and one shots as we can. Yeah, and Shadow Rush crit is about like a ninety-one percent. So, you're I think you're about to miss on average one or two per run. Another amazing soundtrack here, by the way. Oh yeah, this is a banger. This one we only hear once yeah. as well. Just want to show some respect to it. <laughs> I like the clapping. <laughs> I'm so immersed right now. Oh, Sparkle and I are going for different strats here. Yeah, so Swift is electing to Shadow Rush the Cacnea, which is a range. I do am not, because X Special is uh, on Espeon is guaranteed. Oh, we have to explain how the X Special I just did even worked in the first place. One of you on commentary wanted yeah. to explain that? Oh. I was going to wait till next fight, but... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, in this game, when you use an X item, the Pokemon who uses the X item will get the effect, normally. Um, it got changed in later gens. But in this game, if you use an item, like a full heal, on a Pokemon that doesn't have no status, it'll just fail. But the game still thinks that the cursor is on that Pokemon whoever used the item on. So the next time you use the X, but um, it'll actually boost that Pokemon. So that that way you can boost your partner. Yeah, and that so will be used a lot. So the the different strat that me and Swift did, um, she went for the range on Cacnea because uh, she wants to save the X special for later, which is totally reasonable. I just want to get the Cacnea out of the way. Ooh, that uh, is nice very burn. slow. Uh, because if Cacnea does live, it also has access to Poison Sting and Absorb, which Absorb is also slow because first of all the animation takes forever, and secondly you get a secondary. Uh, bubble of text showing that the energy has been drained, which is like the absorption part of it. So that's also pretty slow. But yeah, this fight did not go very well for me because I missed uh, the Vulpix crit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> nice Vulpix crit from yeah. the Espeon. So you'll see, you'll see in this next fight coming up that their shadow bar has just reached that second bar. So they'll start gaining experience here. Yeah, it's not going to show a text box for gaining experience, but it's going to start accruing in the background, and yeah. they'll get all of it at once when they purify Quilava. Another thing that the game doesn't really tell you is happening, but it is, because why wouldn't it? Yeah. That would be a good time if you have some donations. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I have $15 from Sam J. Donating for Miku Wig. I love you, Miku. Oh, and one million would be pretty cool, too. Thank you for your donation. I have $50 from Zoku Bun. Dropping some love for the Dono team in this comment. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Thank you so much. $25 from Zenyan that says, Mika? <laughs> we are only $24,000, well, $23,000 away from hitting 1 million. OK, so this Goldeen Swift got the range. It's actually about 50% to get one shot. I got it too, nice. thank god. Nice. It's slow if you miss that because Goldeen has access to Surf, which has a huge chunk of damage to Kulava, as well as being a really long animation because it has to take the time to hit both uh, Espeon and Kulava since it is a spread move. So we don't want to see moves like that if we can avoid it. Yeah, and so actually pre-2019, 2018, we were still using Croconaw as the main Pokemon. Perfect and segue from Surf. Yeah, <laughs> for real. And its main move was Surf. Yeah. Which you might think, hey, hits two Pokemon, can kill two things at once. Yes, if, if it could kill two no, things at once. No. <laughs> um, in this game, Surf will be cut in half. 
And since it's a long animation, we can't turn animations off. It actually ends up hurting Croc a lot. Yeah. And animations are what actually puts Croc to be slower than Quilava. If animations were off, Croc would have a, a pretty good chance. Yeah, Croc as a Shadow Pokemon was actually better overall, just with a higher attack stat. It was killing a lot more things with Shadow Rush crits. Um, you had to stay in hyper mode longer, so there was more chance of funny things happening with that, like not critting or snapping out completely. But once you become a Feraligator, it kind of slows down a lot in the second half. Nice, really good flag. But Typhlosion, you'll see, does a much better second half. Yeah, and then Bayleaf is just terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love Bayleaf, but that mod is just complete yeah. garbage for speedrunning. But surprisingly, there are more Bayleaf runners in our community than there are Croc runners, so that will tell you something. <laughs> Gotta respect Bayleaf. That's right. Yep. We actually had a, a four-starter race where it was Umbreon, <laughs> Croconaw, Bayleaf, and Quilava, and Bayleaf didn't so get hard. last. <laughs> Yay! Was it Umbreon? No, it was oh. Quilava. Quilava actually got last. Wow. That's, that's, that's so funny. Umbreon got second, and whoever got first is not important. Yeah, the so. Quilava run... Uh, <laughs> it was Zeke, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. it was Quilava Quilava run Zeke. died on Evis, I think, so that loses like uh, six minutes or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is rough. Yeah, so now uh, this part of the story, we win the Coliseum, we're promised to be given a Shadow Pokemon, and then they're like, no. And so yeah, they, they figure they, uh, out that uh, you're on the list. That uh... after walking us all the way to the building and then not know, uh, getting a good look at us, then we're the bad guy. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on the naughty list. Yeah. And yeah, we just killed Delibird. We're so on the naughty list, dude. Oh no. So this fight is interesting. Um, the notes just say just mash A. Um, if only it were that yeah. simple. <laughs> if everything goes well, we just mash A. But this yeah. Ganma is a shadow Pokemon. It can use supersonic, and then if, if that hits, it's just yeah. If nice. you ever want a, a speed run where Furret and Yanma are prominent threats, this is for you. Yeah, yeah this Yanma has uh, Supersonic. We really don't want Supersonic because, as uh, it was explained earlier, we can't actually heal Quilava, so if it gets Supersonic, we kind of just have to deal with it and hope that Quilava breaks through. So we generally want to see either Sonic Boom or Shadow Rush, or as I like to call it, Supersonic Racing or Sonic Boom, like the video game. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. In, in the task, this Yanma is actually the first enemy Pokemon that actually can get a move off. Oh, this is very no. annoying, even for the... No! Oh. I got sniped! Okay, SP is fine, SP is fine. fine. As long as Quill gets this critical in, I am okay. <laughs> Please. Please. Oh, Bye from Pineco, very nice. Yeah, that's quite fast. Okay. All right, we're, Yanma's dead. <laughs> really scary for it. Yeah, a lot of these fights have one... Uh, scary Pokemon, and if they're down, then the yeah. fight becomes trivial. Because Pineco just does low damage moves or Bide, and then Ninkata and Surs get just get one shot. So. And then Bide especially is good because there's no animation with it, just a text box per turn. Yep. It seems I'm already out of full heals. That's interesting. Ooh. I'll have to use uh, Paralyzed Heals now for my X specials then. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. And also, a good time for some donations. Yeah. Absolutely, and also we have a super cool incentive that opened up for Clone Hero to play Through the Fire and the Flames. Mm. We are at $1,600 out of $60,000. Let's get that met. That is going to be absolutely incredible to watch. We have a $50 donation from Zero. Wait, so you're playing Pokemon and you're going to become Miku? Does that make you a Mikachu? Good luck, and let's charge on to $1 million. Thank you so much for your donation. We have $250 from Sanjan. Fuck Sparkle and Swift, good My luck goat. on the run. May the Wordle Wig Warrior Gamer <laughs> salsa their way through the game without any Fire Blast mishaps. So true, I love you, Sanjan. Thank you so much for your donation. We are only a $21,573. Oh, they are kind of quick, huh? I thought it'd take longer, but you know. <laughs> come on, chat, come on, audience. We can hit a, we, we can do this. We can hit a million. Make, make the Miku wig happen. I know you really want to wear that up there. It's calling to me. I it's calling it. you. It's calling to all of us, honestly. I can smell it through my mask. <laughs> is, is that good? <laughs> Let's have a sharp nose. Yeah, so one funny thing for this next fight is there's a Talo that is a 15 and 16 range. And if you miss the range, it has Endeavor, which yeah, it'll survive you, uh... with one HP. It'll make your Pokemon also have one HP. Yeah, thankfully we have the speed ranges on our Quilava to outspeed the Quilava. Oh, the, yeah, no, the Talo, uh, 100% one, uh, of the time, so we don't have to worry about that as long as we double up into it. Yeah, you can get trolled and have Endeavor to use on Quilava, have it 1 HP, and then when he uses Shadow Rush, Shadow Rush actually does a little bit of recoil yeah. damage. And it's not fun. 
No, you definitely don't want Espeon to die here either, so luckily I got the range. Uh, there will be another 15, 16 that we'll see later on. Uh, but that's not one, that one's not that important yet. <laughs> I've missed it way too many times, and it makes me very sad. Yeah, a lot of uh, Shadow Rush crits are actually ranges in this first part of the game, that Hoodoo being a primary one. Uh, it's like you need at least 48 attack, which is a pretty decent IV. I think at least like 16 or 17 to. I'm pretty sure it's 47. I, I think it's 48. It doesn't really matter. But uh, a lot of the Mons we oh yeah, Shadow Rush crit in the Coliseum as well w would be ranges if our attack was worse, but thankfully me and Swift have reasonably good attack on our Kualavas, so we don't have to worry about those. Yeah, despite my Kualava being bold, which is minus attack, by the way, uh, it has almost max IV attack, uh, so it's not too bad. I think it just is. Uh, it's 30. Oh. So close. So yeah. you saw Swift take a heal in each chain right there. Um, that's actually the last heal available in the building, and there's still several fights to go. As long as Kolaba's in hyper mode, that's the only way it can heal. Hopefully their natures are good enough to where they don't have to worry about that, though. They'll, they'll have to just end hyper mode when they get to the flame wheel stage. Yeah, I'm just going to skip the steel machine because I believe in Kolaba's HP right now. So the reason I'm... Another good reason to skip the steel machine, rather than uh, other than it just being fast, is uh, I want to get Kolaba's HP low enough so that it's in range of its ability Blaze, which is very important for its uh, strength and power throughout the one. So what Blaze does is that uh, when you are... At, equal to or less than 33% of your max HP, your, uh, in this case, Blaze, your fire attacks will be um, 1.5 times more powerful, and that is uh, going to be huge in certain sections of the run. And <laughs> like, uh, in this part, it's not as important, but it'd still be good to have for a couple fights to make them safer. Yeah. Right. Uh, and I do want to go over something really quick here. This fight is actually the first instance of seeing random leads. Yes. Now, this game is quite unique in that it has double battles, and because of that, uh, some of the trainers have random Pokemon that they send out in different orders. So, for example, Sparkle here. Well, I, get, I think you got Larvitar and Barboach as Larvitar, well. Larvitar, Barboach, yeah. Yeah, we both got Larvitar and oh, well. Barboach. <laughs> but uh, he can send out those Pokemon in any order. He could send them out as Carvana Larvitar. Uh, he can send them out as Barboach Carvana. Um, and it's just one of the first instances. Yeah. There's going to be many, many anymore, especially mid to late game, yeah. which will really affect our strats. Not um, as many right now, but for sure later you'll notice a big shift, it, especially yeah. if me and Swift are like near each other, like race-wise, and we get different leads, it'll be super obvious. We, and we do different strats accordingly. Yeah, yeah the that, last two fights especially. <laughs> we're, 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 we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the fight Sparkle just finished as well is also the first case of where there's this thing called Smart AI. We haven't talked to AI much, but there's two kinds of AIs, really. There's Random AI, which is just what we kind of saw in the beginning, just it just chooses one of its four moves. Um, Even if but, it doesn't work. Right. Smart AI is a little different. Um, if it can see it can kill you, it will kill you. Yeah. Yeah. That's OK. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah no problem, dude. <laughs> Very matter of fact. <laughs> a little too real. Yeah. It also it does stuff like, oh, if, if it can't one-shot you, it'll try to use a status move if you're not status. In the previous fight, it likes to use focus energy to get the crit boost and then attack. This fight here is also smart AI, so if you don't get yeah. the scram raid, it'll try to supersonic you or... Nice, got that range. Oh, well, that's a good one. Yeah. Did you go for it too? Yeah, I did. Oh, nice, nice. So the reason... So that memory is not guaranteed to get one shot. It's about three and eight. Three and eight from Confusion, I think. But if we do get it, we get this huge hit on Magnemite. So we can just uh, finish it off with Confusion next turn. And the reason we want Magnemite gone as soon as possible uh, beyond memory is because it uses Thundershock here, which I'm now in Blaze with Kalava, and it could paralyze me though which it did not, which is really good for me, because if it did paralyze, uh, I would have to go into the menu to heal that. And, it, uh, and that's going to be Flame Wheel in the next yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. Although it is still kind of dangerous because of Voltorb, but I'll, I'll hit that range. <laughs> Blaze wouldn't really matter much if you didn't have Flame Wheel. I'll yet. hit that range, yeah. yeah. For the first half of the game, the AI kind of goes back and forth. Some, some trainers have smart AI, some have random AI. For the second half, every trainer will have smart AI. Yeah. So in this next fight, uh, we're barely not strong enough to uh, guarantee one-shot that Voltorb, which is annoying. We have to be level 30, but uh, the 7 and 8 range is uh, uh, almost always preferable if you don't want Kualava to take damage, but Swift's electing not to do it because she actually wants damage on her Kualava. I do. I'm not in Blaze right now, yeah. so I would like Blaze, but if I don't, that's okay. The Lediba isn't real. Blaze Flamel? Does that one-shot Electric? I forget. Goodbye, I it Swift. <laughs> but I'm not going to go for it, but I feel like it Ooh, does. I know yep. Shadow Rush crit... Uh, one shot's electric on average, but I'm getting a little too far outside here. Yeah, and then you have static to deal with. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, the Voltorb did go for Sonic Boom, but it went for it on Espeon. It's Voltorb I really, yeah, I really want this range here. This is 7 and 8. Okay, Quick Attack is not what I want to see, but Espeon is completely okay. I just want Voltorb to get the, uh, the one shot here on itself. Yeah, so ideally on this fight is where we end anything to do with Hyper Mode. We call out and we unlock a uh, Flame Wheel. All right, so now I'm balling. Uh, because I'm now uh, in Blaze, I'm going to deny, deny the move Swift because it's really bad. The move yes. to Swift is bad. Guys. Swift? Don't use uh... it. Just denied Swift right in front of Swift? <laughs> it's okay. I had to do it too. It hurt me inside a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll live. Surely it won't happen again in the run. No way. Surely. That would be crazy. <laughs> Two Pokemon learning Swift by level up? That doesn't make any sense. No. Anyways, so now I have uh, Blaze, which is going to make the, fu the next fight way faster for me. Yeah. Because I'm going to be able to guarantee uh, one shot the Ladybug with Flame Wheel, which you wouldn't think would be a range, but Ladybug actually has really high special defense. It's like its only good stat. Yeah, and unfortunately, I don't have Blaze, which means uh, I won't be one shotting this Ladybug. So this Ladybug has uh, some one, just one bad move, uh, but <laughs> luckily the Ladybug isn't real. It can't hurt me. Uh, I believe in the Lediva not being real. If the bad move misses, it's really fast. Exactly. <laughs> Hopefully I see Tackle or Comet Punch here, but if not, that's okay. Well, not really. Okay, Comet Punch is cool. Uh, if it hits cool into Blaze, that'd be great. Nope, okay, that's beyond. This is just troll because you have to watch each animation play out with multi-hit moves. It's yep. pretty troll. But you don't, you didn't get supersonic, so it's not the end. That is true. Yeah, this Lediva has supersonic, and again, confusion really sucks, so you don't want that. Yeah, but because of this uh, advantage I have in this fight, I'll be catching up a fair bit. I'm not sure if I'm going to be in the lead, but it's going to be close. And also, one other thing, now that we're not in hyper mode, you can heal Quilava with items. Yeah, so I, I'm going to elect a potion for the next fight, I think. Yeah, this, this actually saves a lot of time versus Croc, where you have to run all the way down to the first floor to heal, and then go all the way back up. And Blaze Flame Wheel also guarantees the two-shot on Swablu here after Confusion. Everything works out perfectly for me, so I take a small leap. You know, I just got to say, it's amazing with two different Koalavas and everything. You know, it's amazing you guys are this close right now. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get pretty jank later, bro. I don't know about that. We'll see. I'll give it time for a donation now. If, uh, that's cool. Absolutely. I have $50 from Macalico. Good luck to you both. Swift and Sparkle are both awesome. I want to see that wig on. We love Emolga. It's awesome. Thank you, Macalico. Thank yes, you we so love Amalga. Also, I we are $19,000 away from $1 oh, million. Yeah. Dollars yes. We are so approaching it. Mach 12, bro. We're getting there. All right, so the reason I healed for this fight is because uh, this Spiel... Hello, Spiel. You, you guys like Spiel? Yeah, okay. I don't. I, I really don't like him, actually, because oh. he has the move Water Gun, which is super effective on my Kulava. I could use this field. really annoying. So I had to heal to get out of range uh, that I, so I won't get KO'd by it. But if I do get Water Gun now, I'll be put back in Blaze, which is going to work out for the next fight. So if I can get that, I can get some cooperation. What? Why don't you like me? I just... I just like insulted you. What do, what do you want from me? <laughs> oh my god! I'm Ooh, so, I go. do not deserve that. I don't deserve that. <laughs> nice. That's so funny. That's beautiful. Yeah. Also, shout outs to Cabby, who loves Spiel, another fellow Pokemon Coliseum runner. That's not the. Uh, pay attention to this Spiel death animation because that's not the first time it's going to happen. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Poor Spiel. Yeah, so this next fight is uh, another instance of smart AI. And these trainers, their gimmick is they love to use dancing moves. So dragon dance, pedal dance. Um, Swords yeah. dance. Yeah, and this Oddish here is a range actually without Blaze. So since Sparkle has Blaze, he'll it's free. Yeah. Uh, th these AI quirks that Juan mentioned, like they're very bizarre because it's only this dungeon, I believe, that has anything like this, where it, trainers want to use specific, like they're not random AI, but they want to use specific moves that aren't exactly smart either. It's, it's kind of interesting, honestly. If like more trainers had uh, quirks like that, that'd be interesting. To, yeah, that's, the devs have some fun in this area. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, another part where the, the devs had fun is, uh, if you've been paying attention to the names of these trainers, they're not real names, and they they will never be real names in any language you'll ever see in your life. And we're, we're gonna make note of some particularly, uh, particularly interesting ones as we go on. I have some favorites, and I'm sure you'll make some some papers of yourself as we uh, we progress, but this Oddish yeah. was a sixty nine percent range for me. Uh, unfortunately, I missed nice. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, onto Espeon. I forgot to kill there. 
So for the next fight, we want Quilava to be uh, higher HP because there is a Tentacool that knows Bubble Beam. Uh, thankfully, it's random AI, so it's not guaranteed to use it on us, but obviously we don't want to take the death for no reason, so we're going to heal in case of that anyway. You have time for a donation or two. Absolutely. I have $201 from Mel Pemeni. Let's get that Pokedex donation train going for Miku's sake. Here's $201 for my favorite Pokemon, Unknown. Let's hit one million during this run. Thank you so much for that donation. I also have a $1,000 donation from wow. Sheriff. They say, <laughs> hi, smiley face. <laughs> Thank you so much for that donation. Patch yeah. Runners, which is your favorite Unknown? Uh... The one that doesn't look like an actual letter. Like, like v? I think V does not look like a V at all. Probably that one. Or like, no, it's U. I don't know. I like the exclamation point or the question mark. Those, Those ones are good. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. ones are really good. I like the R. The X is really cool to see it rotate. Solid Ooh, nice. choices, yeah. We still have some more time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Amazing. We have a $25 donation from Shelty, Sparkle, and Swift. I am so happy for this run to incredible speedrunning racing, winning the coolest Pokemon games. Who else is ready for quill spin content and salsa time? Thank me, you me, so me, much. me, 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 <laughs> me. <laughs> we have $25 from New Amber. We must wish Sparkle yes. and Swift good luck, Sparkle Brave. Amber, my goat. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I have $10 from Aurora Aura. Choo choo. Two tickets for the hype train. Let's reach $1 million and get that through the fire and the flames incentive met. Let's go. Okay, so this dungeon's been relatively easy because it's the beginning of the game, but the, the next, uh, we actually have a mini gauntlet of fights coming up, and the first one's pretty free, but the second one is definitely another early run killer. Yeah. Uh, but there is a funny thing you can actually do in that cutscene. It turns out you can actually move in the cutscene. You spoiled like, it! Oh. I was gonna do it, and it was gonna be like, whoa, guys, did I just glitch the game? I was gonna make a whole bit out of it. Oh, I'm ruined sorry. It. But yeah, you can you can walk in this cutscene. I didn't even know until uh, a fellow Coliseum speedrunner, Zikiki, told me, and I was just so fascinated by it. I was like, what? So you're gonna see us here do like a little yeah, jitter here. You'll see. We're both at the same spot actually. So you see that? <laughs> and we can do it again after this fight ends. Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah, it actually doesn't save any time too because you get placed after the two fights. A way to ruin it, man. <laughs> oh, I thought Zeke said it's going to save That's like That's why we're second. here, man. Yeah, you're closer to Silva, right? So, technically. You'll see, you'll see. Yeah, so this fight here is a Shadow Remoraid, actually the lowest level in the game um, for a Shadow Pokemon. Yeah, uh, oh, I forgot to mention this. Yeah, so this Remoraid has no business being level 20. It easily goes down to everything. I, re I legitimately believe that they typoed this when developing this game, and they just put a two where a three was supposed to be. I legitimately believe that. that there, are some other, there are some other things in this game that also make no sense and would be solved by just thinking, like, assuming they made a typo. It's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> this game was pretty rushed, so uh, you can see that in a lot of aspects, but... They're just trying to make you feel really confident in your ability to take on the next <laughs> yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because the next fight's one of the worst shadows in the game. Oh man, don't even get me started. Look at my that. least favorite fight. <laughs> yeah, I love this confusion. <laughs> I can skip agility. Oh, oh my god, I got wait, it too. What? <laughs> Surely you won't oh. get it. What? Oh. Why is the game like you more? <laughs> I see you're also going for dig strats. Oh, yeah, yeah, we want sure. our. Um, we want our Kulava to have a better chance of surviving the Mantine because it will. Uh, allow us to set up an X spec pretty safely. Um, we have like two leads here, which is going to be Apom and uh, Mantine. And Apom will flinch Espeon. It really sucks because it outspeeds yeah. Espeon, and that causes a lot of issues. So just for some safety, uh, we like to keep our Quilava as yeah. high HP as possible. Unfortunately, my Quilava has pretty low HP IV. It's two IV, I believe. So I'm not nearly as likely to survive this Bubble Beam. But I still want to be high HP in the in each case. This Mantine has terrible special attack. But yeah, what we really, really want in this fight is for Apom to go down on turn one. It's about 55% for X special into confusion to one shot it. And if we get that, we're like, it's it's not, we haven't won yet, but it's a huge weight off our shoulders. So that's gonna be a very important part. Let's see if we get it. Yeah, so basically we kind of expect Kulava to just take the death here, mainly because it makes the fight easier to get through and also because we get a free team heal afterwards anyway. Yeah, yeah Bubble Me here does about 80 health or 80 damage. But yeah, if Quilava dies right away, that's just another turn that Espeon's going to be targeted, and we don't really want that. So it's good if Quilava can take at least one. 
Unfortunately, missed the 55% range. <laughs> How about me? Can I get a kiss on the cheek? Oh, come on. Oh, no. Both missed it. If Actually, Robert comes now, out here, it's not too bad. Yeah. What would be ideal for you? Oh, that's perfect for you. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, perfect. that's perfect for you. So Apom's not going to target Espeon. It's going to go for the kill on Quilava there. Oh, sick. Oh, my God. There's no way. Okay, now we're both going to get astonished on Quilava. So this is where Smart AI, it, Espeon takes more damage from Astonish, but since Astonish would kill Quilava, Apom shifts to kill Yeah, this Quilava. is so uncommon that it happened to both of us. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's super sick. So now Quilava goes down, and Umbreon comes out. Yeah, if you guys like Umbreon, uh, this is the last, well, one of the last times you're probably going to get to see it. It doesn't really do a lot in this run, unfortunately. We do nickname it, though, so in our hearts, he's our special boy. That's right. Yeah, if we do see Umbreon, it's probably because yeah. something bad happens. So yeah. now, um, because we had this really niche uh, situation happen, Swift and I can actually go for the early kill on Mantine. Um, at least I'm going to be going for it because uh, we now have uh, plus three guaranteed and uh, it's way better to go for a plus three two shot with confusion than plus two into plus three. It's a way a higher odds uh, situation. So I don't know why you wouldn't. This man time really sucks to have on the field. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. He has a 95% crit rate. I like the thing. <laughs> and a 50% or 50 the speed drop rate, at least yep. for me. Getting to see a lot more use of the X item exploit that we talked about earlier here. Yeah, it basically carries our run because Espeon is allowed to attack the same turn it gets powered up, which is like, it would make fights like these, if they if it wasn't the case, it would be like almost impossible. Yeah, and Umbreon's really low level here. Can't really do much, so it just boosts Espeon. QA. Yeah, this fur is also kind of annoying. It, yeah. This fur and Yanma both get a move off in Tass. Oh, we're talking about Tass now. Yeah. The Tass <laughs> run of this game is so funny. It's so funny. Yeah, Tass, I think, is already done with Mirror B at this point. Yeah. Yeah. The Tass was actually made by uh, two people being Casual Poke Player and the only Juan. Our goat. Oops. Goats. Please. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, here I'm actually using Snatch. It's faster than calling Umbreon. <laughs> I still call because it's for. Can I, does it always help in Kanyama? I forget. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because uh, Snatch actually. If for it does use defense curl, it a whole animation would play out where Umbreon snatches the defense curl and gets a defense boost. It's really funny, but it's also really slow, so yeah. we don't want to see that. Yeah. yeah, it's really funny. It uses helping hand, but Yanma just sonic booms, which does a stack yeah, 20. Yeah, it's yeah, smart AA moment. Yeah. Uh, but now we're through this fight, and now we're uh, good to go. So we're balling. Now will be a perfect time for some donations. Absolutely. I have $13 from Slowpoke. Am I too late for the prime number donation train? <laughs> Nobody, you're right on time. Thank you so much for that donation. I have $25 from Epic Yoshi Master, Swift, Sparkle, GDQ, Hollow. So excited to be here watching my friend show off this amazing run. Y'all are awesome. Less than three. I have $50 from G-Shark54. Super happy to see Kahlo at GDQ, and I can't think of a better pair to race it. Good luck to both runners. Also, we are only $15,700 oh away from $1 million. So <laughs> oh, whoa. Salsa. Salsa. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. The Kahlo uh, Cord loves Salsa. Yeah. <laughs> they have like something like a 34 party mode of just Salsa. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So this next fight is, uh, it's like, it can be kind of cringe, but uh, mainly we have to uh, get rid of this Quillfish on the first turn, which gives this Goldeen a turn to do whatever it wants, which normally is fine if it didn't have the move Supersonic, because of course, why wouldn't it have Supersonic? It can always miss. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, sure. Marathon, yeah, in a marathon. Yeah, this Quillfish also has Surf, which can just kill Quilava. Yeah, that's what we needed dead. It also has, like, doesn't it have Minimize? Like, minimize. This thing is stacked for no reason. Quilfish. Poison Shang. They try to make Gen 2 Pokemon seem yeah. so threatening. And, By the way, game. I need everyone to know Quilava is a fish. Oh, we're doing this now? Okay. Oops. See, the there's a fish Quillfish. Bit. Yeah. And then okay. there's Quilava. That's fair. Some people in our community like to think Pokemon are fish when they're not. I don't know who those I'm, people I'm, are. A, I'm a completely <laughs> neutral bystander to this. I have no opinion. Believe me. Quilava makes a fantastic yeah. fish. No. Do they? <laughs> I'm sorry, but do they? Thank you. Yes. But Goldeen. Goldeen's a fish. 
It's a goldfish. I mean, Golden strikes me as narwhal adjacent, if you ask me. <laughs> See, the attack is kind of not crazy. great. Okay, as long as I land this flame wheel, I'm fine. Oh, I got Ball it. Yeah, those are pretty two bad moves to get. And I missed Well, I got it on uh, Espeon, which isn't too bad. A little early to start missing there, Quilava. Yeah, she'll work it out. I believe in her. Yeah, so we're, we're about oh. to enter the next region of the game. So we just got through the pyrite building, and so now we're going to the pyrite cave. And Mir B is at the end of the cave. Yeah. But before we do that, we actually are going to take one of the uh, only, I think, one of the very few saving points in this run, because the next thing we have to do is, as bad as it is, we kind of have to do it. So yeah. coming up is an, our only other shadow catch of the run is going to be a shadow metatype. And the Meditide itself is completely useless. We don't care about it. It's only good for like one other thing in the run. What we actually want from it is its item, which is the Twisted Spoon. That boosts the power of psychic type moves of 1.1 times, so 10% if you're holding it. So we want that for Espeon as soon as possible. But unfortunately, we have to catch the Meditide first. And believe it or not, it actually has the same catch rate as Quilava. So at full HP, a Great Ball is 40% to catch. So because of that, um, there's a very reasonable chance that things go wrong and either you get killed by the Metatite or you kill the Metatite. And killing the Metatite, you can't fight the guy again. You have to, I think if you have to beat the game at a chance to get the Metatite again or some insane uh, stipulation. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna play around with that. We're not gonna play with no. fire. We're gonna Although, save the game and... Uh, Sparkle was going to get Ultra Balls. <laughs> Whatever happened to that plan, huh? If I was a, if I was way ahead of you at this point, I would have done it to troll you, but I'm, I'm nervous now. You're like actually kind of, you're kind of balling right now. I, I can't risk it. Kinda yeah, there's a chest in the cave that has Ultra Balls. Yeah, it, it, it just, it's a uh, It's very out of the way. Out yeah. of your way. And it doesn't even improve the odds that much. Like, yeah. you may believe. It, it like, it's... Uh, about 41% or something for Great Ball at full HP. Ultra Ball is like only 50% at full HP. Oh, we're about to get our first instance of trainers being blind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah. I think Swift elects to hold down right here just for safety, but I'm going to go uh, full grease mode and just hold straight right. And um, this guy that coming up is not going to see me. Trust me. Yeah, the trainer with the red hair that she just passed. And if he does see me, I'll just go Miku mode right now. Still 14k short, almost. <laughs> I'm holding right. Yeah. <laughs> See ya, kid. All right, so here comes uh, Ryder Twan. So yeah, like I was that. remarking not too long ago about how close they were, and we might see some divergence here. Yeah. We already saw some divergence when I took a turn longer to catch Quilava, and that can come to play here on the opposite end. Yeah, so Meditate's the same chance as Quilava, about 40% to just get in the ball full HP. That's ideal. It's actually faster to catch this Metatite than to try to kill it. And it's very convenient that it also has this spin. So the moves, if it does break out, we really don't want to see high jump kick or shadow rush. They're super strong. Because yeah. Metatite has pure power, which doubles its attack stat. That's a crazy ability. Yeah, and you can see we still have the Great Ball, even oh though we used it. You can't be real. <laughs> I got to get this right now, bro, please. You got both catches you. first try. Wow. I did. Another 40%. Surely we're not going to see two first balls. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, this might get very, uh, very greasy for me. We'll see what happens. So, uh, in, a, in a normal run, you would want to use Confusion on Metatite to weaken it to a point where Great Ball is guaranteed. I don't want to do that because critical hits exist. And, um... Playing it safe is my biggest priority. I can also use Return, which is very... Okay, Calm Mind is great. I like Calm Mind. Um, so here I'm going to Great Ball again, uh, Ball Dupe it, and then use Return. Because um, it's a very low chance that Return Crit will one-shot Metatite. The only problem is that I'm not guaranteed to catch it still after I hit it once with Return, because it's still going to be in green HP on average. But it would still go about up to like 60-ish percent at best. Right. Oh. Arg. Ooh, wow. All right. So yeah, Swift is equipping that spoon now that she just took off the Metatite. She took a quick peek at Metatite stats. That'll matter like okay. the last five minutes of the run. Yeah. So ignore it for now. <laughs> Luckily, uh, that Metatite's defense is extremely low. It's 38, which I don't normally see yeah. that low. <laughs> Why, man? Why me? Uh, it'll matter later for something called an AI shift. Uh, an AI shift in this game 
is when uh, the AI looks at your Pokemon and sees which one it does more damage. So the lower defense uh, your Pokemon is, the, like the more chance it will target that. Um, if it's like too low of a hold, uh, I beg or too low of a threshold. Dude, this is crazy! Oh my god, this is actually so... Yeah, that, one, that one was about 62%, I think. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh, no. Okay, so if Quilava dies, I'm fine. I, either Mon can die. Actually, I don't want Espeon to die. I, I take that back. Don't don't dig crit me. Don't do this to me. Oh, you can't do this to me. I started this company. Okay, thank you. <laughs> And one HP out of Blaze too, just for the just for the salt. Yeah, so even though I'm at risk of dying, I st I really have to get this meditate. I can't I can't be healing right now. I have to do whatever I can to get this meditate as soon as possible. And this is a point where I would have reset already if this was a PB attempt. It very easily. That's how bad this can be. So if I just get it right now, I mean like I could stop talking about it and like you know it'd be great. <laughs> but, uh... You know man, you know man. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. But, um... <laughs> Going back to AI ships a bit, um, our Kulava can be shifted to. So normally the AI targets Espeon, um, but in some cases the AI just might end up targeting Typhlosion if it's just too low HP. Uh, I think <laughs> both of our Quills don't have to deal with that luckily, which is good. Okay. The spark was almost about to die. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, we got the extra hyper potions by taking the elevator, so I can I can take the loss here. Unfortunately, Swift is like way ahead of me now. But I was expecting this. Don't don't get it twisted. All right, I have it all planned out for me. Don't twist like the spoon. True. Do we have time for a donation? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I have $25 from Lavable Man. My goat. Let's go, Sparkle. As for Swiftaloo, let's just say she's a little silly. Seriously, though, good luck to you both. I usually donate to Judy Q during the Pokemon runs, and it makes me extremely happy that you guys are the one doing a Pokemon game this year. Chilling with you guys and the crew for the last few days has been some of the most fun I've ever had. Given that my main game is super different from Pokemon, I'm thankful to have discovered you guys anyways. Thanks, Swift, for showing me around the hotel and being cool in general, and thanks, Sparkle, for being a carbon copy of me. Right <laughs> down to our controversial food takes, yes. mayo is yucky, which actually I agree with. It is actually... Thank you, my God. When, when, we meet a, when you meet a fellow mayo hater, it's like a whole new <laughs> realm unlocks for you in your life. Also, we are only $13,224 away from $1 million. Audience, Twitch chat, let's make that happen. I agree. <laughs> yeah, Lovable is going to be running Spelunky 2 tomorrow, mm, so yeah. be sure to catch that. 7 a.m., <laughs> set your clocks right now. <laughs> fantastic run and fantastic runner. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so they're about one fight apart now, which is kind of big, but it's still really early on. We'll be fine. I mean, depending on how Mirror B goes, they, they could be tied again. Locking Let's see how Mirror Beast. Yeah, Sunsparks is a pretty heavy hitting shadow, just like Furret. It has very strong normal stab moves and uh, some status moves as well. Yeah, Glare and Yawn for status, and then take down Shadow Rush for physical. Another scary Gen 2 Mon, yeah. which you would never pay attention to normally, although there were. Okay. <gasps> okay. Oh. Okay. If that was Espeon, I'd be a little more oh annoyed, but this is fine. Kulava can take the experience loss here. The only problem is I, I don't have... Uh, he was gonna one, she was going to one-shot the Khaki at next turn with Flame Wheel, but now I'm going to have to use Espeon to do that. And hopefully get, I get to uh, fight flinch with Thunstone. I also got a crit from on Kulava with Water Gun, but luckily it lived. Yeah, so Kulava losing experience is um, something to definitely take note of during the run. Um, if you lose too much, you actually... Because you gain all the experience you uh, uh, tank up over the run once you purify all at once. So uh, Kulava should always um, uh, level up to 36, which is evolution level. If it does not reach that, uh, you are still okay. It's just it makes Mount Battle a lot more uh, janky to set up uh, your Blaze strats. But even with this experience loss, it's, I'm, I'll still be okay if I get the... Uh, the experience I need. Okay, thank you, Umbreon, for not joking. Let's go, Umbreon. Let's go! Any Umbreon lovers? Yeah. Also, speaking of Kolava, I have $25 from Jordan97. Kolava is the best fish in the game. Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate Shout it. Shout-outs to Jordan. <laughs> Shout-outs to Jordan. Okay, so thankfully I don't have to use my revive here because there's a very convenient heal machine right here. So I'll be taking that for sure. Uh, Swift is about to... 
go to the pizza party while I'm not invited because I'll do this next part. So <laughs> you guys can have fun explaining that. I'll just be back here doing my own thing. Yeah, so Mirror B has four Ludicolos and a Sudowoodo. It's a shout out for Sudowoodo. Um, salsa. 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 <laughs> so he has four Ludicolos. Uh, they are level 28, 29, 30, and 31. The 28 and 29 has Swift Swim, and the 30 and 31 have Rain Dish. Uh, this matters actually quite a bit because. Um, they will always use rain dance when rain isn't up. Uh, even if one of them is just gonna get rain dance off, they will still both use rain dance, which makes for some funny things. Hopefully I get a nice good lead here. I'm hoping to see maybe like 28 or something. 30, okay. The rain Hopefully is a little slow. 29. Oh, okay. Ooh, this is a little bit of a tough lead. So um, the 31 is uh, 15 and 16 to Dire Confusion at plus three. And yeah. if you miss it, it'll use Leech Seed. And that wastes a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> because they also have Rain Dish. These 30 and 31 leads have Rain Dish, which is more animation time loss if they get a turn during rain. So realistically, there's no way to kill these turn one. So you just boost Espeon with Palava and on Espeon's turn. So Espeon now is at plus two. If you're Tass, you can skip rain. You can just barely one-shot everything. Moment of truth. Okay. Nice. okay. <laughs> I've missed that range way too many times. Uh, it really sucks because then I have to kill everything in that slot in order to get rid of the leech seed and it's just super slow. Um, but luckily I don't have to deal with that. Uh, this is a little slow. This 30 has furious swipes. Uh, I'm also really worried about this 29 here since this 29 actually outspeeds Espeon due to the rain uh, and it has Astonish. Astonish is uh, a move that can flinch you. 30% chance. Very bad. Luckily, yeah, with, over here. with the rain, Bolava can't really do any damage. Flame Wheel is half damage. So we just anytime we have to do anything with Bolava, it's just gonna dig from now on. Yeah. Which there is a funny quirk about this AI. Uh, if the level 29 targets Bolava while it's underground, uh, with it will use rain dance, and it's really funny. Uh, hopefully we actually see that here, because it'd be really silly to see that. But uh, the 29 can target the Espeon too. We'll see. Yeah, this fight just has some of the most interesting AI. It's random targeting still, but there's also some good, smart AI when it chooses its move, but not kill AI. <laughs> we saw it. it just tried to it's amazing. It. Yeah. <laughs> That's Mirror B has like at least 10 asterisks next to his name in the coding of this game. It's like, it makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. And Espeon will always outspeed the level 28 if I'm at least 31 IV speed, which I am. Um, if you're 27 speed, you outspeed Tiet, which isn't fun, because that has Razor Leaf, which is super slow. All right, now, now it's my turn to go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Okay, time for a couple itself. donations. Oh yeah, for sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amazing. We have twenty-five dollars from Kirby Massa. Quillfish is a fish. Salsa. Thank you so much. Ten dollars from Fabian. Sparkle Ballin. Sparkle Ballin. Sparkle Ballin. Glad to see you on GDQ. Sparkle Ballin. Thank you so much for that donation. <laughs> we are only a little under twelve thousand dollars away from one million dollars. Oh yes, dude. Yeah, Quillfish, the water Pokemon. <laughs> Thank yes. you, fish. Starting to finally accept it, huh? Quill fish, not the fire hedgehog. Oh. We'll get you to come around eventually. 29. Ooh. Quill with a W. Okay, 28 or whatever. As long as it's not 2931. Yeah. 2931 is scary because, again, you get astonished. Uh, you really don't want that. Yeah, uh, I'm just coping if that's 31 it. to kill you. Now we're gonna finally rescue this plusle. Any plusle lovers out there? Fortunately, we don't use it much, but uh, we might see a little bit of it. Uh, we'll at least keep it in our party. It'll come in use uh, maybe a little bit later. If you guys want to see plusle be the goat, check out the world record speaker for this game, 325 by uh, ZKK on YouTube. Don't miss it. Yeah, it uses uh, the different route that we were talking about earlier, and uh, plusle ends up being a star at one point. Quite the interesting route. It's 
very it's cool to fun. see that. Yeah. <laughs> I would have really loved to showcase it in this game, but uh, it, marathon safety is priority, so unfortunately, maybe next time. There is also the no snags category, which doesn't mm. catch anything, but Plusle is not really a catch, so Plusle gets used quite a bit in that category as well. Yeah, that's where we just use Umbreon and Espeon, and towards the second half of the game, we just ditch Umbreon for Plusle, actually. Oh, please. This is the worst turn, worst turn. Okay. okay. <laughs> now I have to get the range. It's not over yet. 15 and 16. Nice. Oh, oh, thank right. God. Easy. Something going my way. <laughs> Still got to deal with this 29, though, unfortunately. So, yeah, now Quilava's job is just to survive the rest of the fight. Yeah. So, I'll just be using dig and calls and items or whatever it has Yeah, to I do. really don't want my Quill to die here because of the uh, already lost experience I have. Yeah, it doesn't have really spray. much more to spare. Yeah. Okay, thankfully, I only have one more turn to go with this level 29 Ludicolo before I am home free. Yeah, so now Swift is going to continue with the story. We're heading up to the next region, Ag Agate Village. Mm -hmm. Here, um, actually, Rui was on her way to go visit her grandpa here when she got kidnapped. Um, but this area is where kind of Celebi lives, and Celebi actually purifies our Pokemon. Yeah, but we're not going to uh, use that because it's kind of slow. I know I've had some people come in and ask, oh, why don't you just use Entei? It's very slow. Uh, doing this is quite literally on the way, so it doesn't waste any time. Uh, this is also one of the last bits of shopping that we're going to do in terms of healing items, uh, if everything goes well. Uh, I'll be buying 11 Hyper Potions, which is Ryzakin's uh, shopping route. But there are different shopping routes you can do, including buying one of those vitamins down there. The vitamins uh, give your Pokémon EVs. EVs are effort values. Uh, they boost your Pokémon's stats uh, eventually, if you use enough of them. But in this case, it, uses, it gives you 10 EVs. Um, which can make a difference on a couple of fights. Just increase it a little, the range a little bit, and make it better. But uh, otherwise, we're not going to be showcasing it in this route because both our Quilava and Espeon are quite good and should be able to safely deal with pretty much any range that it can be thrown at. All right, thankfully I finally defeated Freddy Fazbear's Pizza so I can get my way out of here. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Another like really huge. Uh, run killer point. Not even just the fact that it can kill you, just like anything that goes bad, like Espeon getting flinched, getting leech seed from missing the range, Kulav getting crit by a water gun. There's so many things that a mirror beat can do to troll you and just take away your run. But thankfully, me and Swift had pretty good fights. Let me get out of here. And that'd be a great time for donations. Lovely. I have $64 from Simplex Seaside's Tass Woo. Thank you so much for that donation. That is referring to the Celeste All Seaside's Tass. We are at $33.89, 50 out of $25,000. I have $15 from Botron. Dude, Pokemon Coliseum, a classic. Would play this all the time with my little brother. It took forever to catch NT. Good luck on the run. Thank you so much for your donation. We are only $11,000 away from hitting $1 million. <laughs> I have $5 from Divine Feline. One ticket to the $5 train, please. Absolutely hop on board. And I have $50 from Poke Guy. Good luck, Swift and Sparkle. You're both doing great. All this talk about salsa is making me hungry. <laughs> Poke Guy, another huh. great runner. Uh, ran at last AGDQ with Pokemon Yellow. Also chugged salsa, didn't he? Yeah, you have, you you have the video, salsa. don't you? Yeah. I do have the video. <laughs> <laughs> he last, he, that's very upsetting. That's our goat. <laughs> he, um, last year we were here, uh, we were at, or not last year, it was 2021. We were here for Midwest Beast Fest, and he just chugged salsa. Quite the goat. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I should have run No reason not to. salsa. <laughs> I think there's a few reasons not to. If only you could see what's in my mask right now. <laughs> We have a time for like four or five. Yeah, minutes. yeah, this part's pretty. Oh, pretty absolutely. Cool. I have $25 from Frozen Flygon. Hi, Swift and Sparkle, less than three. I am so happy you two are on the stage representing the Pokemon community. Thank you so much for your donation. I have $50 from Kirovec. Good evening from Spain. Pokemon Coliseum is one of my all time favorites, so I'm super happy to see it being run on SGDQ. I'm also a big Vocaloid fan, so this seemed to be the perfect opportunity to donate. Yes, I'm Good luck about. to both runners and Salsa. I have $50 from Yog KV. Sparkle and Swift, I'm so lucky that I get to be in person here in the crowd, cheering you on because your communities mean so much to me. I love you both. Let's hit that million. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation. We are yeah. only $10,652 away. Oh, man. Yeah, that wig's coming soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm mentally preparing myself as we speak. 
Yeah, so on Sparkle screen here, this is Egan. We'll we'll see him again. Oh, uh, we'll we'll see him. Yeah. Egan to me, he's my main character of, of this game. He's my <laughs> he's my favorite character. We all cheer for him. Yeah. There's very two distinct reasons why I love him, and one of them's coming up soon. Egan, otherwise known as Old Ash, because yeah. he has a Pikachu. Oh, we'll see that Pikachu. Guys, have you seen Game Theory where Rui's actually their daughter, granddaughter because Misty's the old lady, and like, dude, it's crazy. You should watch Game Theory, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. But we are closing in on that naming incentive since we'll be able oh, to true. We're very naming close. Koala yeah, yeah. soon. Oh my god. Uh, so if please. you have any donations you want to get in to make the name win that you want, I know I really want Bingus on Espeon. <laughs> kind of Fieri guy on myself. Hey, fun fact, I actually share a birthday with Guy Fieri. January 22nd, it's real. Nice. We're spiritually connected. Oh, here's the other spiel. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> the one I wanted to kill this whole time. <laughs> Finally. Finally spielicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the fight Swift is on right now is kind of annoying because both have confusion. You can get confusion and it's just a mess. And nice, got that range on Carvana. Yeah, essentially the section that we're kind of going into shortly, we want to keep some damage on Quilava, ideally, because we're going to be going for Blaze when we're yeah. in Typhlosion. Swift actually has a very reliable Blaze strat that she's probably going to talk about soon, which I do not have access to. You yeah. Want, if you want to go ahead, Swift. So I actually have a Quilava with high enough HP where I can do something called No Charcoal Strats. Uh, I was actually taught this by Zeke. It is a very reliable way to set a Blaze. It's super, super good. Uh, basically, I'll be removing the charcoal from Quilava since it comes with the charcoal. And I will hit the Why Not with Flame Wheel, which it will mirror coat and reflect back the damage, except double. But I will barely survive, um, which can put me into Blaze for Mount Battle. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to heal this. It looks like probably not. Uh, I can die to the mirror coat at this HP, but it has to be a very high roll, max yeah. roll even. And even if you do die to the mirror coat, it's still not the worst thing because Swift has more than enough experience to evolve if she uh, kills the hit top in the next or in, yeah, yes. the next fight. And um, also, uh, if when you revive, you're going to be at half your HP, which is still like a that's half your HP, so that's a huge chunk down. Uh, that's a it's a good way to blaze already, progress-wise. So it works out either way. Although one, not as much, preferably, but... Yeah, these are the No Charcoal Strat was made by Xarian like a way long time ago, but for some reason, no one really adopted it much. It is a little bit slow, you gotta remove the item, but it's free sometimes. Yeah. And I think for a marathon setting, it works out beautifully, because either way, even if you don't get what you want, you're still uh, halfway to blaze. I will not be going for the charcoal list strats. I'm going to be just praying that Scrub gives us a good... Oh, yeah, that by the way, I spoiled it. Uh, speaking of funny names... <laughs> yeah, this guy is, is quite literally named his Scrub. His name is Scrub with a K. <laughs> yeah. He has lovely parents, I'm Beautiful. sure. Beautiful. So this entire time, and for the, probably the rest of the time, every fight here has been a double battle. But this is the one instance in the game Oh, where yeah. Egan, it is... he's my main character. <laughs> Egan, okay, just watch this. Just watch. watch. Okay, Pikachu, dude, oh my god. Let's go, Pikachu! Oh my god, I love game theory. Come on, Pikachu, let's go. Don't cheer on Pikachu. No, we want Pikachu to win. No! Let's go. That's time loss. Then Sparkle's gonna catch up to me. I want him to win too. We have the first ever double Egan win in the marathon, and we can like go on Ripley's Believe It or Not or something. Come it's on, gonna Pikachu, be great. Come on. It's not a lot of damage. Give his first hit. We never Oko's Pikachu. We need the static proc here. Come on. Static. Static proc. Static. Oh, uh, this Pikachu didn't even cry. I, I got your back, crowd. I got your back. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll pick up the slack. So the way Pikachu can win this fight is it needs to obviously proc static, and then Hitmontop needs to not be able to hit through many turns. Yeah. And if Pikachu gets a crit, that's huge because it nullifies the minus one attack from the Intimidate and does actually like probably like around a fourth of Hitmontop's health, which is crazy. And so yeah. what happens if Pikachu were to win? Nothing. 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 It's just, it's just funny. <laughs> the game doesn't uh, know what to do, so it just progresses the game as normal. Yeah, the devs yeah. even gave combo. it uh, Bright Powder. Oh, wow, yeah. So it can even miss its quick attack. Yeah, 10%. It, it's level 50, by the way, too. Yeah, but only knows quick attack. No Thunderbolt or anything. Nope. Oh. Yeah. So Swift, as uh, she had said, she got a good combo on Scrub. Yeah, so it's about 40% to get a really good uh, combo on the uh, the first two Mons. This one being Geodude, why not? The other one being Clam Pro, why not? The key Mon here is a why not? Because it's completely useless. It can't do damage on its own. So if we just avoid using it, 
then um what <laughs> I did the crowd was loud for a second I don't know why but uh, then uh, you're able to just uh, ignore why not and then uh, do the rest of the fight as normal which is completely safe uh, if you get any combination of like hit him on top and something else a really bad combo is something like hit him on top and Geo Dude, where you're kind of forced to have Kolaba take a death because there's no way to take care of both him on top and Geo Dude to the point where you can uh, have Kolaba survive so if I get a combo like that I might not even get Typhlosion uh, Evolution, which would be really unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world, like I said earlier. Yeah, for Hip on Top, we gotta set up to plus two to ri reliably kill it. So we need at least two turns before we can target it. Yeah. Yeah, basically, sometimes you have to forego going for a good blaze setup in favor of just surviving the fight. But in Swift's case, she can go for it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, you didn't heal Quill? That's crazy. No, because it's 79, and the max roll I can do is 80. Oh, okay. I love man. All right, here's here's my go, my Egan fight. Let's go. Here we go. I'm so pumped for this. Top Pika. Come on, this is for Miku. Come on, you got to do this, bro. Oh! Nice. Oh my God! <laughs> One HP. That Let's will. Let's go, Quill. That will be Blaze. Oh yeah, check out this static. All right. Static, static, static. Come on, what? man! <laughs> no, we didn't rig our memory cards properly. What? No. Wow. That's unfortunate. It's only 30% for static to proc, but it's like in a marathon setting, it's super funny to get that. In an actual PV attempt, you would be molding if you get static proc on him on top. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, the, the, the fight was fast. Yeah, no yeah. static is fast, True. but we like on top, to see Pikachu. Him on top can crit too, so that'd be the fastest possible fight. All right, let's see if I can get a good combo here. I would really appreciate that because I'm not in a very good position to get a blaze, if not. Okay, good. I'll take right, that for sure. Good. Time for a donation. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. I have $25 from Outer Laro. Hey, Outer Laro here. I made the program that allows the minute just the, for the starters oh, yeah. in this game. It was a very fun project for me and the amount of interest it generated with running this game and XP has been amazing. Definitely was one of my favorite projects. And we are only seven thousand nine hundred. That, that close? Yeah, forty-six dollars like, away. Every time you mention it, it's like two K close. Listen, how, do, how are you people, people doing this? Th this is what we want. <laughs> yeah, Aldolaro, <laughs> such a champion. Yeah, without that program, like this run is fine. If you watched without, the no RNG manip run of this game in like twenty fifteen, you'd be laughing so hard. It's, it's so it, funny. It was pretty terrible. Yeah. Um, the hard part is trying to get a run because you just have to kind of reset yeah, your yeah. game over and over again until you get a strong enough SP on. And then endgame is, is really funny because people knew about the ball dupe glitch, so we just or not we, I wasn't there, I was like fourteen. But people would just abuse the uh, the master ball to catch every shadow Pokemon at the end of the game and just like just kind of like dogpile all of the Shadowmons at once to yeah, try and beat the army. final boss. It was so funny. <laughs> the army of Skarmory and yeah. Metagross and... <laughs> Metagross is... So the Bayleaf funny. route still gets the Master Ball. True, true. Because right. Bayleaf is Chad and we should use Bayleaf. Yeah. Again, there's literally no Croc Runners. Or, uh, there's one Croc Runner in our community. Like 0.5. Yeah, it's really 0.5. I got Hyper Mode? Oh, oh God, man. Okay, that... this is really funny. So if I don't get this critical hit on Hyper Mode, this is really bad. I kind of have to get it. Because if I don't, then why not Mirror Coats and uh, kills Espeon in one hit? I will need Kulava's name here coming up, by the way, as I'm about to purify yeah. it. Um, please, 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 please. So. Okay, thank God. Right. And by the way, with my hard gauge being at basically, it was zero, it was only 5% for Hyper Mode to proc. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's really, that's really scary. But yeah, the names are coming up here. Yeah. yeah, so this is where we purify Kulava. If your heart gauge is all the way down, you can purify. Yeah, so Swift will probably be taking the first name. We'll be taking both na the top two names right from the, the yeah. list. So she'll take the first name because she's ahead, and I'll be taking the second one. Perfect. The first one is Chef. <laughs> what? What? Chef. Chef. Oh. Oh, Chef. I thought you said Sean, and that's my name. I was like, what? <laughs> no. People love me that much? <laughs> no. Not quite. Is it in all caps or is it just a capital C? Just a capital C. Okay. Yeah, now we have Ty. Yeah. Typhlosion. Typhlosion. Yeah, now Typhlosion will, will carry kind of the run from now on. 
And it's still in Blaze after all those levels and the evolution HP boost. The chef. It's nice. the chef. Yes, chef. All right, so I have to take the item shop uh, after, uh, which leaves me a bit of time. Swift went for it before, but I prefer doing it after just because we have hyper potions already by this point. I usually run out. <laughs> That's why I do it early. <laughs> well, we got the three extras from the elevator, so that was my idea. All right, I will need Espeon and Umbreon's name coming up as well. Absolutely. It looks like it's going to be Bingus. Oh, I yes. want Bingus. Oh, I want it. Espeon. Oh, and Bingus on the Espeon? Yep, and Dark Chef for Umbreon. Okay. Got the army of chefs. <laughs> Dark Chef. Oh. Thank you, because uh, Espeon was not being Bingus during Frost Fatales, and I was very You were sad. distraught over that. That was really <laughs> funny. Go, Bingus. Sherry, Bingus, and And Dion. does uh, Dark Chef have a space in it? Uh, yes, Dark Space Chef. Okay. Throw makeup time. I'll get like short names. <laughs> oh yeah, if you were curious, uh, hyper mode does not um, prevent me from purifying my Quilava, Thankfully, if that was the case, that would be very crusty. <laughs> that would be super troll. Yeah. All right. Uh, it seems my Typhlosion is going to need a name soon too. What would that be? It's Claw. Q oh. U O I question mark with the question mark. I got the French community on my back. Very Let's go. <laughs> you love to see it. Bye, Ray. <laughs> I should get enough experience here. Oh my god, that's like barely enough. <laughs> I think, so. I think that what you need is 18.2k. I got 18.8k, which normally you get like around mid 19k. So now we're in the next part of the game here where we end up going to mount battle and it ends up being taken over by the enemy team Cypher. It's 10 fights, kind of long, but we got to get through it. This section's one of the biggest reasons why we thought Croc was better for such a long time. Because you just click Surf, which is a slow animation, but it does deal with these various rock and ground type threats a lot faster. Yeah, this is definitely Quilava's, like, the area it struggles the most. There's a lot of ground and rock types here. Okay, so let's see. It's U O I question mark, right? That is correct. Qua. 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 Okay, now I'm going to be needing Espeon and Umbreon names on top of that. Absolutely. Espeon is Salsa in all capital letters. Yes. Nice. <laughs> oh, oh, my team is so oh. powerful. <laughs> Also, we are only $5,702 away from $1 million. We can do it. I believe in us. I'm already getting so sweaty. I haven't put on the wig yet. <laughs> Which fight is it going to happen on? <laughs> <laughs> It'll forever be the million dollar trainer. All right, salsa all caps. Yes. Gotta do this as fast as possible. So far part of the keyboard. There we go, salsa. <laughs> salsa. All right, and now Umbreon is uh, um, Umbreon, actually. Umbreon. Wait, Umbreon? Um, Umbreon is Espeon. Yes. Oh, oh my God, I wanted that one. <laughs> Amazing. That time, Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna name it Espeon all caps to make it look like it's a default name in the game. <laughs> there we go. There Let's go, go Espeon. Let's go. All right, cool. Espe Chef. Oh, yeah, Turo's in the game, by the way. Oh, yeah, you missed it. <laughs> I'll, I'll get to him in a second. I was going to make a joke. Whatever. Well, okay, guys, pretend she didn't say that so I can do my bit and you can all laugh, all right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so Mount Battle, um, if you have Blaze, it's really good. All these ball toy are a range. I'm going to have to do some uh, pretty uh, questionable. Well, not questionable, but, like, my HP is very high on Typhlosion, so I have to burn some turns to uh, get my HP down. I'm actually going to have to hit Typhlosion with Espeon. 
some uh, friendly fire here just for the uh, just because Blaze is that important. We need to yeah. get in as soon as possible. That guy trolls me so long. Blaze really speeds up these fights, but there is one fight in particular, fight nine, where Blaze is required. If you don't have Blaze, yeah. you can't get through the fight. Yeah. Plus, will can still technically, but that's slow. All right, guys, here comes my joke. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Oh, yo, guys, it's dad of the year. Yo, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> they still clap. Have they yeah. got you? Also, we are only $5,547 away from $1 million. Oh. All right, so I'm going to be taking down Shrapinch first as opposed to uh, Numo because I Numel is dangerous for low HP Typhlosion because it has magnitude, but I actually want to see magnitude because uh, it'll it's a reliable way to put me in blaze. But uh, yeah, magnitude's be... power varies from yeah. a four, which is ten power, up to a ten, which is hundred and fifty power. We don't want to see ten. No, we don't need that strong of a hit. No, we need like I, I take like a seven. That'd be nice. And it's it's RNG to use it anyway. It's a random AI. Might use like Ember or something. Oh. 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 Oh, hey, whoa, okay. Very nice. I'm speaking into the game right now. Oh, that's not Blaze. Ooh. Ooh. My Ooh. salsa's been criticaled. Okay, this is fine. I'm just going to uh, end this fight now and then get Blaze in the next fight. Because giving Numel another turn, unfortunately, uh, I can't get um, Blaze Flame Wheel to ever one-shot Numel unless I get a crit. So I'm just going to play it safe and uh, kill it now so I can... Uh, Still have good HP for the next fight to get Blaze. Yeah, giving no more extra turns is always risky. Yeah. I'm gonna heal S uh, Espeon right yeah, now. Yeah, so in the next few fights, he'll be hoping that the random AI kind of... Yeah, have to rely on Ball Toy. Typhlosion into and unfortunately, the moves it has to tap me with are not moves you ever want to see in a casual run. But uh, we have to make it do. We have time for some donations during hey, go this ahead. fight. Yeah. Awesome. I have $15 from Hayden. Let's cross that one mil mark. Trans rights. Thank you That's so right. much. Trans rights are human rights. Trans Let's go. Rights. I have $700 from Savage Noble in honor of the cutest and bestest evolution, Sylveon. Thank you. Yeah. I do yeah, love Sylveon. Like Respectable. Out there, huh? Thank you so much. I have $10 from Terra. Here is $10 for the number 10 Pokemon. Caternese, less than three. Thank you so much <laughs> for that donation. We are $2,656 away from $1 million and your wig. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, mo the moves that Baltoy has to hit me with, Swift just one-shot Baltoy got out of the way, but I need him to cooperate with me. I need him to use either Confusion Ooh. or Looks like you might have to count for that wig. Slap. I, I don't know what that was. I'm just going to continue saying what I was saying. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I want to see Mudslap for Confusion from um, Baltoy on Typhlosion, which is also random, but Cosmic Powers, whatever. If it Cosmic Powers again next turn, I still think I'm fine. I can just use Return on Typhlosion to get Blaze that way. I think we have some time for some donation. Yeah. Absolutely. I have $20 from Who Grooves on. Always must donate during a Pokemon run. This game was so hard for me when I was a kid, I don't think I ever did manage to beat it back then. So nice to see it beaten with speed. Also, can I get an order of fish, no mayo, extra salsa, chef? No, absolutely not. Thank you so much for your donation. You can have it, I guess. I have $10 from Head Bob, Sup, Sparkle, and Swift. Best of luck to you both, and please, thanks please, for being please, a part please, of please. a very memorable first-in-person GDQ. Okay, Swift okay. Hug. Thank you so much for your donation. I have five dollars from Mana Caddy that says good luck, Swift and Sparkle. I hope the race goes well. Shoutouts to both of you for being amazing streamers. And I put my money towards naming Espeon Bingus, so you can thank them for that. <laughs> and we have went one. Oh! Yeah, let's go. Uh, all right. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> All right, so guys. Excited. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> Try to keep focusing on the runs, guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I have a 
$1,234.56 donation from Squirrel Nutcase. All nuts. Let's smash the records this year. Shout it as always to the cat crew. And also a $2,345.67 donation from Squirrel Nutcase. Double the fun. Thank you so much for helping us get to that one million mark. Ooh. I'm already sweating looking at you. <laughs> Anxious Grizzly donates $50. Hi, Swift and Sparkle. Good luck on the race. You guys are some of the best people I've ever met. And don't let other people tell you otherwise. Also, do Nicole. Oh. Anonymous donates $50 with one million hype. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, audience. Thank you. I need you again for this next one, okay? Blue Cheetah donates $1,000 with one million hype. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So at this point, all our battles from now on are smart AI. So now we can't just pray that we don't get hit by a strong move. We will be hit by strong moves. Yeah, and this fight would like to use Sandstorm a lot if Typhlosion was at high HP. Uh, sometimes you have to get Blaze back by healing with an item while Trap Hinch is underground, and then hope that the dig doesn't crit you. Sometimes you do take the Sandstorm anyway. Yeah, I just took the Sandstorm because I don't yeah. like it. It's generally way safer like, to do it that way. Like, Lilip can almost never kill Ty from yeah. that HP. Yeah. And also, this, yeah, like Rising said, I think uh, the chip from Sandstorm is very helpful for place management later on. Sorry, I'm just situating myself, if you don't mind me. I missed the ball toy range, that's uh, pretty questionable. I feel like I still survived Psybeam, but... Uh, oh my Ooh, god. Oh, that, that is a bad okay. place to get. Oh. Not even Miku's invincible. That's a lesson we learned here. Uh, let's go to Meditite. So I'm just gonna have Typhlosion stay. I guess I could revive it, but... No, actually, you know what? Meditech can help me here. Meditech can probably take care of Houndor by itself. Houndor has very low defense. I would normally use, uh... I would normally use Dig to take care of it, but uh, since Typhlosion's out of the field, I have to use another uh, strong physical attack to, to take it down, and I don't have, uh... Yeah, no, I messed up the mic. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Miku's too powerful for GDQ. I should, I should have withheld my power level. That's the final way I put this headset on. Oh, one thing to mention, I guess, while you're putting away. Now we have Psybeam. So we've forgotten confusion. Psybeam is very a little bit stronger, but it helps. Nice hyper mode, Meditate. Yeah. <laughs> so now at least I guarantee you the one shot, but now I'm at risk of just dying to bite, which it did use. So we'll see how this works out for me, but Ooh, nice. Hyper Mode, uh, Crit, Shadow Rush will definitely destroy this uh, the sound door in one hit. Okay, Amber is good. We're fine. Oops. And Swift just kind of coasting over there. Yeah, I accidentally used Side Beam, though. That was an ideal. But now would be a good time for some donations. Um, but it's tight. I have a $15 donation from Saijan that says, Hatsune Miku, real? Thank you so much for your donation. $100 from room 509. So excited to see both of you on the big <laughs> stage with such a cool run, and good luck with the second half. Also, we warriors unite. Thank you so much, Chad. I need you oh again. God, $25 from Rivisay, oh, 1 million right, Swift's about, Swift's about yeah. to battle one of my favorite trainer in the game that's not yeah. Egan. This is Weeg, and as I like to say, it is the Weeg end. Because <laughs> we are close. Tomorrow's Saturday. Any Weegs in chat? Weeg? Weeg. The League of Weeg. So this Vibrava can dig. Um, Polava's definitely dead, or Typhlosion is definitely dead to dig. Um, with Spoon, you can kill it, but when it leads, we have to kill Graveler first. It'll use EQ, or Magnitude. Magnitude, yeah. Which is fine, we can just dodge a dig with Polava digging. Yeah, you'll see that a lot where we use dig to uh, avoid like stuff uh, in place of like protect and stuff. 
Yeah, yeah a lot of boss trainers Ooh. tend to have two turn moves. Oh, that's, oh, that's a really good range. Yeah. cooking with flame wheel. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna take the sandstorm here intentionally from Lily because I really need this sandstorm chip to get back into blaze. I'm at half HP, which is really bad because uh, blaze is practically necessary for a later fight in this gauntlet. That swift's gonna be coming upon uh, relatively soon. Yeah, the fight Sparkle's on right now. They also have Dig, the two Trap Inch. Barboach also has Magnitude. All these Pokemon are just basically set up to kill Typhlosion. Yeah. And here I'm actually going to equip the EXP share. Uh, this will be really important for Espeon. Um, oops, I posited the wrong thing. Wow, I can't menu. Okay. I got it eventually. Nice burn. Okay. <laughs> uh, so this actually gives Espeon 75% of the XP instead of the normal 50% split. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get Espeon to reach a certain level threshold, specifically 44, uh, so that we can just rare candy all the way up to get uh, Psychic at 47. Uh, Psychic's going to be a really good boo for the end of the game. It's very powerful, uh, but we'll have to wait until we get there, basically. Got the cheesy kill on Trapage with the flame wheel burn. Nice. It does not kill out of place, <laughs> so had to do it through the, the crusty way. I'm gonna go for a return into Blaze once again. Hopefully, I can stay in it this time. Okay, thank you, Espeon, for not critting me. Baltoy. Yeah, if we have time for donations, yeah, this would yeah, be a good point. Well, thank you so much because we have ten thousand dollars from Fan Gamer. Whoa! Wow! Whoa! Hey, yeah. Fan Gamer here. Congratulations on making it to one million. Let's keep it going. Now's a great time to send in a Dex number donation. We'd love to inspire you with the stampede of ten thousand Bulbasaurs. Bulba, Bulba, Bulbasaur. This is possible thanks to everyone who has shopped the Fangamer SGDQ 2023 official merch collection, where 100% of the profits get turned into donations like this one that support MSF's humanitarian mission. You have until the end of the event to pick up some of the awesome new products we have available. Check out the lineup at fangamer.com slash GDQ. Thank you so much, Fangamer. Aww. Okay, so Spinta has variations on its uh, design. If you may, if it is a, uh, if you know anything about Spinta, but um, it's what's weird about this game and also kind of funny is you see the portrait right there. It's that's always consistent, but the actual model, even though the AI always has, always has the same stats, the Spinta the, the uh, spot pattern is actually different, which I find kind of cute. This one has a spot on its mouth. I had a heart on mine like uh, last week during practice. It was very cute. Yeah. I'm gonna act like I knew that was a thing this entire time. Yeah, me too. You didn't know? Well, I totally knew. I, of course I knew. <laughs> yeah, no, I know both, everything about both. this game. We have known <laughs> for far longer than you. <laughs> Very believable. So is the next fight the This Geodude is the Geodude fight. fight. That's the next fight for me. Yeah. So this fight requires Blaze. It kind of makes or breaks the run. Um, if your Quilava is not strong enough, this isn't guaranteed even with Blaze. So there's just a chance where you just die. <laughs> yeah, so with, it, the way the AI in this fight works is pretty funny. No matter what, at least at the combination of mons we want to use, this guy will always use self-destruct with both of his Geodudes no matter what. This guy just does not care. So because of that, if we don't have a way of dealing with those Geodudes in one turn, we have a very bad situation on our hands. If, we're, if we have no Blaze on Typhlosion, which is what we need for this fight, we actually would employ uh, Plusle here to do some work for us because, believe it or not, Plusle actually outspeeds the Geodude to level 13 as opposed to, uh, to compare to level 36. Uh, and it can use Gravel to weaken the self-destruct so that Espeon can survive. But you can just get crit and lose anyway. So yeah, you don't want to do that either. All right, that's one. And you crit it, too. It's like guaranteed oh. with these stats, but it's still always, always nerve-wracking. And I'm, I'm gonna go for something that will probably freak everyone out. <laughs> this is guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, just that extra little bit of chip damage. Yeah, you can helping hand the Typhlosion, and in fact, that's the standard, but drop, if you uh, have enough, um, if you have enough special attack and attack on your Espeon, uh, then you can just one-shot that with like return and blade, or flame wheel combined, so long as you're in blaze, obviously. This is barely works, bro. I need to be able. I can't hear you guys at all. <laughs> I have to <laughs> readjust the headset. This is like a mall Miku. This is not working. Yeah, so I did not look convincing at all. 
All right, there we go. That's fine. You're fine. You look great. Uh, thank you. Yeah, so coming up here is the area boss, Dakim. Yeah. We healed out of Blaze here. Trying to do this fight with Blaze is very dangerous and hard. Yeah, it's not fun. Uh, he also just got punched. Dude, that, <laughs> yeah. That, that Sword and out. shield animations got The no fact that guy didn't go 30 feet in the air off the mountain is that kind of impressive, actually. Like, this Dakim is just a Street Fighter character. He looks crazy. As a quick update to Spin Rhythm, incentive for the difficulty showcase, we are at $20,051.89 out of $25,000. So we have almost met that as well. It's a good lead. Uh, you can't get Marsh Dump lead here. I don't like Marsh Dump lead. Yeah, depending on your speed too. I think I'm low enough speed for it to matter actually, so that would not be what I want to see. Oh. Yeah, the deck game has this kind of special, his own special AI here, where he loves, his gimmick is to Earthquake and Protect. So, here, turn one, I think Golem will protect. Yeah, thankfully the AI like almost always plays out the same with Dokim, which is exploitable for us. Uh, I'm in white range, I think. Yeah, that looks like white range. Yeah. Been kind of sidetracked recently, so. <laughs> no, I luckily I could just glance over and be like, yeah, that looks right. Yeah. As long as it's mid-25, you know. Also, another thing about um, uh, Typhlosion, I guess SB on 2, is uh, we're able to basically put our defensive IVs into a Google Sheet and have it calculate all the damage ranges in the entire game. It's crazy. Um, yeah, shout so, out to whoever made that. Yeah. Way to go, that guy. Yeah, whoever. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah, this fight can go usually pretty smoothly as long as the Matang dies, and it's sometimes guaranteed depending on your stats, but if it lives, there's you, then you have to reference that sheet that they were just talking about and yeah. see whether Typhlosion can die to a second earthquake or not, and then you gotta react accordingly. Because the other thing will use protect, and then yeah, if you guess the wrong target, you're just absolutely not gonna have a good time. Yeah, so we're about to see that game's boss Pokemon. Is it going to be like a, a Scyther or like, I don't know, something strong <laughs> like a, a, a Pidgeotto? Oh my, oh my god, god. Whoa, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Huh. You should catch it. It's pretty good. It has Dude, catch the Antan. It's a legendary Pokemon. It's so strong, you have to catch it right now. Sparkle needs to catch up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kid, relax. <laughs> I'll have my moments later. So glad I we have someone you. here to antagonize Sparkle. <laughs> I get to antagonize Miku. I get to antagonize Mall Miku. Okay, I'm the main character here. You can't you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, this Entei has Fire Blast. It hurts. It never misses. No, I've had a miss. I don't believe you. It doesn't miss. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> I've had Bud Shot miss. What? Yeah. Oh, lucky. 5%. So the strat here is we kind of hit it with Dig, and then we X item again to get to plus two and kill it. Oh, sorry, plus three. Funny story, if you got burned by the Fire Blast, you would not want to do full heal duping with the X Special. You would have to use a different item. Yeah, because if you heal, the item gets used up and your turn's over with that Pokemon if you use the item on a, like, when it's actually usable. So you don't want that. No. But overall, a good fight. Yeah. One Quite clean, down. yeah. Ooh. Well, I think they're getting teed for Sparkle. Yeah. I still always get scared. <laughs> That's See fair. if we defuse the other Geodude bomb here. <laughs> With fire, obviously, because, you know. <laughs> I've had the notes Comment tell me spent. that it's guaranteed, and then it's not guaranteed. Yeah, my special attack on my Typhlosion is actually higher than uh, Swift, so I can feel confident knowing that I can uh, one-shot them always. Yeah. And uh, coming up here, we have a very long walking session. Yeah, you guys can actually um, pay attention to my screen for once because there's not much <laughs> going on for Swift. Yeah, there is nothing yeah. going on here. Like, even after I win, there's going to be some, some dead air. would be a, a perfect time for donations after that. Yes. But right now, i got to focus on this, uh, this big guy ahead of me. Looks like one of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> he might be very close to us right now. That, mm, we might have right? donated earlier. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 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 Heard that one? 
Yo, nice hyper potion for 12 HP. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so I have so many hyper potions because we do get the extra ones from the safety strat we did to go to the... We, from the elevator, we get the uh, extra three hypers. But also scrolling all the way up to use supers and uh, super potions and regular potions is just slow. And I know I'm going to get more hypers later, and I'll be fine. And you never know, Espeon crit fire blast could leave yeah. it on that little AP. Yeah. So. Or I could get Shadow Rush Ente. That's also a possibility. You never know. Yeah. I have had that happen. Because the AI knows what does the most damage, because they can see their own stats. So if Dakim knows that Shadow Rush can do more damage, he will use it instead. Yep. Which will be better, because fire blast uh, can uh, burn, which is slow. I got Matang Golem. That's a good lead. Should play out pretty similarly to Swift's fight. Yeah, interestingly, though the fights have different combos, the different combos have different chances of showing up. Yeah. Golem is by far the most common. Uh, Marsh Top is the rarest, and then Camera Up is kind of slightly more common than Marsh Top. Mm -hmm. It's one of those cases where one Pokemon's always the same, this case, Matang, and then their boss Pokemon, the Shadow, is always sent out last, but otherwise, it's completely random. Order. Yeah. Nice crit. <laughs> I Thank think you. that loses time. No, only if it's like low HP, right? No, well, it's super effective flame wheel. <laughs> you found this like months ago, didn't you? Yes. It's time to patronize <laughs> me in my marathon run. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you control the RNG. Yes. <laughs> of course. So yeah, we just don't mind us. We're in jail. We just took the key. We opened their door, took something from their pockets, and we're out. Didn't close the door. And the police chief just lets you do it. <laughs> I mean, she was sleeping. She's not going to get up in time. Yeah, but the other person is definitely awake. <laughs> <laughs> They're cuffed together, so... Yeah. They do escape, probably because we didn't yeah. close the door. Are you snapping in the background? Yeah, yeah I write <laughs> that. Which is amazing. Absolutely, it's fantastic. This crowd's epic. You guys are epic, you know that? Yeah, so now we're on to the next area. It's called The Under. So it's just a big underground city. The enemy uh, team has, or Cypher, has kind of controlled the city. Yeah. Thankfully, you don't have to fight anybody in the town, but you better not talk to any NPCs because they will fight you unprompted. Yep. So if you ever accidentally talk to anybody, you're going to lose, like, three minutes. Which can happen. That guy right there on the uh, the cliff that just uh, went off the screen is definitely uh, uh, an early uh, a newbie trap. There is one guy that's on a very skinny ledge that has two Waylords somehow. <laughs> yeah. I remember that guy. Yeah, if you ever want to see Waylord in the game at a oh perfect God. scale size, yeah, this game is the one for What's you. What's the biggest Marmee fight? <laughs> I forget. Steelix, Steelix, probably. Steelix is huge, yeah. yeah. And that's actually coming up soon. Wow. That's yeah. Oh, I got a Fire Blast dodge. Nice. That's wow, perfect. see, look, it exists one. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Only takes Miku playing the game for it to appear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Swift kind of just has to go around this area, kind of just to advance the plot. But overall, they found out that there's spies that infiltrated their town. Yeah, I can't believe they haven't found the spies in about no. the span of 30 seconds. What yeah. the heck are they doing? And it looks like uh, Sparkle has finished this fight. Yep. So if we have time for donations, yeah, for we've sure, got dead sure. air here. Amazing. There are so many. Uh, Phoenix <laughs> Mel Meliora donates Phoenix. 1960 with Let the Music Play, Sparkle and Swift. Paolo is one of my all-time favorite games, and it's so awesome to see you two duke it out on stage. The Rave Nation is rooting for you, Sparkle, and here's a donation for one of my two Paolo mains, my girl Bingus. I mean yeah. Espeon. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation. I have $25 from Spartan214. Use Fire Blast. Yes, Chef. Thank you so much. I have a $25 donation from Bingus that says, Bingus. Thank no way. you. For, yeah, yes way. <laughs> I, I have $50 from Wolfman. Had to donate for the mid-run costume change. That was absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. $25 from Professor Shinobi. A haiku. $1 million. This is just the beginning. $2 million. Or $2 million. Yes, chef. Donation goes to support bonus game six to get through the fire and flames. Best of luck to all the runners. And thank you to everyone who makes this happen. Thank you for making this happen. You can, you can clap a little louder for yourself. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I agree. You all did this. You you did this. All right, so coming up for Swift, she's going to be doing a very big menu, a, a decently big shop and a really big menu. Yeah, uh, but first got to deliver this part yeah. or something. For some uh, reason, we can't have a Pokemon game without involving children and criminal affairs, so these kids just show up and then we have, they have to do something for us, I guess. 
Yeah, so this big menu is going to happen after we pick up a few things. One is we finally have access to TMs, technical machines, which are moves that we can actually just teach to Pokemon that can learn them. And then we'll also pick up a chest containing three rare candies right before the next boss fight. Ooh, Sparkle got really stuck on the staircase yeah. Ooh. really fast. She just yeah. gets oh, out okay. of your way. Never mind. I thought that was bad. Yeah, we forgot. We, uh, you've probably seen it plenty already, but Rui blocks our paths very often, and we have to kind of get around her, and she's annoying with that way. But if I you just, can get her stuck on a ledge. I just, just, I just ditched Rui. <laughs> <laughs> she is yeah. down the stairs. Fair enough. Hey, here's Silva again, by the way. He got uh, trapped in immediately. With it. We haven't even seen him in, like, probably the last, like, hour of the game. So that's impressive. He does give us a good item, though. True. Without it, yep. you know, we wouldn't be able to advance. Yeah, he gives us the R disc, with, uh, which allows us to proceed to Venus, who is the next boss area. Yeah. But uh, right now would be a good time for some donations. You've got it. I have $250 from Anonymous that says 1 million hype. Also, Quilladin is a fish. Thank you. Hmm. 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 What do you say, Swift? <laughs> what? Quilladin is a fish. <laughs> Quilladin, yes. Yeah. I have 6070 from Arisa. 6070 for my favorite Pokemon, Litwick. I love a little creepy cute candle. Let's go. Thank you so much for your donation. $100 from Bearded Protagonist. Pokemon is great. Swiftaloo and Sparkle are great. MSF is great. SGDQ is great. Thanks for the years of entertainment for great causes. Thank you so, so much. So here I'm doing a really big menu. I'm teaching uh, Hidden Power to Espeon. Hidden, uh, Espeon actually has Hidden Power Grass. I don't think we went over the stats too much. Yeah, uh, I was going to leave it for now because a uh, pretty moderate run differentiation yeah, 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 yeah. up here. So, so uh, you, you well, want to explain or sorry? I'll, I'll explain. Okay. So um, here I'm teaching Protect. We're both going to be teaching these three moves at the very least, but Sparkle will be teaching Hidden Power to his Typhlosion yeah. because his Typhlosion actually has Hidden Power Ice, which is a runnable Hidden Power. Uh, for this run. I uh, have Hidden Power Water 34, so we're not teaching that. Yeah. Uh, but we are teaching Fire Blast, which is a fan favorite of the Caller Run. It is an 85% oh, yeah. accurate move. That is 110 power. Uh, super good move, honestly, but if you miss, it kind of really sucks. So, and we have to rely on it a lot. I think so, 20, 120 power in this game. Yeah, yeah. So, it, yeah. it got nerfed yeah. in Gen 6. Yeah. I'm sure, yeah. So, here I'm actually saving because I call Venus the Great oh, you're Equalizer. Saving? Oh, I'm catching up. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Venus is a very scary fight. Uh, I do not want to lose to her by missing Fire Blast. Yeah. And then so. we also teach Protect, which if there's any fans of VGC, yeah. V we protect is no, a... Yeah, no, it's broken even in a speedrun, and that's saying something for double. It's, it's easy to use, though, when you know the enemy's yeah. about to attack you, and, you know, it 100%. just avoids animation time, avoids damage. Very, very solid move in this speedrun. But yeah, what Swift said about me teaching Hidden Power Ice, uh, Typhlosion having a runnable Hidden Power is pretty uncommon, but when you do get it, it's so cool because you're allowed to uh, make some fights that are kind of annoying where Espeon can't really get a one-shot on the other Mon and Typhlosion is just resisted by it, or it, re uh, it resists its moves because of fire. Uh, having a special type like Grass, Water, or Ice to cover those bad matchups for Typhlosion really can save you some turns and uh, is really cool to see. So I'm glad I was able to reset and get a Kalava that was uh, this special for this for the marathon run. Yeah, Swift just picked up three rare candies. Rare candy is a pretty good item. We won't be using them yet, though. What are you going to get? Oh, Ooh, oh that's boy. a scary lead. This Bayonet, if it gets a move off on Espeon, it just one-shots it. Yeah, so kind of like Dekum, uh, the first Pokemon being Delcaddy, that's consistent. That's always there in that slot. And then the second Pokemon is random between Bayonet, Vileplume, and Steelix. All of them have their own cringy quirks, but Bayonet is just like, if you miss Fire Blast, you die. It's just straight up. Yep, simple like which that. is a good thing I saved. Yeah. Um, this is definitely one of the scarier leads. There are there are backup strats, but it's like, they're really slow, and you lose probably lose experience on Espeon. Actually, no, not for this one. Oh, you're just, you're just, you're just done? <laughs> oh, well, I better not get it then, because I'm not saving. There's a hit. All right, hit the first Fire oh, Blast. Nice, Drop nice. pie. Very scary Mon out of the way. Uh, that will one-shot Espeon if I miss. Yeah, always. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Shadow Ball's a physical move in this game. Espeon does not have great physical defense. 
Luckily, I don't need to actually use uh, any more Fire Blast for this combo, which is really nice. Yeah, and so Venus's gimmick here is to use a trap whenever possible. Yes, so you, some of you uh, more attentive viewers would have probably noticed that uh, Swift's Typhlosion is male and mine is female. And then that can actually make some uh, some different scenarios play out in the Venus fight. Unfortunately, to the disadvantage of me, where Steelix is male, so if it, uh, it can attract um, a female Pokemon, which is Typhlosion, it will go for it. So if I get a scenario like that, that would be very uh, unpleasant. <gasps> I ran out of uh, flame. Oh. Uh -oh. This means we're going to be hitting yeah. more fire yep, blocks. Just keep hitting. So... Swift didn't take the uh, hotel heal. I just played it safe and got the extra TM stealing to sell to make up for that, but she um, skipped it because it's faster and you can just use hyper potions to heal anyway. But if you're out of flame wheels, that can make uh, this fight a lot riskier if you have to fire blast an extra time. All right, I believe in Ty. It's fine, we'll just hit. <laughs> Easy. Let's go. All right, good. <laughs> Fire Blast is another big reason why uh, Typhlosion is just superior to Croc. Yeah. It just does so much damage and can just kill almost anything. Yeah, Croc's 120 power move is just Blizzard, which suffers the same damage cut that Surf does when you use it on two Pokemon. And it's also horribly inaccurate and not stabbed, so... Croc and I can get Hyper Beam, though. Oh. True. Hyper Beam being a physical move in this game because of no physical that you support. That you can also can't spam, but... <laughs> We're gonna see well. Surf, and you can see how slow it is. Yeah, it is. This is very, very slow. Unfortunately, this is a very tanky Suicune, so wasn't able to quite one-shot it. But luckily, we'll get a free heal after this fight, um, so I don't need to do any extra menuing. Uh, there's a couple of places in the game where, you know, that just happens. Nice, no, alright. Now it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in the good Venus fight. After I teach all these PMs, because I'm not done yet. Yeah. <laughs> I teach an extra one. The best lead to get on Venus is uh, Vileplume lead, so hopefully Sparkle gets Vileplume lead, because it's the fastest one. Yeah. It also feels like it's the most rare. Yeah. It may just be me. I feel like I get it somewhat often. I feel like I get Bane at the least. Yeah, depending on how risky you're feeling, there are also faster ways you can win with each combo. Usually happen have to hit more fire blasts or use more X items to do it, but yeah. So now we've we've taken down Venus and now she's on the run. We're chasing after her. She takes the elevator. If you actually follow her and go out the left door, you'll watch this cutscene and not be able to take the elevator since she's hit the elevator down. Oh, also, shout out to ja the Japanese version of this game. You can open that chest that Sparkle just opened without even opening the door. Wait, really? That's yeah, yeah the hit yeah, hitboxes, so yeah. the Japanese version, are just way bigger for some reason. All right, let's see what Big Smoke Miku gets. <laughs> okay, Steelix. Ooh. Okay. This one can be fast, depending on how risky you want to play. But... Well, the problem is I'm going to get attracted by Steelix. Yeah. So dealing with that, I might just... Hmm, do I get rid of it right now? Because I've got to deal with the tracks if I don't. I don't know. I could just play... Hmm, it will attract. looks good. Yeah, it won't attract right away. I'm going to protect it. I'm just going to double protect like I'm supposed to this turn. There should be a footnote for female tech illusion, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Earthquake does the most damage here, so Steelix will prefer Earthquake. But it can use Taunt sometimes. Okay, I know what I'm going to do now. But Earthquake is nice because it'll chip down Delcaddy, get it in range for Espeon to finish it off. But now the AI is also a little bit smart. It won't use Earthquake from now on since it knows if it uses Earthquake, Delcaddy will die. So I'm going to X Special Typhlosion here and go for Flame Wheel. That will, that guar that's guaranteed on Steelix with my special attack, so that's not a worry. Um, I don't have X Special on Espeon yet, but this kind of works out because um, Delcaddy is in range of Psybeam now. Bayonet should be coming out here. I think I'm gonna have to just Fire Blast that. Yeah, because Delcaddy should either attract, I, hopefully Double Edge here. Okay, attract. That makes things really awkward. I think I just have to still Fire Blast and pray. Yeah. Because Bayonet being on the field is always a no-no. I have to, if, de if I don't break through attract, that's whatever. So I just need to hit, um, yeah, that's okay. As long as I hit this. Okay, oh, that's oh. really good, okay. Good. Oh, man. All right. 
So coming up next is Violet Plume. I think that turn will just play out the same. Because Delcaddy, mm, I don't think, does Double Edge two shot me? It's going to be close. Depends on your defense. Yeah, I just leveled up, so I'm thinking that I might still be okay. But if I'm not, I have to play, I'll have to play this kind of weirdly. Yeah, that's going to range to two shot me. Okay. Um, Violet Plume can't kill me, so I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to, I think we'll just Flame Wheel Duck Kelly and X Special. Yeah. Because I think, I think um, Violet Plume will try and, uh, it might stun Spore? I don't know. Its attacks are not very powerful, so it's going to go for some sort of status. Oh, it's going to go for it a track. Also, yeah, I think everything has a track. Yeah, in this yeah, fight. true. That's also well, okay. It'll skip a track, I think, because it was still attracted on that. Track. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's so, what yeah, I was thinking. So it's, it might be stun spore on type lotion here. Yeah, dodge for the fans. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to fire blast Violet Plume and just hit him power sweet Coon. This is kind of unsafe, but I gotta catch up, so I'm gonna take a riskier play here. Right there would have been beautiful. Yeah. Please hit this. Wow. 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 Nice. All right. This fight. Yeah. I was worried about this fight because of female type lotion, but Quad clutched it out for me. She's my goat, so we're fine. Yeah. There's uh, there's fine fights where it's fine to miss fire blast. Venus is not one of them. Yeah. yeah. So hitting the ones we need to is supreme. All right. So now we're gonna take uh, a trip to the staircase. The lovely, lovely staircase of... Ah, uh, and yeah. What are we going to do on the staircase? Well, I mean, like, the staircase is kind of whatever. It's kind of boring. Like, we have not much, much to do. Do you guys want to, like... What if, like... Hold on, what's my backpack? What do I have? Um... Oh, what's this? Oh. Only just a copy of Pokemon Mad Libs. Huh. Well, that sounds kind of fun. You guys want to play that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, uh, I can't be running down where it's one. You want to take it from me? Got it. I'll get you a pen, too. I think I have a pen here. I got one. I'm all, oh, wow. wow Somebody came prepared. Pen. All right. You'd love to see it. And my, my headset's falling off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, looks like we're going to be doing If Team Rocket Stole My Pokemon. Ooh, nice. All right. Let's so start it off. Sparkle, <laughs> give me a noun. Um, what's really funny? Uh, oh, I know. Um, Chungus. Chungus? That's not a noun. Yes. All right. Okay, um... We can split this up and get a donation in every other word. What do you say, Nicole? As yeah, I'm... let's get a donation. Absolutely. I, I have $750 from Salty Bear. No comment, they say. Thank you so much Thank for you. your donation. All right, cool. All right, Swift. Yes. Can I get a noun? Uh, Sensor bar. <laughs> I'm staring at my Wii sensor bar. Oh, I thought bar. you meant like censoring. <laughs> like sen no, sen I have a sensor <laughs> bar that's up here. Because yeah, okay. I'm, I'm playing with some Wii. Not bad, not so. bad. All right. Rise again. Can I get a verb in the past tense? Ignited. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. What do you got, Nicole? I have $10 from Diamond, <laughs> Swiftaloo, Sparkle, Pokemon Coliseum on Main, Best Day Ever. Yes, Good sir. luck to you both. All right, Nicole, can I get an adjective? Ooh. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I, completely no, no forgot on everything I ever knew in my life. Okay, well, no is not one, so... Well, can we pretend it is? I, okay. I mean, okay. Why not? Bit. Thank All you. Right. You know, we'll see how it works out. Okay, we'll we'll sure. see how it goes. All right. What about uh, as far as donation go? What do you, do you have another one? Absolutely. We have fifty dollars from Thomas Patrick WX, longtime watcher, first oh, volunteer. Yes. I couldn't be more excited to see Swift and Sparkle on the big stage, and I'm so happy to call you my friends. You won't find two brighter spots in the Pokemon speedrunning community. Good luck, and may all your fire blasts be on target today. Right. Also, a little tidbit for hidden power here. I'm able to just one shot this Gligar with. Uh, um, Hidden Type Power Ice. Yeah. Yes. Hidden Power Ice is really good for this. And hopefully I just outspeed. I get the speed range here. Get the fastest possible fight. Oh, yeah. You better not. You better not. Ooh. You better not. Luckily, I, I hit the okay. fire boss. I, I got the... So, um, I had an Octillery uh, that mm -hmm. was sent out. That's actually a range. I actually got that range. Yeah, yeah. That range so is super <laughs> scary. And, like, if you have... It depends. Like, literally, the specific, like... Uh, um, each value of hidden power you can accept for Espeon matters for that range. The lowest you can take is 68, and then from incrementing from 69 to 70, uh -huh, then uh, the, the range is, uh, it, uh, changes in, like, I think from 9% for each of them or something like that. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. Sparkle, I'm going to need an adjective. Oh, thank God I was so bored of that math. Uh, yeah. Adjective? Oh, man. Um, well, I mean, I mean, you know, it's kind of me at this point. Greasy. 
<laughs> All right. Can we get a donation in? Yeah. Absolutely. I have $50 from Rowan's Garden. A huge thank you to everyone at GDQ that puts in so much work to make this event run smoothly. We see you and we really appreciate you. Thank you. We appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, this is not a great lead. Ooh. But you know what is great? A verb swift. I need a verb. Oh. Nice segue. <laughs> running. That's literally the one I was thinking of. <laughs> we were like, oh, I've running. got a verb. It's running. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to blast this uh, Viper. Not the greatest lead, honestly. I would have preferred either Loudred or mm -hmm. uh, Sneasel in its place, but oh well. Just hit. <laughs> Yeah. All right, rise again. Can I get an adjective? Mm. Big. Ooh. All right. Perfect sweet. Nicole, can I get a donation? Absolutely. I have $100 from Mac. Go Pokemon. Thank you so much for your donation. Let's get a word from you, too. Sure. Yes, I'm going to need a person in the room. Oh, my gosh. Sparkle. No, no. Ooh. Hatsune Miku. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> of course. How could I? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> All right, Sparkle. Give me a verb. Um, let's see. Hmm. Uh, fire blasting. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. So this speed range on Stanler, I did not get it. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, uh, to be fair. But if I knew that it was faster than me, I would have flame wheeled instead with Typhlosion there because takedown recoil plus flame wheel pretty much always gets the, the kill anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, a little funny speed range. We have some more speed ranges to get through with Typhlosion, but uh, they're not going to be for a little bit. All right, Swift. I'm gonna need a plural noun. Plural noun? Uh. What about the audience? Does that count? Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope I get a good combo here. I don't want to be uh, missing the octo range. It's pretty bad. Yeah, artillery not fun. Yeah. Okay, Mascarenas. Uh, Dunsparce is like whatever. Dunsparce is kind of weird in this fight. This Dunsparce knows some crazy moves, by the way. It has the ability Serene Grace, and they knew that. They gave it moves that, uh, or Serene Grace is an ability that doubles the chance of whatever secondary effects your moves may have. So in, in this, for uh, um, Dunsparce, that's Headbutt, which is 30% to flinch, but because of Serene Grace, it is 60%. And it also has two moves that are really funny for that. It has Water Pulse, which is 40% to confuse with Serene Grace. <laughs> and it also has Ice Beam, which with the with a 20% chance to freeze. So if that gets you, thankfully that doesn't happen to us. It doesn't like to go for it because it doesn't do much damage. Yeah, it'll but just if that did happen to you, that would just be really, that'd be really cringe. Yep. Yeah, it'll always just use glare too. Yeah. Like 50-50 to use that. Yeah. All right, we're up to our last two. Rise Ooh. again, can I get an adjective? Tiny. You like your sizes, don't you, man? I'm very creative <laughs> with my adjectives. All right, and last one for you, Nicole. All right. I'm going to need a verb. Oh, oh, cool. Swimming. OK. All right. All right. Do we'll we have time for donations then? Oh, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I have $8.35 from Wave Warrior. Good luck, Sparkle and Swift, donating $8.35 for Pokemon number 835, Yamper, the best boy. Also, chat and audience watching, if you would like to submit some words, if we do some more Mad Libs, go for it. Oh. Give me some Ooh. words. <laughs> Get involved in this. It's going to be well, great. we just finished. All right. uh, we have time? I don't know. Taking the elevator. Yeah, pages. <laughs> True. Well, let's get this first one done. Um, I have to get to this next fight. Are oh, you taking the elevator? Yeah, I gotta let you catch up, man. But I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take it because you know why. <laughs> no problem. So no, it's fine. It's fine. Taking the elevator here is actually about half a second slower. It's so funny. It's so close. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. If you go up the staircase perfectly, you save time. The, the keyword is perfectly. Most people yeah, don't. I always get stuck on the corner, so I'm just like, no. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah. yeah. Live on camera. I yes. generally uh, can go around the staircase pretty well. I think Swanton saw me like do the quarter, like turning and everything. <laughs> I was like, yeah, those were pretty good. Okay, okay. Yeah, shout outs to Balton. Balton used to be a former record holder and he was a big advocate for taking the elevator. <laughs> All right. Let me take it that math this book now. I think I go. think I have what it takes to, to give a good presentation. I'll just leave this here for now. When I take the elevator, I think it's a good timing for that. As for now, I got... Well, that's, this is a decent combo. As long as it, the really cringe combo for this fight is uh, Loudred Sneasel, because you can't you can't kill both Mons in one turn, and they both, or at least Loudred, has, uh, has Swagger, which confuses you. So you don't ever want to see that. But in this case, I'm able to take out both in one turn if I hit my Fire Blast. I also... Um, uh, got the speed range on Sneasel, which is like reasonably likely to outspeed Espeon, but that doesn't really matter that much because you have to, you can't uh, one shot Sneasel with um, Typhlosion anyway. So Swift is in Shadow Lab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is where um, we do another setup for Blaze later on. Uh, it's also important that we get to level 44 off um, the next fight that's after this one which is the one with the A-Palm. Um, that way I can rare candy all the way up to level 47, grab Psychic, and pretty much just sweep the end of the game. That's um, the second to last move we teach in this run. Uh, there's one more which would teach to Typhlosion at the very end. I'm just gonna play safe here and uh, heal Espeon. I could end this fight with uh, this turn if I hit Fire Blast, but if I miss, Espeon dies and I lose experience and it's just a huge mess for Shadow Lamps. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah, that that Espeon's cool. experience is really important. Once it gets psychic, it's a little less important. But if you miss just maybe like about 200 XP, you'll you won't get psychic. Yeah. Mm. Just I'll just full heal this. The range, the side beam range at level 43 is way more favored. So I think going for that is better than fire blast. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, this should be the end of uh, this loud right here. So coming up on Swift screen, we're going to see kind of a difference in strats. The current world record does something a little bit differently. So we're a little bit. <laughs> oh, just, just a little bit. You know. A wee bit. Basically, you're allowed to lose a lot of fights in the lab. Basically, any trainer that isn't already standing on the ground when they appear, uh, like the ones that drop from the ceiling, you're allowed to lose them and still continue the run. It just obviously sets you back to where you, where you last saved, because it acts as a spawn point, too. Yeah. yeah. And so, no snags takes advantage of that. Uh, it took advantage of it first, um, using plusle, like solo plusle in your party, just to lose the fight as fast as possible. Yeah, in that room right there, this is your chance where you could save. You would deposit all your Pokemon and just only use plusle. Uh, I want to give shoutouts for Tika, Exe, and Balton. They're both two JP runners. Um, Tika actually wrote an article about what happens when you lose to certain trainers. And then that gave me the idea. I was like, well, I was writing no snags. I was like, maybe Umbreon dying is actually faster because Umbreon's so bad. And turns out, yeah, Umbreon's bad. Don't say that, man. The audience is right there. Oh. <laughs> Dark Chef. Dark Chef. Yeah. It's okay. Sorry, I'm we sure got more name. Espeon lovers than uh, Umbreon lovers. At least I hope so. How, do, how does everyone feel about Espeon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Umbreon? Oh. oh Whew, I might be in well, trouble for saying that. that. <laughs> Well, yeah, it'll work out. Like, we all love Umbreon, but we all... We wish it was better. That's we look because we love it. Yeah. All right. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It does do an impressive amount of animation saving with Taunt later on. That is true. Yeah. All right. So I'm about to get the main gate key myself and then make my way back through the subway. And then I think I think it's about time I get that, uh, that Mad Libs presented to you all because I know you're just all just dying with anticipation to hear yeah, this, aren't you? Let's hear it. Honestly yeah. kinda am, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have time for one donation. Yeah. Absolutely. I have twenty five dollars from TTS for life. Getting to connect with the Pokemon speedrunning community throughout this GDQ as a new runner to the series has been a blast. I'm glad you've made some amazing friends this week. Good luck to Sparkle and Swift and it will inevitably be an awesome showcase of Pokemon Coliseum. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm feeling kind of lazy. I'm going to take this elevator. But in the time I do have in the elevator, I guess I can read off these mana loops. All right, let's see what we got. All right. <clears throat> okay, here we go. All right, what do we have here? All right, Mad Libs. <clears throat> if Team Rocket stole my Pokemon. Oh. Here we go. 
If I was minding my own chungus, wandering through Pallet Town, and Team Rocket jumped out from behind a sensor bar and ignited my Snorlax, I'd be so no! Normally, I'd take my time getting my Pokémon back, but Snorlax was one of my first Pokémon ever. Plus, he's so soft and greasy. I'd be... I'd... I'd running after them right away. I'd throw every Pokéball I'd owned and get a Gyarados, beware, and even the big Magikarp in the battle. I know it'd be a lot, taking on Jesse, Hatsune Miku, and Meowth all at once. But I wouldn't want Team Rocket to think they could be fire blasting me around. Anyhow, I'd be wanting Snorlax back so badly, a mixture of anger and audiences would make me battle harder until all of Team Rocket and their whole tiny school was left in the rubble. I swimming you, Snorlax. <laughs> yeah, we did our best. I went to the wrong maps. Oh my god, I lost so much time doing that. But it was it worth, was it. worth yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, there was like no other time I'd have like dead air to like read out uh, the bad lips. So that, that's just how it is. Yeah. yeah. So here, Swift is gonna. Yeah, I, I was about to say I'm, I'm here teaching psychic. Uh, I'm also gonna keep my eye out for lab samples. We need at least two because we can just brute force the last one. It's a three password combination. It's random each file. I don't see one on the table there, so that probably means I'm gonna have to take some late ones, unfortunately. But that's fine. I don't think it loses that much time, if any at all. Um, yeah, that scientist in the room before will fight you if it sees you. Yes, you can oh, yeah. skip him. That's uh, why Swift kind of went around it. Yeah. Yeah. What and would you do, Horn? Oh, skip it. Okay. <laughs> it's like three, six seconds, even more, dude. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> one more thing. I actually kept the EXP share on Espeon. Uh, this is important because there is a combination of leads that is specific to one fight that is very, very scary. I want to hit level 50 before it, uh, so I'm just keeping the EXP share on. Unfortunately, that means Ty is giving a little bit less EXP, but it'll be fine. Um, it can still catch up pretty easily. Are we yeah. going for Blaze setup here in this fight? No. <laughs> oh man, I can't do Blaze setup at all until like very late, but it's fine. I have hidden power eyes. That's yeah. the key to this race for me. So, so that scientist in the room before, we have to go past him again. And if you hold up left, right after you go down the stairs, you will just cut right in front of him. It'll look very scary, but he'll never see you. Never, yeah. I think they're too scared to go for it. It's a free three seconds. And if I think I'm the only one who knows how to do it, but you can also do it the other way, coming into the room. And that, that, that one saves more time, but it's... That one's it's, scary. It's not free. Yeah. Don't recommend it. You kind of just have... And, like, you have to inch yourself so slowly uh, uh, down the, the corner that, like, you might not even be saving that much time anyway. Also, shout-outs to Balton. He's the one who found that you can just cut the corner there. Yeah, it's really funny how many trainers you can just skip because uh, they just can't see you for some reason. Did you get a DNA sample yet? No. Okay, so... I'm going to check over yeah. here really quick. Nope. Yeah, so the DNA samples we need, they're basically key items that we need to uh, get past this dungeon. We don't need them, per se, but they're pretty much required uh, to solve a puzzle later on. Um, yeah, the puzzle can still work if you just brute force guess yeah, every combination of three. We're not we're not chat GTP, so I don't think that's happening. Is it GPT? I don't even know which one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm that's... opting to uh, go for a later blaze setup just because it's a bit safer, admittedly. <laughs> so I'm just going for that one. Yeah, blaze in the lab can help. I think for this Murkrow coming up, but also like if. The Pokemon just outspeed you since they're Shadow Pokemon. They could just kill, and it's just not fun. No, definitely not. On a really good run, you would get Blaze sometime in lab, and you would carry Blaze all the way towards the end and not heal Palava. Very hard to do, and it's very like RNG dependent. But yeah, we'll see what happens. There are some fights that make it very scary to stay in Blaze because you just another Fire Blaster die situation, pretty much. Do we have time for donations? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I've got just so many. I have $500 <laughs> from Minio. My kids and I are enjoying watch watching. Thank you so much, everyone at GDQ. Thank you so much for your donation. I have $300 from Opal White for my favorite itty bitty kitty, Skitty. Thank you so much for your donation. 
Fifty dollars from Anonymous. Diglet dig, diglet dig, cha cha cha. Trio, trio. <laughs> they really threw me off with the cha cha cha, but. Thank you so much for your donation. $25 from Toro Rios. Have we started the Dex donation train? Here's $25 for my two favorite bugs, Beedrill and Katani. Thank you so much. And oh. yes, we have. Can I interrupt? Always. So fun fact, Beedrill is considered a fish. According to the California Endangered Species Act of 1984, <laughs> California Fish and Game Code 2062, 2067, and 2068 defines as fish to include invertebrates, and bees are invertebrates. Not the bees. No. <laughs> That's the one pass you guys get in California. <laughs> Amazing. Modern, bro. Thank you. I said I lost the speed range on Apom, which kind of sucked, but uh, I still get the Fire Blast off. And with the Shadow Rush chip, it's pretty much not even a range at that point for the, the one shot, so I'll take that. Safety heal SP on here, no reason not to. It's better to do, to uh, to heal to fall if you want to in a fight because uh, taking the time to menu in the overworld just uh, on average a lot slower. So if you've seen that in the run, us healing in fights at the very end, that's uh, that's why we do that. Now look at level 44 here. Thank God, <laughs> not getting 44 after this fight is a nightmare, straight up. Yeah. So all all these changes you're saying, if you just went in with Puzzle, Puzzle dies right away. You just come back here, they're no longer here. Yep. It's really funny. <laughs> Fluffle just despawns them from the game. It's like actually kind of morbid. Yeah. Now would be a good time for some more donation. Yeah. I've got that for you. I have $131 from Lapras Fan number one, donating $131 for my favorite Pokemon. If you ask me for a noun, it is Lapras. If you ask me for a verb, it is Surf. If you ask me for an adjective, it is Lapras-ish. Okay. Lapras, everyone's favorite friend since Gen 1. Thank you so much for your donation. Those are fantastic words. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have $25 from Fishrock123. Have really strong memories on how unique Coliseum was in the Pokemon series at the time of its release. Happy to see this race at GDQ. Thank you so much for your donation. Yeah, so this... Electrode is primarily why we want Psychic really badly at this point, because Psybeam does not one-shot, and every every Mon this guy has had no Thunder and will always use it, and Thunder is so strong, it can miss, but if it hits, it does so much damage, and it's also 30% to paralyze, so that's just, we really don't want to deal with that, which is why getting Psychic at this specific point of the run is, like, very essential. Yeah, not to mention that if you're lower level, you actually don't outspeed the Electrode, and it yeah, really sucks. Yeah, Because, like, you want to try to be like, oh, well, it's not 44 yet. I just, I'll stay 43, and then go into this fight and get level 44, and you get outsped by Electrode, and it's like, oh, that's why we don't do this. <laughs> okay. So the, the fight Swift is on. She'll want to get Blaze here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. not required, but it very much improves the next fight. Yeah. It can, 85% of the time, it improves the next fight. Right. Okay, that's actually not that bad of a miss. Oh, first is it the first miss? I think it is actually. That's yeah, it crazy. is. It took this long. No, no. That's one of the best ones to miss. Yeah, so typically yeah. the next turn you would just have Espeon Psychic tie into Blaze, but because of the missed Fire Blast, we're going to be getting it with two hits instead, with Return and the Rhyhorn's Dig. And assuming neither move crits, it's all fine. Let's see. Okay, good. All right, nice. Nice. Very good. Yeah, so next fight, we're going to be up against a Shadow Bramble. You can kill it with Psychic. It's not very good. But Fire Blast, if it hits, it's just dead. If it doesn't hit, we're dead. Taking a death here isn't the worst, though, because you can send in a certain other Pokemon that will be taking the death as well, which we'll want to have not alive at the end of the run. Can be a decent backup strat. Yeah, so for now we're done with the XP share. We're putting Spoon on, SP on now for the last time. We kind of got to go out of our way here to pick up the two samples. We yeah. kind of know how the samples are generated. If you don't see the samples in the first two rooms, then you know they're always in these last two yeah. spots. I got I got one earlier, so I know it's going to be in a 
room off to the side after this battle, which Swift did not go to, so I know I have to go there. It's weird how it works out like that, but it's not very convenient for uh, this time-saving purposes. Yeah, so we can know the locations, but unfortunately we can't know the contents, like which Pokémon they are. Yeah. We still have to check them yeah. for safety. So it's uh, two extra elevator trips. It's more than worth it. All right, I can actually be kind of kind of freaky here and go for uh, the Hidden Power Ice on Murkrow. That's it's better because I my speed range is pretty questionable for at speeding this Murkrow. So if if I miss it, he it flies and I uh, I don't get to kill that turn. But it's better than using a Fire Blast and losing the PP that way and also just avoiding the accuracy check. So yeah, okay, fly is fine. I'll hit him Power Ice next turn as well. It's uh, safe. Another blast coming up here for Swift. It's a big one. Oh, oh. wow, the classic ramble. Yeah, there's a death. That one hurts. That one definitely hurts a lot more. Yeah. Got the Murkrow range. But yeah, that's, that's just basically the probably the biggest part of Shadow Lab in a in a in a PB pace run besides the boss fight, I'd say. And so if you do the strats with plus or you just die, this fight is free. You just die to plus with plus. Yeah. At the very least, S Gun can pick up the the KO very reliably with the psychic range. It's like almost ninety percent. Yeah. So sample, or <laughs> Sparkle has his two samples now. Yeah, I went to the, uh, the, the locker room, and that guy was just hanging out there. I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't fight you. <laughs> he's just kind of there. Uh, it's almost always slower to get the third one, because yeah. you only have to guess set between seven options, if you know two. Yeah. That's, this fight is, like, pretty flowchart, but if you get a certain combo, it can be annoying. Primarily one that I think it's, like, Swablu Pupitar or something. I think is the bad one. I think so. Yeah, but I have hidden power ice, so I'd be able to just uh, do uh, one shot Swablu, I think. Either that or you just fire blast, which just hit Raffle. Yeah, yeah so Swift will be doing the rest of the lab here yeah. without Blaze, which is fine. But you can still, she can still get it. Yeah, there are ways to set it up, but it's it's a, out of the way and kind of annoying. You'd have to like, you have to like fire blast Ampharos and like hidden power grass, right? It'd be like. The, uh, I think Miss Pseudo uh, for the samples here. Yeah. Oh. Lava! Hey! Hold on, that guy. <laughs> Bayleaf? Tweak. Ooh, okay. Not bad. So these are random. Uh, they will not be the same for either of us, ideally. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they could be the same. I, I, I really want Mistrevis and Bayleaf. That's mine. Those are mine, too. Yeah, make sure you don't forget it. Yeah. Thanks, man. No problem. All right. It'd be a great time for the though. No? Absolutely and awesome. Also, we are at 21,637 out of 25,000 for the Spin Rhythm XD Difficulty Showcase. I have a $33 donation from CyJ. Here's $33 for my favorite Pokemon, number 330, Flygon. Good luck on the race, Swift and Sparkle. Thank you so much for your donation. I have $75 from the Master Zelda. Can we have some more hype for the Weak Warrior? Also, Sparkle Miku, can you do us your ranger pose, please? My what? Your uh, they said ranger pose. Ranger pose. You know, I don't know. Oh my god, that's where like I played <laughs> Shadows of Almia. Like, I don't even remember what that animation was like. You can make it up. No Good. one will know. Okay. Woo, yeah! <laughs> that's like moderately close, I think. I can't believe you remember that. <laughs> Get time so, for some more? Yeah, no, go ahead. All right, I have $15 from Mac Wing. So happy to be here watching two of my favorite streamers live and playing such an awesome game. Thank you for all the laughs and smiles over the years. Here's to no Clagon. <laughs> well, Clagon for me is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually looking forward to that fight. <laughs> yeah, we'll but, see Clagon. Well, hopefully we won't see Clagon in like 10, 15 minutes. We still have some more. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Wonderful, wonderful. I have $25 from Pun Master. It's time to let Flygons be Flygons and raise some money for charity. I absolutely had to donate during the best Pokemon game series ever made. Good luck to the runners. May your runs be so blazing fast that the games are reduced nice. to Rapidash. And yes, I did write this specifically to shout out my three favorite Pokemon, Salsa. Thank you so much. Oh, how dare you, first of all, but also thank you so much. <laughs> no, no, I just did that. 
I was just gonna say, uh, this fight's kind of different for me because I have hidden power ice to one shot the right horn as opposed to using fire bluffs on it. Which is, uh, it's just a nice little thing. It doesn't really make that much of a difference, but it's cool. Yeah, but every now one less yeah. fire blast is very good. True. I save the PP. And, but now it's my turn to play with Gramble and see how uh, they feel about me on my fire blast. I have yet to miss one, I think, so... It'd be really crazy if only our only missed fire blast this whole marathon, <laughs> both of us, is Gramble. That'd be, that'd be poetic, honestly. There's still pseudo Widow, or not pseudo Widow, sorry, Wobbuffet. Oh, true. But that one doesn't matter as much. No. Especially for me, I have HP I to take care of the Graveler. I'm getting ahead of myself. Right now I'm, uh... He's gonna get, uh, down to the wire. So, there's a question I want to ask. What do you guys think about Rui being a fish? Why are, why are we still doing this? How many, how many animals could be fish in this planet? Like Many. Have you ever looked at Rui's eyes? Well, when it they're zooms really in on her far face. Okay, apart. true, true. I was going to say, like, every time it zooms in on Rui's face, I feel like her eyes get a little farther apart each time. I think they do. That's what, yeah, I feel that. Okay, they, they, they coded that. Please, sure. please, 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 please. I said, please, I said, please, I said, please. Yes! Nice. Woo. There you go. I think the JP community calls her Fish Eyes. That's her nickname. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now it's my turn to get the DNA samples. Oh, oops. Oh, was that, uh... I did not realize that that was range. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, well, at least it hit the fire blast. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, no blade strats for a later part of lab is, like... In a PB pace run, which we both of us are going for top times when we play, so we'd always be in that situation. We're never really out of blaze by this point normally, so it's kind of outside of our comfort zone. Let's see what now would be a good time for some donations. Absolutely. I have $157 from Schmango Fat. It's simple. I see a Pokemon run at GDQ, I donate a Dex entry. Here's $157 for my favorite Pokemon, Totodile. Good luck on the run. Thank Mighty you animal. very much. I have $303 from Gexon, donating 303 for one of my favorite Pokemon, a while. Yes! Oh my god, you're my goat. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you love to see. I wish we, uh, there's no Mawile we fight in this run. There is an XD to the Shadow Mawile. We didn't even see it in XD. Oh yeah, because that fight, that fight's funny, yeah. yeah. XD is the sequel to this game, and in that game, I think that was the original where we had a bunch of death strats added. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can lose some pretty major fights in that game and still continue. Yeah, so the Shadow Mawile fight, like, yeah. Like, the like even, a bo even like the boss fight of an area, like that Shadow Mawile is part of a boss fight, you can lose that fight and progress the story. That game is very, very strange. Yep. Oh, you got the uh, him on top of that, that's nice. Yeah, I did. If you got Graveler, that'd be kind of questionable. Ooh, I think it would have been okay. Yeah, just, uh, oh yeah, I guess if you, no, yeah, because you're out of blaze, that's true. So you wouldn't be dead to him on top. Yeah, not having blaze here is fine, you just you use an X special, yeah. and it's basically like you're in blaze. Yeah, having, bla like, no blaze past Gramble is, like, whatever for Shadow Lab itself, but going into the final area of the game, you really want to be in blaze at the very start. So that's essential. A fun fact about the Ampharos, uh, normally you would flame wheel this after Psychic to guarantee the, the range, but flame wheel is a contact move, and Ampharos, oh, well. Hey, crit okay. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> As I was going to say, Hidden Power has no contact, which means Static cannot proc on it, so you can dodge that uh, time loss from Paralysis 30% of the time. I think we have time for one day. Yeah. Wonderful. I have $25 from Paradrummer. I had to donate during one of my favorite games in my favorite franchise. Thanks, GDQ, for all that you do. P.S. Dark Chef may be the best name I've heard for an Umbreon. <laughs> Go, Dark Chef. <laughs> you do be cooking. What is he cooking? Uh, we're going to find out. Yeah. And all these last few fights in the lab, they... They have so many ways they can go, so many notes needed for them, just because you can either be in Blaze, you can have too bad of speed to outspeed the Kadabra, you could not be in Blaze. So being able to find yeah. quickly which case you're on and execute properly, that's that's a little bit of the part of the skill of the run as well. I got Kekli on yeah, lead. I quite literally made notes for this run. Yeah, yeah. So Swift is fighting the boss of this area. This is also very slow, unfortunately. 
Yeah, Altaria is a very slow Pokemon. And I think this Lantern just can one-shot you with Hy Hydro Pump. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of those fights that was like 20 pages or something, or close to it. Yeah, this fight can vary whether you're in Blaze, Ooh. you're not in Blaze, you're slower, Okay, take slower. Fine, I'll take Very lucky from Kecleon there to use Dig. It, it, it can be used both Strength and Dig, but the AI doesn't know that Dig is a two-turn move, so we can cheese this if we get uh, the coin flip in our favor. See, Altaria is using Pursuit based off of how much it would do if you were switching out, so it kind of sees double damage from that move, which is an interesting quirk, because if you actually had no other Pokémon to switch out to, it would not see that, and it would use a different move, like Toxic instead, which is extremely <laughs> slow. I had that happen this Also, week. it's Ice Beam, which is really weird if it uses that, too. Yeah, that happened in uh, Swift's practice run earlier this week. <laughs> We have time for a donation during Big that. Win. Sure. I have twenty-five dollars from Captain Steel. Shout out to my spouse, Catzer's Creations, for making such an awesome jiggly. Only fifty dollars to help you with your insomnia. Note: results may vary. Ask your doctor if Jigglypuff is right for you. Thank you so much for your donation. So right now, Sparkle's doing the code. So those DNA samples, we got we got two of them. He so he knows two Pokemon, but he's got to guess the third one. So it looks like. We have Suicune, Mightyena, and then who am I trying to find the third one? Raikou. Yeah, I got mine the last one, unfortunately. Oh, Raikou, yo, Raikou is it shows up on your That's funny. I'll take spoiler. Yeah, I'm fighting Ayn right now. Yep. So now we see any Raikou enjoyers? You like Raikou? Yeah. Oh. Heart gold speed runs? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing Manipulus, bro. <laughs> no way I'm seeing Raikou. Ooh, confuser. It's not dangerous because you can just heal it, but it's slow. This is where smart AI sees, well, it can't kill anything, so I'm just going to confuse you. AI also cheats yeah, in that it, it sees that you healed, and it's like, oh, I can confuse you again. Let's do it. It's really funny. And that affects anything related to kill AI as well. Like, if you heal your HP, it'll change its move accordingly. It can change its target altogether. Yep. But at least it's safe. It does no damage to you. Yeah. I got Wall of the lead, so I can next special type flotion get the guaranteed safe fire blast kill. If I did get Graveler lead, which is normally a bad thing if you're in Blaze, because you have to hit a fire blast for your life, I think. Um, I can just HP Ice Graveler for the one shot and uh, remove myself from that stressful situation. Oh, we're also fighting Scrub again. Oh yeah, Scrub's back for more. Yeah. Uh, he has not leveled up his Hitmontop because Shadow Pokemon can't gain levels, so it's kind of just like this pathetic little mosquito now. It doesn't really do anything. It's very weak compared to us at this point. And Swift just picked up the Earthquake TM, which doesn't get a lot of use, but we do give it to Typhlosion for yeah. a few big fights. Earthquake, uh, one of the only moves in the game that's a spread move that doesn't negate damage by being a spread move, it's still 100% power, I believe, yep. even though it's uh, it hits every... Because it hits also it also hits your own teammate, too, so I guess that's the thought behind it, still retaining its power. And we're going to make uh, use of that later on, like way later on. Yeah, we have like one or two uses for it. Yeah, right, time for my iron. The notes for... We use a lot of notes for the, each specific combo of... Um, any particular boss fight, and Ayn's notes go like for like six or seven. Yeah, I pages see. So uh, I see you're not using the yo the notes that shush, you shush, literally shush, shush, shush. Have I been was stressed out, and I just uh, all week for me to give oh them to God. you. Oh my God, Swift's been nagging me to use her special GDQ notes, and like I'm fine yeah, with and the regular. Yeah, you've been nagging notes. me to link them. No, <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to say that. <laughs> yeah, well, you weren't supposed to say it either, so. Yeah, so since there's random switch order, Ayn has five Pokemon. Four of them, all four of them have the option to spawn at the beginning. So I don't know how many combos that is. Well, so that, people map out there can do it. That time loss that Sparkle just had was scroll time loss. Yeah, yeah, I was not ready. Even though I was already on Ein, just like trying to find the, cause like there's so many, it's not just every single combo of this fight. There's like every single combo if you're in this position or in this position, it's like three different scenarios and like every combo laid out, it's a lot to read. 
A lot of pages. Yeah. You don't want to know how long this Google Doc is. I'll just say that. I want to know. Can you, can you tell me? Uh, just about over 100 pages. Oh. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Painstakingly edited over a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <for> Rise again. <laughs> So Swift just did the last shopping. You can skip this shopping, but marathon run. Yeah. Get all I, the healing items you can need. I literally burned through two full heals there, so I wanted to grab some more. That's yeah. That's pretty much yeah. it. I think I still have. Do I still have my two left or one? Oh, I, I can work with one. I kind of have to do whatever I can to catch up. Yeah, we're approaching the last area. We're not gonna leave. No other time to get items. So. Oh, here's ice beam. Good time to shop. Thankfully, I kept a potion from the beginning, which is, uh, so regular potions and uh, super potions are still useful this late in the game because we can uh, manage our blaze HP to still to still be, so I'm using a potion here to keep blaze while also living uh, Pursuit from Altaria. So it's essential I kept those for this specific fight. If I didn't have those, I don't know what I was going to do because I didn't have dig. Now would be a good time for some donations. Yes. Absolutely. I have $19.70 from Ocean Bagel, donating $19.70 for my favorite Pokemon, Umbreon, number 197. It may be eclipsed by Espeon in this run, but at least gets a little time to shine. And I also have a $75 donation from Valet that says Espeon is Bestion. Thank you both for your donations. I have $38 from Conqueror. Dex donation train is leaving the station. All aboard. Nine tails, number 38. Oh, I got flying. Uh, I'll just get the protect roll, and if I miss it, I'll just live. Out of the damage range, but I'll live. Please protect. So Swift is coming okay. up to Claygon. <laughs> yeah, the Claygon fight. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed now, it's Claygon. actually not that bad in No Blaze. It's pretty bad when you're in Blaze, but with No Blaze, it's actually kind of fine. Yeah. So this is where we're going to refight all the three admins. Oh my bosses. god, okay, Dokken after this fight, I, I just want to... <laughs> Dokken's going to do something very funny after this fight, and I just want to point it out, but yeah, you can continue on. Played all wish cash. So all no right. Claygon. Yeah, Claygon sucks because you have a 25% chance to kill the Flygon, so it's not very likely, and if you miss it, Ty's in Blaze, and Ty will just die to EQ, because both Claygon, Clay, Claydol, and Flygon use Earthquake. World record, or previous world records, hits the 25% range. They just get lucky. Yeah, and then targets like Whiskash will typically use Protect to avoid Earthquake damage if they can't kill one of your own Pokemon. Yeah, it's part of that game's quirk of one Pokemon uses Earthquake, the other protects. Yeah. Can I just say, my head feels so itchy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder why. I'm fighting through it, though. <laughs> this is for you guys, all right? I love you. Miku loves you. <laughs> Flygon at plus one, pretty free. Yeah, yeah but at plus zero. Fifty <laughs> percent. <laughs> yeah. Or if you're forty-nine. I thought it was seventy-five percent. Oh, it might be seventy-five. Yeah, but still, you wouldn't. No, it's, I think it's seventy-five percent if. Uh, well, actually, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Either way, you're not hitting that in, in a real run because it's lower than ninety-nine percent. So. Yeah. Oh, here's the Entei. Yo, he's back. So the Tass actually catches Entei the first time you see it. So then you can skip Rui's cutscene of like, oh, hey, it's a shadow Pokemon the second time. <laughs> it's like, thanks, Rui. I, you, I know from the first time. Looking to get Blaze here. See what this Wish Cash does. Whiskash Earthquake usually hits you into Blaze pretty comfortably from full. Good. Ooh, nice. That yeah, works out beautifully. Yeah, Blaze helps for yeah. this last area. It just makes things so much faster. And as an update, we are only a little un over, under $3,000 away from the XD Difficulty Showcase update for Spin Rhythm. Bye, Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Swift is a bad move. It's sad. My heart. <laughs> All right, so Dokim here, uh, he's got, he, this is the best animation in the game. So Dokim's just been this like giant gorilla guy the whole game, but now he's just like, I, let me just present to you guy walking out of a CVS, okay? 
<laughs> yeah. Go to the It's my favorite thing in the game. He just wishes he had a mountain to leap off of. Yeah, no. He's being secluded. He has no freedom. Oh, we're about to see our good friend. The best Pokemon. Oh, player. wait a minute. Yeah. Guys, look who it is. Oh, not yet. Oh, yeah, not yet. <laughs> it's Chandelier. Yo. <laughs> Two gens are leap. There he is. Salsa! Salsa indeed. Very, very sad that he doesn't actually have his original theme. No, just the regular admin theme here. Yeah, he got a trouble. His yeah. boss told him he couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. He can still summon the rain, though, if you give him a chance to. Yeah. In the second fight, the rematch here, it's a lot easier to skip rain. Yeah, with Taya low HP, he's not going to want to use any status moves. Let's see what I get here. Clagon would be really funny. What the? Oh, what the? Okay. Wow, both of you what in the world? Yeah, just back out and try it again. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah, so uh, I'm uh, Fortress always protects here, so I'm safe to do a uh, very consistent strat. That's up pretty fast, so I'd love to see that. And then next turn I can flame wheel it. Uh, Mirror B2 is uh, very weird. Uh, if you have Blaze, it's like you need to hit a Fire Blast, but also like sometimes you don't, or like at least the one you do is safe. It's it's like there's a lot of combos you can do, and like depending on what you get, you can either uh, be forced to hit multiple fire blasts or uh, be safe. Yeah, this so. is an important fire blast here. If yeah. you miss it, you'll get waterfall. Okay, good. <laughs> Ooh, double protection is cringe. And then depending on your stats, Loudred could also be arranged with Blaze Flame Wheel, yeah. and you might sometimes have to fire blast that, but I don't think that's the case here. No. Yeah, we, our, both of our quills are good enough. Okay. Yeah, Swift should be safe here to just flame wheel the uh, the fellow, the uh, the guy, the the whatever, the loud <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it should be safe. Unfortunately, Mirror V only has two Ludicolos, a downgrade from its four. Yeah, and like a loud dread is like so, it's like a not even an Xplode. Dude, have you ever realized that like in Gen three games, nobody wants to use Xplode? Like in in Emerald and Ruby and Sapphire, nobody you can't find Xplode. You can't. Nobody has an Xplode as a trainer. It's like it's same as this game. It's like, why, why, what's with this loud red discrimination? I don't understand. Or explode. Yeah, you gotta fight Mirror B in the deep Coliseum to see if Yeah, yeah, true. That's his final form. <laughs> Which we don't see in this run, unfortunately. No. There are other categories other than any percent. We have all snags, where you attach every shadow Pokemon. We also have 100%, where you do everything. Every, yeah, oh, you, uh, well, every, <laughs> it's every, more than everything in 100%. Yeah, yeah you do so Mount fun. Battle twice, yeah. all 100 fights, yep. twice. Yep. But you do get a Ho-Oh for it, so. Yeah, you do. All right. All right. Now, this would be a great time for donations. I'm just gonna, I'm on my way now to Mirror B, so. Bye, Mirror B. Absolutely. I have $500 from Charbunny. Swiftaloo, I've been looking forward to this run all week. I'm so excited that you're on GDQ. Good luck with the run. Less than three. Thank you so much for that donation, Char Bunny. I have $89 from Bananagans in honor of my big fave, Poison Pile Pokemon Palma. Love the run, guys. Less than three. Hold on three from me. <laughs> Kate donates seven dollars, donating seven hundred cents for my favorite Pokemon, Sylveon. Sylveon says, "Trans rights and happy pride." That's right. Go, so, yeah. so right. So, so. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what I get. Yeah, the one lead you don't want to see here is the double Ludicolo start. Yeah, I'm forced to fire blast in that scenario. Okay, I saw two L's and I was like, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I'm safe to flame wheel loud right here and not have to risk uh, the fire blast on the level 44 Ludicolo, so that's nice. Yeah, these fights are so free with Falava. You can just flame wheel, kill anything here. Yeah. Croc would struggle here. I mean, Croc struggles everywhere. I mean, Croc mm. basically <laughs> does what Umbreon would do. Nothing. <laughs> just set up Espeon. Yeah. That is, a, that is a pretty important role. Not dying while setting up Espeon is pretty important. Got EQ from Loud Drip, which is kind of slow. It can Shadow Ball, I think. 
Oh, I think also this Deli Bird can use a trap. Oh, I've never seen I, that. Really? I think that only matters in, if you use Umbreon. A trap is a shadow move? That's uh, interesting. Oh. Denying Swift. Let's go. Swift is a bad move. Not I've, been, I've been laying low, by the way. Don't <laughs> think I forgot about this race. I, I'm going to get my vengeance oh. good enough. I've been catching up full of it, surely. My full wrath has yet to be ensued. <laughs> You have some time for some donations? Yeah. Go ahead. Wonderful. I have $50 from Bella G and Kyria. We really enjoy watching GDQ, especially that awesome race, and had to donate during Coliseum, one of the best Pokemon games out there. Good luck to Swiftaloo and Hatsune Miku for the rest of the run, and may all your Fire Blast be on target with the power of Entei. Less than three. Thank you so much. I have $15 from Chooch. Good luck Dude. to the greatest Mario Party crew as they conquer the Coliseum. <laughs> and remember, Sparkle, the correct answer is no. Thank you so much. $40 from Anonymous, Rhythm Games Showcase Incentive. Say no more, Chef. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation. <laughs> I'll just do the songs live. I don't need a game. <laughs> I mean, you've got this, right? You, yeah, yeah. That's what you do. Poopy, 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 poopy. Perfect. 100%. Got time any for any more? I've got as many more as you've got time for. <laughs> <laughs> I have fifty dollars from Cactus DT that says love y'all. I have five dollars from Gnome Sane that just says salsa. Thank you so much for so your true. donation. Lavido donates thirty-seven dollars. Oh, oh. Longtime viewer here donating thirty-seven for my favorite Pokemon, Vulpix. Extra special to share GDQ with our newborn daughter this year. Can't wait to find out what her favorite Pokemon will be. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's really cute. Thank you so Aww. much for your donation. Hope it's Eevee. <laughs> <laughs> no buys, of course. I hope it's mm. Neil. Pyronan DH donates $24. Here's my donation for my favorite Pokemon, Team Full of Charmanders. Thank you so much for your donation. $157 from Casron. Dex donation for the best Badger Bean Typhlosion. GDQ is one of my favorite things to happen all year. Record breaking hype. Thank you so, so much. All right, so Venus 2 here is probably the scariest fight in this gauntlet, I besides docking 2. Hate yeah, this fight, fight is. This is a, like, if Swift has a bad fight part. here, I have a really good chance of catching up. That's how important this is. Another big fire blaster got a hit. Yeah. You just lose so much time if you miss it because yeah, of the workarounds you have to do to make up for it. Oh, I think this is the worst sleeve, right? It's a one that you can do a safe lead on. Uh -huh. But I still hate this fight so much. Yeah. Oh, I was not in range. That is not good. Ooh. So that was supposed to be a safety turn because we thought that they would both target the Typhlosion there. Yeah, now the that that's become attracted, is... this could be interesting. Yeah, Typhlosion is just a okay, little not, too high age. Not punished. <gasps> <Damn. laughs> yeah, no time for love in a speedrun. Here comes the... Oh, next turn. Yeah, this Flame Wheel and the Blossom can also be arranged. Luckily, it's not, thankfully. Ugh. Yeah, one less Fire Blast. Oh, Mischievous. Sparkle. Oh my god! My god. <laughs> pause, pause, pause. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think Mischievous can... Uh, get the kill on Typhlosion here, which I would prefer <laughs> to get back in this race, but uh, I think it would just use Confuse Ray or something if it uh, Fire Blast missed. Yeah. So it should be pretty safe. Although, having both Mischievous and Suicune at the same time could be kind of dicey. Oh, there's Suicune again. Yo. Yeah, Mischievous can't kill me. Yeah. Let's go. Still pretty good with Fire Blast. Yeah. I think on average you should miss two. Yeah, with this route, usually about two or three. And then Suicune is also technically a range with one move. But since she already X special, she'll get to hit it with Ty as well if she misses the range. I'm, st I'm barely in Blaze here. I should have uh, gotten some more chip on the last flight. Does Typhlosion not speed jump off? I feel like it doesn't. Uh, you should check the sure. teeth. I don't have it on hand. <laughs> what? I see it right there. Yeah, but it's work. Ty should outspeed. Yeah. 
feel like it's destiny. And if I don't, like, well, I'll make it work. Miku always makes it work. Yeah, every time you level up, you gain a little bit more HP. Yeah. So the next time Sparkle would level up, probably was not going to be in Blaze anymore. Which can happen at really bad times. Yeah. Yeah, especially for the next Ein fight. That's really important. And uh, Gonzap coming up after a couple more fights. So now it's my turn to take on Venus again. Yeah. Hopefully this fight as smooth as uh, Swift did. Oh, that fight, I have lost so many PB pace runs too. It makes me so sad. So I'm really glad I managed to get through it like without any uh, trouble, thankfully. Now I got Ayn coming up, which is not too bad. I'm in uh, fly range for Crobat, so this uh, fight should go pretty smoothly. This is another instance where AI cheats. So in this fight, the usual strat is let ride on dig, and then just protect or dig with Typhlosion just to dodge the dig. But if you teach Typhlosion Earthquake, it sees that you have Earthquake in your party, and it won't use it. <laughs> what? Yeah. what? Like as a TM? Yeah. That's, yeah. Why, that's why we don't teach dig until later. Or we don't teach Earthquake until later. Wow. Oh, oh that's yeah. That's incredible. That's that's... <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, some people like to teach Earthquake when you use the disc in the under, and then they get to this fight and they're like, wait, what happened? Why that's like some 5G brain chip level AI. <laughs> that's, that's not great. Yep. Yeah, it is important to be at least in range to die to dig, otherwise Rhydon can use Protect randomly. It's one of the few things that can randomly use Protect or a status move. But if we're in range for to get uh, killed by Dig, it will always use that. And Dig usually does at least two thirds to tie. So even if you're just out of blaze, you're still fine. It's just you want to get it back eventually at some point. Yeah. This is where HP Grass is also really useful, and HP Ice. You can just kill the right. One. Or um, does HP Ice kill the right one? Not quite. Usually. Nah, I'm trying. <laughs> uh, Hopefully, I get this Fire Blast coming up. If I don't, then tie goes down. Grass and water do though. Pretty easily. Pretty please. I would really appreciate this. Yes. Oh, nice. nice. Oof, I'm still in this. Not out yet. Miku ain't going down to the last fight. Let it be known. <laughs> you have time for a few donations? Yeah. I have $500 from Daddy Waffles. Good cause. Fun run. Thank you so much for your donation. Tuna donates $50. Good luck to the runners, and thank you, GDQ staff, for everything you do. Thank you so much for that donation. I have $5 from Yao Kebe. Hey, it's been a long, awesome race so far. Please tell the runners and cats to remember to hydrate. Oh, I have not been doing that. Look, this bottle bottle is full. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? What are you doing over there? <laughs> Getting greasy and sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could do that, I guess. It's a tricky balancing act between hydrating and making sure you're not overly hydrated. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm scared to pull down my mask. I, cause like, I would be glistening on camera. You don't want to see that. <laughs> oh, well. Uh. So you guys are just one fight apart. Mm. Took your hands off the controller a little early. I thought it went in automatically. <laughs> Yeah, so Sparkle here is basically every time you meet a boss here, you get a key. And you just what? gotta put the keys in there. Oh, I'm not facing the right way, awesome. Reach roll. Yeah, this is one of the downsides. So if you talk to them or interact with them, it'll bring you up to the menu. But you could also just open your menu yourself and select it yeah, that I way. Yeah, I tried to do that, but I wasn't facing what the game wanted me to face. So. Yeah, it's faster if you open up your menu, but if you're not facing the right way, then you Yeah, just I was like <laughs> literally like five degrees off. Which is <laughs> cringe. Do you have some time for some donations? Wonderful, wonderful. I have $50 from Chillwatt. Gotta catch them all. Thank you so much. $26 from Izzy the Sweetest. $26 from my favorite Pokemon, Raichu. Thanks everyone for laughing at our jokes on social media. Sign everyone on the GDQ meme team. Thank you so much, GDQ meme team. I have $102.16 from Madness360. Hey, Swiftaloo and Sparkle, longtime lurker of your channels. Love nice. to see my favorite Pokemon game run on SGDQ. Donating 100 plus 216 for my favorite fish Pokemon, Teddy Urso. Wait a minute. Hmm. Hold on a second. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> no, Full on analysis. I have a, a, a few questions, just a couple. 
A one what? I think that's a fish. I, what? It's one? Can you explain that to me, please? Hmm, see, bears go swimming. Uh-huh. So they're fish. You go swimming. But they eat so are fish. you a I fish? Guess fish? I guess we are fish. Uh, you we know are, what? We're all right. just fish. Canonically, oh my God. you're a fish. That's fine. I have 5470 from Doodlebee donating for my favorite fluff ball, Whimsicott. Loving the run, and congrats to everyone on 1 million. Thank you so much. And we are now at 22,156 out of 25,000 for the Spin Rhythm XD Difficulty Showcase. So we are almost there. And also, chat audience, we hit 1,021,859 already. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, That's crazy amazing. momentum. Thank you guys are you awesome. Thank you so much. That's so sick. So Swift is coming up to Blessed. Oh, God. Yep. Plus is Everyone's favorite trainer. In the task, this is the longest fight. He loves to fake out spam. Yeah, this fight's kind of tricky for casual or new runners to do very well because it's kind of hard to know what the case you're on is. Like, basically, the fake out target will be the thing that takes the most damage from its strongest move, which in Nuzleaf's case is Explosion. Now, whether it can kill both Pokemon or just one Pokemon will change who it targets with Fake Out. So you have to know that in advance, ideally, so that you can adapt. And it can be kind of tricky sometimes. Yeah, and like the defense and HP combination you need on Espeon is very like strict. Mine is barely out of range to get the ideal case, uh, I but... Um, I have it set up so that Espeon's a little bit chipped right now, but so that it will... Um, now it's in range of both Nuzleaf and um, Graveler's Boom ranges, which means I can do another case that's a little bit slower, but still very consistent. Basically, this should be a four-turn fight if all goes well. Yep. It can't really be any less very easily, unless you do some weird thing with Bustle, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Could be one day. Also, a weird thing with Plus is if it sees, if you just barely kill, like, Espeon has 145 HP, if it does 145 HP, it actually doesn't see that it can kill. Right. It's very weird. You have to be 144. Good time for donations. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I have $484 from the Sound Defense. Donating for my favorite Pokemon, a real loop, playing with my other favorite Pokemon, Voltix. That's incredibly cute. Thank you very much. I have $50 from some lady from Pennsylvania, Pokemon Hype. Was going to donate $39 for my favorite Pokemon's Dex number, but then I saw the life-size Jigglypuff and had to give a little more. Good luck to the runners. Thank you very much. Arlo donates $250. Gotta throw a donation out every year from my beloved Gorgeist and Granados. Good luck to the runners, and thank you to the GDQ staff who put this event together. Gorgeist is a good pick. I good one. appreciate that. Solid Pokemon. I do like Pumpkaboo. Yeah. Pumpkaboo. <laughs> so does the audience. <laughs> audience got you on that one. Shoutouts to Mae. <laughs> she got me to say it. Yeah, Mae the harbinger of Pumpkaboo. So another big fight coming up here with a uh, very overleveled team full of strong moves and everything. It's probably going to be one of the hardest fights in the run, right? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, Gonzap is, like, so scary. He's, like, he looks like Shab. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be the strongest trainer in oh. all the region. Uh-oh. We're, oh. oh. What? Oh, what? no. Well, I, I'll take this opportunity. Uh, <laughs> Any, anybody have a coin in the audience? Uh, I've, I've got some change. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to keep playing this. Like, not cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, we, oh we, can, we can do some more Mad Libs. I mean, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Uh, we have enough time. Remember Lapras for everything. Oh, true. Like, Lapras. So, okay, yeah. although Ash started his Lapras alone, he has Perfect. made many Lapras friends along the way. One of his first Laprases was Misty. Ash Laprased her after his Pikachu damaged her bike, but then they became the best of Laprases. She is the gym leader of the Lapras Cerulean Gym and specializes in Lapras-type Pokemon. Ash met Brock after they battled in the Lapras. 
they Lapras together for many Laprases throughout Johto, Kanto, and all the way to the Lapras until Laprasing ways. Yes, yes. Swift Monster Game Freak. Yes. Not me. She did. Um. Yeah, okay. I got you. <laughs> Brock's Lapras Pokemon was Onyx, and Brock wants to be a Pokemon Lapras. More recently, Ash has teamed up with Clement, genius of electric type Pokemon, in the Lapras Serena. Just look at her Lapras hat. No matter what, one thing's for sure. Ash would never have gotten this far without his Laprases. I'm kind of upset how well that worked. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, yeah. it you. is so long. Okay. Let's just try to reconnect the video and see if it comes back. We have an $11.81 donation from Charmander. Hey, Swiftaloo. It's awesome seeing you running live in GDQ. I randomly found you just looking for Pokemon speedrunners, and I'm so glad I did because you are awesome. I'm donating $181 for my favorite Pokemon, Ampharos. Here's my weird standing sheep thing. Also, Sparkle, you look beautiful. Thank you so much for your donation. Let's go, and as another update, we are at $22,498 out of $25,000 for the Spin Rhythm XD Difficulty Showcase. Let's get those donations in. Make sure to select an incentive when donating. Also, we are at $15,304.15 out of $60,000. For Clone Hero, play through the fire and the flames. And it looks like we've got everything all ready again, so let's go back to this wonderful race between Swiftaloo and Sparkle. All right, you want to count down with me? Yeah, three, two, one. Yeah, three, three two, two, one. one. Go. go! Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> I forget you have to walk up to access. You have to open the door and then keep holding up to take the the tram. It's weird. Alright, so my uh, I should have case two quest, I believe. So if you're paying attention at the very beginning of the cutscene, which I'm sure everybody was, yeah. you, you would have seen this man, gone zap. <laughs> He's our old boss. We blew up his base. He's kind of not happy at us. Mustache of a god. Yeah, I'm not sure how the physics work there. A lot of gel. But yeah, he's uh, got some pretty powerful pokes. Some of them have earthquake. One has shadow ball or sludge bomb. It's a pretty hard fight, right? Yeah. Except if you have uh, fire and uh, grass. Yeah. There's actually only one combo in that fight that can be bad, yeah. and uh, <laughs> it's uh, Crawdon Hariyama, I believe, but everything else is just completely free. <laughs> if you were a croc, it would not be free. Yeah, croc basically, is a hard if you were huh? anything besides Typhlosion, you'd have to sweat a little bit here. Yeah, it's just one of the, another one of the main reasons why like Typhlosion's just so good. It complements Espeon so well, and Espeon complements Typhlosion super well, too. Like, any other way to do this fight requires taking so many more hits. That's a lot more healing you have to do. Some protecting here and there. But no, this is just a bowling pin fight with Typhlosion. They just they just get knocked down. Yeah. Yeah, Typhlosion just complements us, which said complements Espeon so well that in no snags we use Hidden Power Fire, just since we don't have Typhlosion. Yeah, hidden power grass here, one shot to the, the Crawdon. Very nice since we can't hit it with Psychic. And Flame Wheel, Fire, fire Blast, don't do enough. Yeah, so I got past the quest fight uh, reasonably okay. I was put in a situation where if I got crit by Fake Out on Haruyama, I Tai would have actually gotten KO'd, which would have been really bad. But thankfully, I got past that just okay. And I should be uh, in line for a good Gonzep fight ring for the uh, anything but the bad combo I just mentioned. But yeah, Swift's going to be ending, uh, getting into the uh, end of the game here, the last Coliseum, the real game tower. Yeah, this is the scariest part of the run because if you die at all during this gauntlet, you have to restart the entire yes. thing over again unless you beat NASCAR. If you beat NASCAR, you don't have to yeah. restart Yeah, and he's the, the final boss, so like, wow, that makes sense, right? So, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like Sephiroth, it's like so strong. Like he would be the strongest character in like, in like Super Smash. That would be crazy, right? Right. 
That was a terrible joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> so Swift is going to do one last menu. This is where we teach Earthquake. We'll be using it at least once, maybe twice. But after this, we'll have a gauntlet of about six fights, and the last six fights of the game, actually. And she'll also be moving a certain Pokémon into slot one. And the reason for that... It actually is nice to have this Pokémon take a death early on, because we'll get a free team heal right before the final boss. And it's much better to be leading with a living Metatite for that fight. Yeah. And you'll see why. For many particular reasons. First of all, this cutscene is going on. We can explain one of our dumb inside uh, jokes Swift has. Oh my god. Oh we my have god. the stress ball. It's very <laughs> popular in our community right here. So this is a stress ball that I bought from Walmart. It is very cheap. Uh, and I squeezed it so much that it just kind of had a little hole in it, so it just deflated. And I was gonna like throw it away, I just threw it in a bag, didn't care about it. And then a couple weeks later, I checked it again, and it had suddenly reinflated. And I was like, huh? So I decided to continue to deflate it because I was so amused by this phenomenon because I am not great at science. <laughs> and then every single time I would add Juan, it has reinflated and proceed to deflate it again. Yeah. So everyone in the Discord is now invested in this ball, whether it's inflated and deflated, we know at all times. And I think, we're, are we going to deflate it right now? Yeah, you're going to deflate oh, okay. it. Oh, like, you get the honors. No. All, right, all, right, all right, let's go. No! There we go. I feel a little less stressed. <laughs> let's go. No, this thing's tough. I would do it, but Miku's so strong that I think I would just destroy the ball with like a little bit of pressure, so I should probably stay away from it. Yeah. So check out the Discord if you want to see when it reinflates. <laughs> <laughs> I love this stress ball and launch 2023. <laughs> if you have some donations, feel free. Oh, gosh, yes. I have $50 from Anonymous that says, Spike Vegeta is my favorite fish Pokemon. I think, Shot, I think we need to discuss what a fish Pokemon is, because we've got $50 from Ionic Archangel that says my favorite fish Pokemon is Charmander in a scuba suit. Thank you for that. Okay, okay. Uh, still not a fish Pokemon, a, but I appreciate fire. it. Oh. Um, the Dawn Flower donates $35.20, donating $15.50 for my boy Cyndaquil, and another $19.70 for my brothers, Umbreon. Cyndaquil. Thank you. Thank you so much for your donation. A2 donates $58, 58 for Best Boy Growlithe. Thank you very mm, much. Growlithe is a very good Pokemon, I agree. Jam Losing the Game donates $131 and says, Lapras Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Cubby King of Bread and Donuts donates $108. Here is $108 for the bestest, best Pokemon ever, Lickitung. And happy National Donut Day. Treat yourselves to a donuts, friends. Thank you so much. Anon it's been so long since my last donut. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous donates $100. The nostalgia is hitting so hard with this Coliseum run. Love the close run. Excited for the home sweat stretch. Let's go, Swiftaloo and Sparkle. And so Sparkle finishing up the bowling pin trainer and Swift. <laughs> Losing Metatite, but it's all part of the plan. So now her leads are going to be in different positions. So Espeon's on the top slot now. Unfortunately, I do have to teach over Hidden Power here because it. Uh, you usually teach EQ over Dig, and I had Hidden Power over Dig for Typhlosion, but I have to go now, so say goodbye to HP Ice. It was good for me while it lasted. Get some donations, feel free. You've got it. I've got $393 from Sean D04. Pokemon Coliseum is my favorite non-main game and possibly even my favorite Pokemon game ever. It made me fall in love with Umbreon, but I love both Espeon and Umbreon, so donating for both of them. Putting this towards the Spin Rhythm XD difficulty showcase since chat is amazing and already hit the Miracle B incentive. Let's get that one million this yeah. run. And we had, and we did, and we have surpassed it by already $24,796. Franzens donates $25 for the best Pokemon game. Thank you, Franzens. 
Equilateral donates $25. How am I already 40 and have never actually seen any of Coliseum played? Well, I contemplate my existence. Here's $25 towards Dragon and or Force. And Chef, we need 12 flame wheels all day. Table of 40 shadow Pokemon walking in, Chef. Thank you very much for that donation. Thanks, Chef. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Cal Suvalu donates $50. So many adorable Pokemon plush. Now, if only there were a way for me to have a chance to get all of these amazing prizes while also donating to charity. Wait a second. Thank you very much for your donation. So yeah, Swift just passed another somewhat scary Fire Blast fight. That's pretty much the last scary one of the run, aside from maybe like one coming up. Yeah. And this is the fight we actually use Earthquake on as well. Yeah, yep. Ikub does huge work here. Unfortunately, this, uh, I'm bold, so this probably is not going to kill. We'll see. You got it in practice, I thought. No, I didn't. You did? Oh. <laughs> oh, Swift got it in practice. Or no, Sparkle got it in practice. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I did. I smoked that thing. It's gonna happen again. <laughs> yeah, Typhlosion's not level 50. The range is much better at 50. Yeah, it's also a speed range for Houndoom, uh, for Typhlosion to outspeed Houndoom, so it's both that and the attack or Earthquake range. So ideally here you kill Torkoal with Psychic, they send in Macargo, and then you just EQ kill both. So it becomes a one-turn fight. We'll and Houndoom could still have really low defense, so we could still see it. Yeah. Potentially. Good crit, too. Let's see what happens. See what the chef's cooking here. True. Oh, yeah, not quite, wow. yeah. Yeah. Average defense is a pretty bad range. My attack isn't that much better, but I should have a reasonably higher chance. See, so yeah, luckily, Houndoom always does this. Not just yeah. once, but twice, <laughs> by the way, if you're not in kill range. Yeah, it just keeps howling until you're in kill range. Yeah, I think it does it twice and yeah. then starts shadow rushing. Or Hound Doom wants to be Wolf Link so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. A woo. That Twilight Princess friend yesterday that really rolled. Sick. That was sick. <laughs> There's another thing about uh, swapping our team slots here is um, Espeon and Typhlosion are swapped in their placements for at least for these fights that we're doing. So we can't have to make sure not to get mixed up with our menus here because Espeon's going first as opposed to Typhlosion. Yeah, so Swift is on the second to last fight. We'll be fighting the enemy's boss right after this. Okay. This fight is all grass Pokemon. Uh, as a croc, it's very painful. As Quilava, you just fired Blast and win. Oh my goodness, it's the legendary Cacturn lead. Whoa. <laughs> what? This is actually super, oh super my rare. No one's gonna believe I've gone in so long. It's usually Cray Dilly. Yeah. I, this I, is amazing because uh, Zeke doesn't believe this exists. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time this lead has like appeared this entire year. The only time I have seen it otherwise is uh, when Etchy was doing some practice and uh, <laughs> saw this, so I was like, oh. Yeah, it's a good combo. It's just, it's just, we just find it funny that it just almost never appears. I was thinking too. I'm like, what if I just get the legendary Cacturn lead? It'd be even more legendary if Sparkle got it. Yeah. Well, that wouldn't that be something for me too, huh? <laughs> Needle armed it. No, it just moves. Usually, that thing just immediately evaporates once it's on screen. Well, if you get the earthquake range, at least you'll make up some time. True. Yeah, some of these pokes have interesting AI, but that was typically only relevant in the croc days. Yeah, the, the last fight, its length can vary. So if Sparkle gets a good order or combo, could make up the time. Could also just get the legendary, the even more legendary Cray Dilly crit with Psychic. That, that one doesn't exist. Oh, well, I mean, that's why it's legendary, legendary, <laughs> bro. True, true. Get real. Could also get your Houndoom range. I've already planned that out. I believe in Qua. Qua? Qua? Time for some donations during hey, the go day. Ahead. Amazing. We have $133 from Pippi. Are we doing Pokemon the number donation train? I'm donating for the adorable Eevee. Thank you so much. That's Eevee you. is phenomenal. <gasps> no That's way. You. 
I have ten dollars from Capital. Best of luck to Swift and Sparkle. Our community would not be the same without you. Less than three. Chris donates two hundred and fifty dollars, donating for a stampede of. Oh, get owned. Oh, oh, it's nice. I Pokemon Coliseum when I was younger. Can't wait to see them destroy this amazing game. Thank you so much for your donation. WG Grizzy donates two hundred and twenty-two dollars. Are we doing favorite Pokemon donations? If so, here's 212 for my favorite Scizor, and another 10 for Caterpie, the best Pokemon to add knees to. <laughs> also, so I'm sorry to interrupt. This is the best uh, battle theme yeah, in the game. We actually practiced the acapella for this theme, yeah. so let's have no, no interruptions. We have to, we're going <laughs> to sing now, okay? You're, you guys ready? All right, three, two, one. The audience is killing it. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Randall. That's He's got a good. great video about this where he performs the song. <laughs> this is actually coming out in the next uh, Hatsune Miku Project Diva game, if you didn't know. Yeah, we're not sure if the devs just intended to there be no... I mean, he's the final <laughs> boss, so it's like you've got to be tensed up, right? Yeah. All you can hear is just like the crowd going insane in the game and out in real life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we're, we're fighting the boss now. We're, just, we're at the end. Thing. Not a great daily crit for me. Yeah, so you'll notice Metatite came out first. So the AI just targeted the Metatite, allowing for a pretty free setup on Espeon. Now Typhlosion's in the fray, and we can just start getting the KOs. Yeah. So um, NASCAR, I forgot his name, has a, <laughs> has a chance a to use X, uh, X specials here. It's a 25% chance to use them each turn, and now he's used it. It's really nice because it just gives us a free turn. It could be a little awkward if Metatite's still out, but in this case, it was fine. All right, we hit one Fire Blast. Just one more to go. Yeah, this Gardevoir is now... Oh, <laughs> okay, I might be able to Flame Wheel this now. That's... Oh, wow, nice time was. Yeah, Actually, no, that looks no, like Flame Wheel. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely Flame Wheel. I usually have to... Oh, my goodness, no. Ooh. Oh, my, that's so... <laughs> insanely troll. Yeah, there's a 25% chance at all to use an item, and if it's already used its X specials, he will use a healing item. Yeah, it's only if he's burned the X specials already. Yeah. Just happened to be at the worst possible time. It just yeah. means more fire blasts. <laughs> oh, well. Using Psychic on Cactron here because it's actually faster for ineffective text to display compared to calling. You know, just catching up a little bit. You know, that's what Miku does. <laughs> I didn't see what combo did you get, but I see Cat turn out last. Yeah, Cat, it was uh, Crate Daily Atrophius. Yeah, Nothing special, standard fight. Yeah. yeah. By the way, this uh, fight has 10 different combos. In fact, the last two fights of this game are a total of like 20 pages. Yep. Um, of just notes. Ooh, that is very bad. Ooh, Chef missed. It's a range to kill a plus No, oh, yeah, it is 100%. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, this is chance for Sparkle to come back. A little back. bit of a nail bite. A little right Miku now. moment for the fans, you know. They've been waiting for this one. Let's go. <laughs> Dark Chef, all right. Dark Chef. There he is. Dark. Yeah, this is where you have to, you can either scroll to your notes or click buttons, but yeah, there's a lot of notes here. Shoutouts to Blaziken as well. Ryzekin? Torch Wait a minute, no way. Torch Ryzekin, Blaziken? Dude, there's no way. There's no connection. Okay. Oh. Absolutely none. No. Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah, so part of the reason these notes are so long too is X specials turn one and turn two can also change the fight, so you need notes for that. I think this is good for me because it stalls Metatite dying a little bit so I can take care of one more poke before Tide Explosion comes out. Or excuse me, Quam. All right, Chef is back. And sometimes even without X items, they can send out Pokemon in a different order. So you need branches for that. And X items within order. Oh. More branches. There's so many branches. I had to like squash down the notes as much as I could, and it's still so tough because there's so much variance. 
Ooh, all right. All right, here we go. So ideally, that's the last Fire Blast for Swift. Yep. GG's. And yeah, GG Swift, you just beat the boss. The boss ever. <laughs> how do you the go up from? How time. do you go up from Sephiroth? Like, <laughs> there's no way you can possibly go from Sephiroth. I don't understand. But overall, pretty good time. Oh my god, no. Oh, it's the mayor. Dr. Robotnik! No! I know the, the Call of community has evil Santa Claus as their last split <laughs> usually. It's so funny. Like, I know in my splits I have NASCAR as NASCAR racing, so... Oh. Oh, dear. What? The mayor's evil? Crit, crit, crit. The mayor's evil? The mayor who was talking to that bad guy at the start of the... Uh, the start of the, the game? No way. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I get. So okay. here's the true last boss. Yeah, thankfully we get another free heal right before this fight. So, back to the Metatite. Yeah. More Fire Blast for me so I can take down this Gardevoir. If I don't, I'm pretty much out of this. Pretty much the only lead you don't want to ever see in this fight is Scizor, and even that's yeah. sometimes okay. Scizor has Silver Wind, which can have a 10% chance of boosting all of its stats by plus one, and it becomes very frightening at that point if that happens. But on combos like this, it generally doesn't even get a turn. Yeah, this is where having Meditite again is really nice, just because the AI will target whatever it can kill. Tap and Meditite is pretty low level. Nice, that Spark also hits his last Fire Blast. Oh, I've gone my way back slowly and so slowly. <laughs> Gonna need a big moment here. Yeah, so this Salamence, you, when you see it up there, you want it to die. It will use Dragon Dance, it'll be faster than you, and it'll one-shot you. Yeah, I've had that happen, that was uh, not fun. Fine, we credit instead. <laughs> <laughs> Two of his folks down, four more to go. Let's see what we get. Slay King. All right, so okay. the AI acts a little bit funny actually when Slay King and Slow King are on the field. Slow King will always use skill swap on Slay King if it's on the field because they programmed it like that. It was pretty funny. So yeah. you say Slay King? That's what I was going to say. Is this another Chaytot thing? No. Oh, uh, we're not doing that right now. There's no way. Yeah, the game is like hard coded to use um, skill swap. Slaking <laughs> machine. Yeah, that's pretty good for me. That's pretty the best good. combo. Yeah. Good for another few donations. Yeah. 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 I have thirty nine thirty from Anonymous. Piplup is the best starter. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Lycanthropic donates twenty dollars. My favorite fish Pokemon is Paris. It drinks water, so it's a fish. I don't, Wrong. I don't think that's. I don't think that's how that works, but but also thank you. Uh, I have five dollars from Metroton. Chef, here's a humble donation to remember remind you all that every dollar counts, Chef. Let's change the world one Ooh. step at a time, Chef. Thank you, Chef. There. Thank you very much for your donation. And they are, in fact, correct. Every single dollar is so incredibly important. Thank you all so much for helping us raise one million twenty-seven thousand ninety-nine dollars already. <laughs> You can cheer for yourselves. I agree. Yeah, so Scissor just died. But Scissor's also one of those Pokemon where if you give it a turn, it will one-shot your Espeon. Yeah, you really don't want that there. That's why I protected Espeon, just in case. Yeah. And we have Flame Wheel. It just dies. With Croc, it's not so easy. <laughs> Yeah, another good reason we have Hidden Power Grass for this Tyranitar here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this fight in No Snags is probably the hardest fight in the game. You have Hidden Power Fire, and you have to hit it twice at plus five to even get a chance to kill the Detar. It is a very scary fight. I think uh, the only way I can win this... Oh, man. Fortunately, Sand does mm. not raise Tyranitar's special defense in this gen, but even then... Oh, my God. All right, step oh one. Oh, boy. 
Okay, literally, okay, literally, okay, wait a minute. Literally? Wait a minute. <laughs> if I do something insane here, there might be a chance. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Going off notes here, let's go. I'm going to hit him power grass sloking and then just EQ Titar, hope I crit, and it's like min defense. Here we go. This isn't like task level strats, okay. I don't even know if I win if I get it, but I'm <laughs> gonna pretend like I do. I win in spirit. <laughs> this is for Miku. This is for me. This is for you. Ooh, ah, and down well, it goes. <laughs> I'm still going for it. <laughs> you should. You unfortunately got confused by water pulse there. Come on, Qua. Qua. All right. Come on, die faster, please. <laughs> oh, 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 no, wrong, wrong thing wrong, to crit. Right, no. Oh, oh, it wasn't killing, it wasn't killing. Yeah. Uh, Titar, you want to, like, hit my Typhlosion? <laughs> okay. Um. So, time is coming up for me Ooh. here. Oh, Good for you, though. That's, like, fine. <laughs> Espeon still lives, so it's, like, whatever. It's, time. Half, it's half power. Oh, Ooh, no, okay. the sand kills me. No! Oh, my God! Yeah. Claw okay. soul, claw soul. Uh, so, time for me. Espeon, go! <laughs> time's coming up as much. Yeah, time, time is yeah, yeah, coming, time's up coming up for up. me. Uh, it'll be on the oh. fade out of black here when Poho flies into the sky. Ah, oh, hell no. <laughs> it's okay. We have SP on, we have Puzzle. Like, what, what is there to fear? I'm Hatsune Miku. What could I possibly fear? I'm surely trying to find an answer. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Okay, uh, and... Time. time. I'm... Wait, did I just revive Typhlosion? What am I doing? Oh my god. It's okay. We, I need them both. Actually, I do need them both. It's fine. Woo! Goodbye, Flussel. I think I have this. He choked. He could have rock slided it. Actually, would that even have killed my Umbreon? I, my Espeon, excuse me. Yeah, I think Shadow Rush does more than rock slide, so that's why he went Yeah. Forward. Okay, X special. Hidden power hopefully takes it, and if not, Qua comes out with the finishing earthquake. Barring any hyper potions, that would be really funny. Oh, so no more X specials? I have one more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can kill. It's not. It's gonna be kind of crusty, but that's that's the name of the game. I've been saying I'm greasy, I'm crusty. That's just who I am. I accept myself. Let's go. Yeah. Woo! Let's go. That's why he's the GOAT! <laughs> Good, nice. <laughs> All right. You love to see it. Right, Very so poetic. You end the run <laughs> with Umbreon and Espen. True! True no snags fashion. Yeah. All right. So there's one more thing I want to point out. I did say there was a second thing that I loved about Egan and why he's my favorite character. The first part was that his level 50 Pikachu uh, has like a 0.01% chance to beat Hitmontop. But there's another thing coming up very soon that I want oh, to show no. all of you because it's so special to me, all right? All right, I'm gonna just mash the text here. It's gonna take a while to show up, but I can stall for time. I'm good at stalling. I'm doing it right now. All right, so the helicopter goes down. Robotnik is thwarted. And just like that. Oh, what's that? Oh my God, is that the legendary Ho-Ho? Oh my God. Wait a minute, what, Egan, what, what do you think about the beauty of Ho-Oh? What do you think about that? I mean, it's just, it's a once in a lifetime experience. I'm still still like, look, what do you think, Egan? So true. Oh my God, my goat. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, and time, time for me. Good job, man. Thank you. That, that gamer handshake. <laughs> good, good, good we're, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying, we're trying. We're, we're cringe at heart. That's how we <laughs> roll. That's how we roll. Uh, uh, did you want to do like shout outs or something? Oh, of course. Yeah. Uh, shout outs to Zikiki. I wish he was here because he is amazing. Uh, he's the world record holder of this game and he's super, super funny. I learned so much from him and I wouldn't be here without knowing as much as I do from him. Um, shout outs to just 
everyone here in this audience. You guys are absolutely amazing and completely hyped yeah, up. Yeah, you guys run. rock. You guys rock. I love it. I wouldn't be Miki without your help. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Shout outs to our lovely commentators, being Quan and Ryzikin, yeah. both amazing runners of this game. Um, just absolutely incredible. What about you, Sparkle? Uh, I just want to shout. I want to shout out you and May in particular because you getting this run, the any percent Coliseum right into, into Frost Flame Fatales. There's so many Frost Fatales. Fatales yes. Yeah, Frost Fatales. That that the momentum we carried from that. Like I wouldn't be sitting here if it was just me. It, like you, you are essential in this process. <laughs> like I wouldn't be sitting here being Hatsune Miku, like hanging out with my friends if it wasn't for you and May. And like May also for uh, pushing for this game to be involved in GDQ events and all that. So thank you so much to you too. And like yeah, thank and all my you. friends and like everybody. Thank you so much, my I, community. Yeah, I'm yeah. so glad that we could show off this run this like sparkle is an amazing runner of this game uh you can find him over at twitch.tv slash sparkle uh and you can find me over at twitch.tv slash swiftaloo uh just absolutely incredible runner is amazingly funny as you can see <laughs> very entertaining um and yeah i tend to speed run pokemon games myself <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah i think we're about done here I would like one. Oh yeah, we have an incentive to do. That. I forgot about that. I thought we were getting up. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. We have we have more business to attend to. Miracle <laughs> B is not gonna not gonna beat himself. Oh B oh even no, no. <laughs> We need time. Alright. Do we just sit here awkwardly like gamers like the gamers we are, or do we just reset the game? Okay. Alright, cool. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, it's right. <laughs> no more music for you. <laughs> I have a $25 donation from Turtleneck EXE. Here's $25 for my favorite fish type Pokemon, Agumon. He's scaly, like a fish, right? I, I don't think I'm doing this right. Thank you for your donation. I, just, there's so many fish Pokemon that aren't, it's... <laughs> I have $357 from Tropius, donating for that Tropius that got blasted by Swiftaloo. Thank you so much for your donation. Oh, Ryzekin isn't back yet. Oh, oh, we need to wait for Ryzekin, our goat. Or one of many goats. Oh my god, he gets my bald cat. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. One Up Machine donates $131. I had to Lapras for my favorite Lapras, Lapras. Always a good time to Lapras, two of my favorite runners, Swift Lapras and Hatsune Lapras. Thank you so much for that donation. Also, how dare you? <laughs> Can't believe this, honestly. Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Went to the bathroom. I have five dollars from Sleepy Skullhead donating for Quillfish, the best Pokemon. Thank you very much. Wizard of Kitty donates $50 that says Ratatouille Chef. Thank you. I have $175 from Eleanor Rigby for my favorite, most adorable Pokemon, number 175, Togepi. Less than three. Thank you very much. Togepi is a very, very good egg. Ice Cream donates $20, donating because I believe in the cause and because I want that small of plush. Agreed, it's very, very good. Anonymous donates $250. There is no comment, but Anonymous, thank you very much for your donation. Naze donates $25 and says, I love Pokemon. Us too. Katana Steel with $27, donating for my favorite Pokemon, who just happens to be a fish, AJ Sancho. No, we, we need to have a talk. These aren't fish. $10 from Dryden, my favorite fish Pokemon is Agumon. All right, you know, 
It's fine. It's, it's whatever at this point. It's, you know, do what you want. I have $133 from Anonymous, $133 for my favorite, Evie. Hey, do y'all remember Caternies? I sure do, Anonymous. I have him tattooed on my leg forever, so I sure do. $129 from Sammy, donating for my favorite Pokemon, Magikarp, an actual fish. It reminds me that no matter how useless you splash now, you'll be a giant, fire-breathing water dragon later. That's the... Really good advice, actually. Thank you very much for that donation. I will remember that whenever I feel useless. Flatus donates $25. I need that small live. Thank you very much for your donation. It is phenomenal. Jenna with $50. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month to you too, Jenna. And to all of you. You can click. You can. You can. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> I love the, like, very tentative one clap. Like, no, 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 please, cheer. I have $50 from a herd of Bulbasaurs. Run from the stampede of Bulbasaurs. And run we will. We are all ready for the incentive that you all made happen. Let's go back over to Swiftaloo and Sparkle. Yeah, what's up? All right. <laughs> So we are going to be doing something called Miracle Bee. You guys raised thirty thousand dollars for this crazy. incentive. Yeah. That is absolutely amazing. I think before the run even started, it was met, right? I think something so. like that. Yeah. I don't remember, or, but or almost it's last word it started. Crazy it's a, fast. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a Insane. speed running. <laughs> so on behalf of that, we get to show you a very special boss fight, Miracle Bee. So you may be wondering. That sounds similar to the, some other guy we've been uh, looking at and hearing about throughout the course of the the any percent run, but uh, this guy shows up after you defeat Mirror B for the first time, and he just kind of hangs around in his boss arena, and uh, you, you, you'll, you'll see what he's all about. One oh, yeah. One. We'll see all right. Later. So if the audience wants to count down with us, we will do it. All right. Ready? Three, two, two one, one, go. go. <laughs> oh, I just ran to the PC. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good start. So thankfully, we already beat all the trainers by this point. So this, uh, like, uh, this guy that would fight us when we go by the first time, does not fight us again. That does happen when you get, I think, get past Dokium. All these trainers just refight you because yeah. that's just really nice. Yeah. So this boss actually goes away if you beat the game. Yeah. So a lot of people don't even know this boss exists. Yeah. I didn't know this boss existed until I was speeding. I this did game. because I got lost in this game as a kid and I just went back to this area a ton, like a million times. I just fought him again and again. So Salsa? there he is. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is my jam! <laughs> Ooh, you got a bad lead. I don't even... I don't have a notes for this. <laughs> okay, uh, Electro likes to boom, I think, or like light screen or something? Yeah, it's gonna boom if its ally can survive, and Sand Slash can survive. Yeah, so I just, uh... Boy... I have X defense. Yeah, Electro here likes to explode. Yeah. And as you can see, since we're fighting him right after where you would normally fight Mirror B1, he's actually out-leveling us by a little bit. So the goal so, here is we want to get Espeon as bulked up as possible. Oh, Spark, okay. Oh, it's probably because uh, Plusle was already dead. Yeah, if you lead with Plusle, yeah. it'll just go for that instead. Yeah. Still good for me. I like to have the X defend. Uh, let's get uh, let's get Metatai down here. Koalava is not really useful in this fight because it's so low level. Like Miracle Beat, you can see his levels are insanely high. He's a very difficult fight. Yeah, and if you want to run this game and or and you but you think the run is way too long, you could run Miracle Beat percent, which is about an hour sixteen, a lot shorter. <laughs> and you get to use for it. <laughs> I watched your PB, which is why I'm able to do this. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna take all the time I need to bulk up Espeon so I can one shot the Electro before it likes to, it wants to go boom. I'm gonna go Kulabi here. I got the X speed up, so I know I'm faster now. It's actually necessary because Electro is just so high level, you never outspeed it. Oh no, Kulabi died. Yeah, because this category would be so short, you're optimally using Bayleaf as the starter of choice because that's just the closest one to the Phenac exit that you want. Because you're assuming you're gonna get just first ball catch, so Bayleaf's just the choice here. Yeah. Saying Bayleaf is faster? Oh, Optimally, man. yes. Oh, man. Need a plus four to guarantee that. Okay, this, this is going to be a little bit crusty, greasy. You know me. You know me. That's who I am. Come on. Wouldn't be a show without that. <laughs> 
Alright, so I'll just get the same kind of moves as I've been seeing. Slash and Spark from Electrode. Uh, oh, you know what would be so funny? No. Do I do it? No. Yes. Yes, I do it. Oh no. Oh no, no, oh, no, 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 no. What have I done? Oh my god. Wait, oh, you didn't kill. Oh. Oh. A little bit of a flaw with that oh. idea. I wanted to kill the Electro with Umbreon because it was efficient. I have X Defendant, so I just survived. That's it. Yeah. I calculated. So about that extra. Well, I mean, like, I bought it for a reason. I don't know what it was for, but it wasn't that. <laughs> well, I guess I'm toast. So what's that Espeon's defense? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, if it's like mild or low IV neutral, yeah, it can still die. Yeah. It was a range to live. I lost my X speed and my. Yeah, defense. Miracle B is not a free fight. Yeah. You fight Miracle B in 100%, and it's also not free there. The other kind of nuance to that fight is if you set up Espeon too much and it's still being targeted by Linoon, Linoon can use Roar and just get rid of all your boosts and send you oh, away. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cringe. All right, thankfully, I have all my Mons healed again. We could just hear this boss song from the beginning, you know? That's what we all wanted, right? So that's Yeah. Fine. All right. This is going to be time for me once I clear the flash. <laughs> I get the same lead. Oh, no. No. oh, my God. This is the worst right. day of my life. Time. time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the? I can't go overestimate for an incentive. That's so embarrassing. I can't do that. <laughs> Just win, bro. True, true. Okay. Um. All right. Um. I'll just do this this fight the same way as I did it before. If I tried to do it. Oh my god! I'm getting Miku chance. This is a once in a lifetime chance. Okay. Yeah, one of the biggest reasons you actually lead with Plusle is to stop Electrode from using Light Screen. Yeah. Oh, Light Screen also is really, really bad. Um, so I'm not going to be faster, so in that case... <laughs> thank you, thank you. In that case... Because <laughs> uh, Plusle's not going to kill. I mean, oh, it no. It can. I'm, I'm going to go for Sand Slash, though, because I want to get... Um, if something comes out that doesn't that does die to Explosion, that means Electrode won't use it. Yeah, That's and any, anything that comes in here will die to it. Because yeah. Pseudo is always last. Just like the, oh, 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 wow. just like the Mirror B fight. He really wants to be like that guy. That's yeah. crazy. He does. He idolizes him. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's growing his afro. Give him a couple years. It'll it'll get that big. Well, he like he like painted his helmet. That's like kind of I don't know. It's kind of like Weenie Hunt Junior. <laughs> but it, it is funny because this is one of the few palette, uh, I guess, different palettes in the game of like uh, regular NPC trainers. Goes to this guy because he's just... the only downside is I'm pretty sure this is light screen now. Yeah. So it'll slow down the fight a bit. I'll still try to get rid of Electrode as soon as I can. Yeah. Also, if you're a fan of like four x four and five x five emotes, make sure to join the server. We have a four x four Miracle B. We have a five x five Mirror B. <laughs> oh yeah, you would love that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this should two shot. Oh wow. So, so oh yeah, because light screen's only a plus one boost for both sides. Yeah, that's right. Um. Okay, so we only have Umbreon left. Uh, Seeking should die to Explosion, so it's not going to use it. It's probably going to spark something. As far as Umbreon, I guess I just deck special again. I mean, Electro's the one thing that I need it for. I guess if Light Scream makes Seeking a range too, if I'm at the yeah. stages I am right now. Just get rid of this ball, dude. He is totally not balling. That's just, if you ask me, <gasps> like, look, look, do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way this is happening. You will never be balling. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so the problem with this is that I have to both heal Espeon and heal the, the paralysis at the same time. The problem in question? Everything. The more so, immediate problem is you're probably just going to die to Waterfall here. But also, oh, Lanoon, it if it you on don't die, Lanoon's going to Yeah, it roar. shifted on SV. If Electrode was or, shifted, then uh, I think oh, Hornet, Hornet that's, Attack. That's totally a range. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 the new roar. But I don't have more. I don't have one in the back. He's not gonna do it. Okay, right. <sighs> do I feel the browser just go for the hit? I get hit twice anyway. But I guess doesn't really. I would probably go for the hit. You had speed seeking. Yeah, you're gonna get. No, I'm, par I'm paralyzed. Though. No, you had speed seeking. I watched you. No, but that would. No, that's not how. Hold on, I'll explain it. Uh, so <laughs> I'll get rid of Lightning. 
Oh, I'm gonna get headbutt flinched now. Uh oh. Okay, so the reason I outsped Seeking Veteran is because the way the turn order works in this game is that if you get uh -oh. you dropped or paralyzed in the middle of the turn, it still plays out the same as if you didn't have those conditions in the first place. That gets updated. That right. gets updated in recent gens. I think Generation 7. This is my last hyper potion. I have some supers in the back, I think. Oh, I probably would have gone for the parahedal there. Oh, yeah, you know what? That was probably the play. Yeah. We win these. We win these! Ooh. It's normally what we don't want to have might happen be, uh, in a fight. Might be what the kids call Jover. Uh, I think it's toast. <laughs> I'm toast. I think it's up to Umbreon now. I think I might survive on like 2 HP. In which case, I mean like, where's the go for? Oh, I probably could have just paralyzed Teal and then um, killed something, but whatever. I just live. That's a high roll, brother. I don't know about that. I think this might be toast. That's gonna make you. Oh! oh. Yeah. Valiant effort. Yeah. Iron Valiant effort. And there goes Light Screen. Good timing. Okay, well. You got this, um, Iron. Okay, see. Let's see here. Um, okay. Uh, Come on, Dark Chef. <laughs> let's see. What if I catch. I have the Snag Machine. What if I teach Toxic in the middle of this fight? <laughs> what if I Toxic stall? Dude, I'm, I am Umbreon. It's, it's real. Dude, no way of like, what if an Ultra Ball could like, I could like cheat and like use, cause the Snag Machine, it's only morals that are preventing me from stealing his Pokemon right now. And you know, you know Hatsune Miku, she is anti-moral. So I, I could do this right now if I wanted. Yeah, I, I think you're dead. <laughs> I think I have to agree with Juan. Okay, so if I revive SB, will they shift to it? In, uh, yes. Yeah. The AI cheat. Bro, what? But I'm supposed to cheat. I'm Miku. You should do it anyways to show the audience and then it'd be Oh, yeah. Up. No, that'd be... Yeah, yeah great right, bit, bro. Yeah, great <laughs> bit. What do you mean it's meaningless? Because you used uh, something else. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, even the game is telling me to turn it off. That's crazy. That's so disrespectful. We're going to watch Umbreon die? I guess that's a win. The first... Yeah, first ever. I'm going to... Dude... I have no heals. Um, hmm. Well, according to my calculations, um, you see, if you take the quadratic formula and simply uh, Pythagorean your theorem, it, it's uh, and then it, easily, right? Right, minus B plus and or there, minus and square root. MX, and then something with like uh, point slope form. Yeah, no, easy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> 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 nice job. <laughs> That's how it goes when you try to be crusty. Oh. Yeah. One last shout out we want to give is to the JP community of this game. It's not very big, but they're awesome. Also wanted to give a shout out to Bisho Josan and Karumi, Karumi Nasan who are doing the JP restream for this event. So, arigato for both of you. <laughs> yeah. And about does it uh, for us. I guess we're, I'm out of things to say now. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching for, uh, for real. Yeah, thank thank you good guys. job, both of you. Thank you both so much for that amazing race. I have $50 from Phasecaster donating for my favorite fish Pokemon, Glaceon. Yeah. Don't know. Don't. Absolutely not. <laughs> Thank you all so much. That has been it for me. I appreciate you all teaching me so many things about fish Pokemon that I never knew before, um, and I will remember it forever. So with that, again, it's been wonderful being here tonight. Thank you all so much for hitting $1 million. Absolutely amazing. Stand up, get something to eat, hydrate. We're going to be right back, and we'll see you soon.
Hello! You are watching Summer Games Done Quick 2023. Yo, we're all here kicking it in the MSF. We are powered by Twitch and raising money in support for Midsense on Frontier, the greatest charity in the world. What do y'all think? I am your host, Iggy Zig. Y'all doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good, too. But yeah, let's get some uh, words in from some of our amazing sponsors. Alien Hominid Invasion, the new title from The Behemoth, is coming this year. The mayhem never ends with infinite replayability as you grow stronger, or is that wiser? After each city block in this arcade-style co-op run-and-gun reimagine of Alien Hominid, get the intel at www.beh.gg slash aliens. Psychic Drive, specializing in arcade rentals for your event with an emphasis on imported Japanese games based in Detroit, Michigan, but will travel anywhere to accommodate your venue. With 40 plus cabinets available, some of the popular games here in the arcade at SGDQ are Taiko Drum Master. How y'all feeling about it? F Zero AX. That amazing monkey gull cam the cabinet with the banana that you control, which is it's absolutely wild. DDR Extreme and also Chew Nithum. Check them on out and see if they're right for your event over at www.psychicdrive.com. We got Kaizo Monkey Ball by Ike SMB setting up right now. But we have ourselves $25 from Etsy saying, I haven't been able to watch as much of the marathon I usually would, but I wanted to donate again because I missed so much. Well, that's what the VODs are for, but keep your butt in your seat and keep watching this stream because we have some amazing speedruns and showcases going on all night into Saturday. But yeah, we got ourselves an interview where Kung Fu Cup is going to be sitting down with one of the many individuals working with the charity we are sponsoring, Doctors Without Borders. Take it away. <laughs> 